groceries or dines out, which we all do. Download the free Upside app and use promo code Bubba25 to get 25 cents or more back on every gallon of your first tank of gas. That's 25 cents per gallon cash back on your first tank of gas using the promo code Bubba25. And find a link at rickandbubba.com under the sponsors. Well, if we're being totally honest, maybe we don't always make the best food choices. The CDC says we should eat up to six cups of fruit and veggies a day. Now, there's zero chance of that happening. So that's where Field of Greens comes in. With Field of Greens, you have more energy, you feel healthier, and it can help you lose weight too. Join us and take Field of Greens too. To get you started, we got you a 15% discount on your first order and another 10% off when you subscribe for recurring orders at fieldofgreens.com with promo code Bubba. Fieldofgreens.com or go to rickandbubba.com. Raycon's Everyday Earbuds offer quality sound at half the price of other premium audio brands. They have optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit, making them comfortable enough for all-day wear. And with three different sound profiles and 32 hours of battery life, you can listen to whatever, whenever. It's no wonder why Raycon's Everyday Earbuds have over 49,000 five-star reviews. Go to buyraycon.com slash Bubba and get 15% off your order. Buyraycon.com slash Bubba or rickandbubba.com. Okay, folks, the MyPillow team is offering a huge BOGO extravaganza, and that means buy one, get one free, on a bunch of their great products. Now's the time to join millions of Americans who have changed the quality of their sleep with MyPillow and improved their lives with other amazing products. Right now, you get to buy one, get one free pricing on bed sheets, Giza Elegance My Pillows, six piece towel sets, a roll and go anywhere, my pillows, and so much more. Go to mypillow.com slash Bubba for our special show savings and discounts or rickandbubba.com. Mom, dad's doing a crazy dance on the patio. Ooh, really bad dancing. Sweetie, are you okay? Vicious mosquitoes everywhere. Save yourself. I'll call Cooks before you pull a muscle. You don't have to live with mosquitoes. Get proven protection from Cooks Pest Control. Call or go online for a free quote. Cooks Pest Control. Helix Sleep mattresses are made right here in the USA, and folks, they ship right to your door for free. If you don't love it after 100 days of sleeping on it, they'll pick it up for a full refund. But based on how we feel about our mattress and what the 12,000 five-star reviews say on Helix Sleep mattresses, we know you'll love yours too. Head to helixsleep.com slash Bubba for $350 off all mattress orders. This is their best offer yet, and it won't last long. That's helixsleep.com slash Bubba for $350 off, or visit rickandbubba.com under sponsor. Raycon's Everyday Earbuds offer quality sound at half the price of other premium audio brands. They have optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit, making them comfortable enough for all-day wear. And with three different sound profiles and 32 hours of battery life, you can listen to whatever, whenever. It's no wonder why Raycon's Everyday Earbuds have over 49,000 five-star reviews. Go to buyraycon.com slash Bubba and get 15% off your order. Buyraycon.com slash Bubba or Rick and Bubba. If you need a new sofa or chair and you want to update your living space, look no further than Allform. We have an Allform sofa, and folks, the Allform sofa pieces are made in America. They're easy to assemble, and they're scratch and stain resistant. They come in a wide variety of shapes and configurations, and they ship right to your front door with a 100-day risk-free trial. If you don't love it, they'll pick it up for free and give you a full refund. Allform is offering 20% off all orders if you go to allform.com slash Bubba. That's allform.com slash Bubba for 20% off or rickandbubba.com for a link. Twenty-one minutes past the hour. Thank you so much for tuning in to the kickoff hour. Eight six six We Be Big is our number. Bubba back today from gallbladder surgery last week. Thank you for all of your thoughts and prayers. He is back and in office right now. Uh, now he's laid back like Willie Ralph uh, and going to go just a little at a time, yeah. but he's here. And today is NASA's Artemis One mission. It launches today, and I know. Part of him is there. Yeah. Um, he's missing a lot. His gallbladder, one. Uh, two, um, being there with Space Bros. He and uh, Adler were going to go to the SLS uh, rocket launch uh, today. 
and we're at, had to had to cancel that trip. Uh, but he is here and back, and so we look forward to catching up with him. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty uh, he can discuss when it comes to that surgery and how all that played. Had out. a weird, weird moment at <clears> church <throat> yesterday. I was working the welcome desk, and a lady came <laughs> in, and she funny. was in her probably late sixties, early seventies, and evidently she thought that I was the one that had the gallbladder oh, surgery. Oh, really? And she just could not believe that I was here on Sunday morning, and was just you know, hey, how you feeling, honey? Those kind of <laughs> things. And I, guys, I didn't have the heart to tell her any different. <laughs> I just you, went with it. Are you I'm serious? doing you good. Did, I, I you did not have her? the heart. No, because it was such a quick deal where you're running into a lot of people. And I just, I just said, yes, ma'am. I said, glad to be here. Feeling good. You know, what do you say? I never correct people if they have my name I, wrong or something like that. I just go with it. I didn't. I mean, I do it every time. Felt like a little bad. Man bath. called me Rick for like five years, yeah. and I answered every time. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I didn't know what to do. Also had a weird moment this weekend when I. I said the following phrase, um, I would be in the doghouse if I did that. And there were kids that didn't know what that meant. <laughs> they didn't really? know, they'd never heard I'm in the doghouse and huh. um they didn't they didn't have a clue what it meant and and I and I got to thinking about that. I thought, well gosh, probably, you know, in my generation that meant something. Like mm, yeah. we left dogs outside, they went in the house. If it was storming, they went in their little bitty house that they had in the yard. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and, and now, I mean, we bring them inside, we treat them better than most human beings. Sure. So they probably don't know what that why would they know what that meant? We used to have a great point. Uh, oh, yard dogs, and I can remember like in the winter going out and they'd be asleep in the yard with frost on them. Yeah, I mean, mm. they, dogs did, they were tough for them. Yeah, we we didn't pamper. Yeah. Well, we were right. too. It's Good old beings. yard dog. But I mean, mm-hmm. they'd be you know how they get in that ball sled and they have frost on them. Right, yeah. just like on the ground. But you're right. It's very it's very rare. Uh, you might be traveling in rural America and see a little d- dog yeah. house and and stuff like that. But it, most are like, hey, they they go to my garage or That's where oh, we've got a covered yeah. porch yeah. or a screened in porch. Or something. We have yeah. them something set up around yes. the house instead of a, a dog house that sits off in the backyard. But he's got You're his, right. own, his own mattress <laughs> up under a table in the garage. See? He likes, yeah, he likes well, I wasn't, like, I wasn't expecting. Hey, Co- Coach Michael, what, what do you mean in the dog house? What does that mean? <laughs> it ain't and good. I had to explain it. And then I thought, wow, okay, this is a 16, 17-year-old kid. Yeah. And they, don't, great they don't know what that's like. That's that. That is a very good point. Then I got to thinking about okay, what other things are we saying <laughs> that they have no clue or reference point yeah. to? Uh, I didn't go any further with it than that, but it was interesting <laughs> nonetheless. Didn't know I've got to deal with that. <laughs> um, I had a mishap this past weekend Uh-oh. that um, I you know when whenever something happens to you and it happened again that dang hill in the backyard mm. that um, hill. Has that, something ever happened to y'all that's kind of embarrassing? And then no, you, you jump up and you look around to see if anybody saw oh, you. Oh, yes. Uh, it happened to me. I was, um, me and, and two other neighbors, we have uh, on top of the hill, we have a flat, grassy area, and we each take turns cutting it. It's not too terribly big. Probably takes about 45 minutes with a push mower. If you had a riding lawn mower, it would take you just a couple minutes. But it's, you know, just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And, um, and so this, this, uh, it was my turn. It was my turn up. So I'm like, Hey, Saturday morning, I'm gonna knock that out real quick. Of course, I, I, I don't know why I did this. Cause I'm not a rookie. I started trying to cut too early when, when the dew on the ground, it has the grass really, really wet and it gets all yeah. clogged up and stuff. So finally I just stopped. I'm like, what am I doing? So I had to wait for the sun to burn that off a little bit. So I go back out and I finish that up and I tried to be sharp and, and you know, like um, take the push lawnmower to from the top of, of the uh, the hill and kind of let it just let it go down a little bit and then pull it up yeah. just to take away as much more weed eating and um and and, and I, I kind of lost my footing a little bit oh. and went totally down the entire the lawnmower just took off but it was one of those things where if you lift your hand it it, it it immediately shuts off. Oh, okay. So it shut off and started racing down the hill, and I started sliding down the hill like I was going into second base. And I get to the bottom of the hill. The lawnmower's now rolling into the, our backyard. And I stop the lawnmower, and I jump up, and I look around, and I didn't see anybody at all. But well, I Because like, they were all laying on the floor in the house laughing. I'm like, if, if they were sitting there looking out the window, because, I mean, it might have been a show. You know, it might have been like, oh, let's, let's, see, if he, let's see if he falls again. You know, yeah. hey, hey, honey, he's back out. He's on the hill again. <laughs> he doesn't um, have his cleats on. No. 
And, guys, I went down, and I tried to save it at first, and I did the, the arm swimming move mm-hmm. that, for some reason, you try to balance yeah. yourself. And, buddy, I, was, I went flying down that hill, right through the weeds and everything. Jump up. Panic. Pa- oh, yeah. You know, at well, first you, you have to kind of check yeah. yourself out. Am I good? Uh, had the blade get me? Yeah, yeah. But it was uh, it was racing down in front of me. But I, I, I you know, somebody's in the house watching. Yeah, and I think the next time I see him, I'm gonna just go. I'm just. I gotta ask you something. Yeah. Did y'all see <laughs> me fall down that? Did hill? y'all enjoy that? As if much so, as I did? please be honest and let me know. Yeah, did Guys. you think, Did you care that I might be hurt, or did you just think it was funny? <laughs> I'll be honest. I was like, because I could see when I jumped up, I could see that their blinds were open. Yeah. Like, you know, everybody's ready for the day, want to get some sunlight in. And I know they had to see, but yeah. I, I couldn't tell. <laughs> I couldn't tell at all. But, guys, I went down there. So, you don't understand how fast I was going. Well, I was flying down control. that hill. No brakes. <laughs> flying no down brakes. that hill. No brakes. No brakes. <laughs> right on my, right on my, I mean, seriously, like I am sliding feet first into second base. That's you where I was. Cleats on, you'd be <laughs> Oh my gosh, what a handle! But I got it done later in the day. I went back and weed eated, uh, punished myself. Yeah, that kind of scared me a little bit. A little hot, huh? Scared me. Yeah, a little humid. Too, right? <laughs> oh, it was so hot. Yeah, it was so it was so hot, God. guys. It was so hot, but it, it scared me, and so I weed I weed eated and punished myself and didn't do the mower anymore. That was it. But for a second there, I, I thought I'm out, I'm out of control. I don't know what's going on. Lawnmower racing down. <laughs> I'm talking about racing. Why don't <laughs> dogs are looking at me like, "Hey, what the heck is Dad doing?" But it was kind of a strange moment. But I'm good. I'm fine. You know, dogs when you fall and hurt yourself, they usually run up and attack you. Yeah, bite you. I know. But, but, they, but for some reason, them. every time I do anything at all that's quick, the kid, the the, uh, the kids, the the dogs think I'm I'm wanting to play. Yeah. So they grab their bone and I, you know I'm flying down the hill and they they want think I'm hey I'm coming down to play a little bit. Do it again. Little they know, I was I was in a handle, but I stood up and kind of looked around, like anybody catch that? Yeah. And then just kind of moved on with the day. Dusted your butt off. Like wow. I didn't just do what I did. All right, we'll take a break. We'll come back. Twenty nine minutes past the hour. I got a question about writing in cards to people. Ride what now? Like Hallmark cards. Oh, okay. I got I'm a question about that. Oh wow. Inflation is rising. COVID hurt the economy, and some say a recession may be coming. Remember what the last recession did in 08 to your retirement? Yikes. I I think we all do. A Federal Reserve survey broke some bad news dating back to the 50s. Whenever inflation and unemployment have hit today's levels, history suggests a recession may be near. Well, our friends at Lear Capital know that investing in physical gold and precious metals can be a brilliant strategy against what's possibly coming. Smart investors all over are investing in gold and precious metals, and they're doing it for two reasons. One is that gold can be a great hedge during a recession. The second reason is that the closer a recession gets, the more your gold could be worth. So talk with the team at Lear Capital about owning precious metals for your savings and retirement accounts. And right now you'll receive up to $10,000 in free bonus coins based on the value of the gold coins you purchase. Visit LearBubba.com. That's L-E-A-R Bubba dot com or Rick and Bubba dot com. From cringing at the pump to getting an eye popping check at your favorite restaurant, inflation is hitting us all where it hurts. That's why we started using Upside to get cash back on every purchase. Upside is an incredible app for anyone who buys gas, groceries, or dines out, which we all do. To get started, download the free Upside app, use our promo code Bubba25 and get 25 cents or more back on every gallon on your first tank of gas. Next, claim an offer for whatever you're buying on upside check in at the business pay as usual and get paid in comparison to credit card rewards or loyalty programs you earn three times more cash back with upside upside users are earning more than a million dollars every week that's probably why they have a 4.8 star rating on the app store download the free upside app and use the promo code bubba 25 to get 25 cents or more back on every gallon on your first tank of gas that's 25 cents back for every gallon on your first 
first tank of gas using the promo code Bubba25. Hey, business owners, have I got some good news for you, especially if gas is a big expense. You now have access to the A to B fuel card, which until now was only available for fleet owners. The A to B fuel card is accepted anywhere they take Visa. You can use your A to B fuel card for maintenance, repairs, and more, or restrict your card to just fuel purchases for employees to use. A to B will even watch out for misuse and suspicious transactions. But A to B is more than just saving you money. They also make it easy to manage all your fuel and transportation related costs to help quickly prep your taxes and are always there to help with 24 7 support that answers in seconds. You work hard for your business. Get the fuel card that's going to work hard for you. Get A to B. There's no credit check required. Apply today at A to B.com slash Bubba. For a limited time, you'll get a $50 credit. That's the letter A to the letter B.com slash Bubba to apply and get a $50 credit or go to rickandbubba.com under sponsors. Hey, folks, our friends at TheraBreath have some good news. If you have bad breath, try TheraBreath Fresh Breath Oral Rinse. TheraBreath is dentist formulated by Dr. Katz himself. Over 25 years ago, he created an oral solution for his very own daughter and her struggle with bad breath. Now, today, that expertise is available to your family with oral health solutions and a range of clinically proven products. The stuff works, and TheraBreath doesn't mask Bad breath like those burning alcohol mouthwashes that can actually irritate sensitive mouths. TheraBreath has a gentle yet effective mild mint flavor that is, and listen to this, alcohol-free, free of gluten, and is certified kosher, plus no added dyes or colors. If you need one more reason to believe TheraBreath is effective and worth a try, they offer a money-back guarantee. Find TheraBreath in all your favorite retail and drug stores. Just look for that bright orange cap or online at TheraBreath.com. You can also find a direct link at RickandBubba.com under the sponsors. TheraBreath confidence in every capful. Okay, folks, listen up. It's buy one, get one free time at MyPillow. The MyPillow team is offering a huge BOGO extravaganza and that means buy one, get one free on a bunch of their great products. Now's the time to join millions of Americans who've changed the quality of their sleep with the MyPillow pillows and sheets and improved their lives with other amazing products. Right now you get buy one, get one free pricing on bed sheets, Giza Elegance My Pillows, six-piece towel sets, roll and go Anywhere my pillows and so much more. Great products start with a great company. My pillow delivers style and comfort with the good old American products from a great American company. And remember, all my pillow products come with a 60 day money back guarantee and a warranty. They even have dog beds for your pets. So what are you waiting for? Go today to MyPillow.com slash Bubba for all of our special show savings and discounts. And don't miss the buy one, get one free specials. Once again, MyPillow.com slash Bubba. Twenty-five minutes until top of the hour. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Rick and Bubba Show. Oh, look at here, Gregory. Helixsleep.com slash Bubba bringing you this portion of the show. Uh, look, we I all just need crawled a, right out of one. I'm not, <laughs> I picture it. Uh, we all need our sleep and the ability to relax comfortably. And I tell you one, Greg and Lisa Burgess do that because they have a Helix mattress, Helix, don't you, buddy? Helix, that's right. And custom made by the way I like it. Mm -hmm. And you tell them, yes, that little quiz takes a couple minutes. Yep. Then it's at your door, and you got a hundred days to see if you like it. That's right. Helix That's your is, guarantee right there. It's a premium mattress brand. Helix is at an affordable price. Their lineup includes 14, uh, 14 unique mattresses, including a collection of luxury models, a mattress for big and tall sleepers, and even a mattress made just for kids. So, as Greg said, it's about a two-minute quiz just so they can get your sleep preferences, and then uh, their personalized mattress is shipped straight to your door free of charge. And this company does a great job. They have a 100-night risk-free trial. You have nothing to lose. So uh, they figure out exactly what type of mattress you like uh, but based on the answers uh, to the questions they have. And then you get that uh, for 100 nights risk-free. Check them out right now, helixsleep.com slash Bubba. And when you do, 
it's going to not only ship right to your door, but you're going to have a savings of $350 at helixsleep.com slash Bubba. That's a saving of uh, savings of $350. So do that right now, helixsleep.com slash Bubba or rickandbubba.com under the sponsors button. All right, so uh, Helmsy had a frou-frou question for us, uh, well, so go ahead, not, buddy. Not what really frou-frou. We all deal with it, uh, and what this you happened last night, and I always get uncomfortable. So you have these moments where you have somebody that's that's uh, has been an employee or served in, in some kind of capacity with a leadership team or whatever, and, and what's the thing you do? You get them a card, and you ask everybody to sign it. Uh-huh. And so uh, we've signed many, haven't we? Yes. And so, you know, it's you put that little smiley face on there. Well, (laughs) you get these cards and you you're close to these people. Okay, you've worked alongside these people. But then you get the card and people have written paragraphs. See, I just signed my name. And well, that's where that's where I'm going. Okay, that's that's why I'm bringing this up is because you feel the pressure. You do. Because you see these paragraphs. I learned last night you don't want to be the first to go. That's true. And oh, you don't want to be the last to go. Because if you're the first, you're sitting there going, what do I do? How do I start this off? Mm-hmm. If you're the last person, everybody's used everything up. Right. That's a fact, too, because there's only so many say- encouraging statements there are. That's well, right. So, so I got, and do you copy somebody well, else's? Well, Greg, I, last great. night I did. Maybe just change I, I, like one, one word. Well, but if you're all you're, feeling I, the same thing, it's some parallel thinking. It We're, is. We, we love it you. Is. We appreciate you. Hey, best you know, wishes. Blah, blah, How blah, about blah, old best blah. wishes? That one's out there. Yeah. You mean the world to me. I got it last. Best wishes to you and yours. Got it last last night. Sorry, Greg was a jerk. He didn't mean it. (laughs) Got the card last last night. Don't let the door hit you in the rump on the way out. (laughs) That's what I like to put in there. And every single person had written a paragraph. And I thought... Well, let me ask okay. you this: Were you the, do you know this person well enough to write a paragraph? Yeah, yeah, I do, and I do, and, and so I did. Okay, good, but but but, but, see, but here's but what here's I'm about: My handwriting's so bad. On top of true, that, I got to come up with something. You got to be able to read. It. I know well, somebody be like, "What kid wrote this?" Exactly. I was over. <laughs> now I'm embarrassed. I was. I was. <laughs> So First of all, I was told like 30 minutes ago to sign the card. Okay, well then <laughs> you th- it then on. I kept then I forgot. And then I was put in a handle. Hey, you're the light. You need to go in there and sign that card. And so I go in there. And of course, there's paragraph after paragraph. And I thought, I don't even know how to start this off. I mean, I mean, goodness gracious. And then I start. Re- then I start writing. Yeah. And I look up at a couple, and I'm like, Well, they're not even writing anything like I'm writing. Like, should I change this? Well, you've already started him. Yeah. So then I start that. overthinking it. Mm-hmm. And so to your point, Greg, what I did was there well, were plagiarism. Is that what I'm talking well, about? Well, <laughs> I just changed some words around and, you know, and, and so started thinking. Basically meant the same thing. It did. And it exact same thing. I mean, I, I even. So in other words, you were insincere. You just had. No. You didn't feel well, I was sincere, <laughs> but I was I was nervous because I, I was having I'm to get like, it done. How about this? I hate having signing signed cards. I there do, too. Is. Yeah. I do, yeah. too. I know. We Can had just put our name. <laughs> and I would have just put my name. Maybe a else star. Wrote, they had written paragraphs. Uh, yeah, you don't want to be the only name guy. No, and the first, wants that. The first, wants I, that. I wrote one little line that was mine and sincere, and then I thought, well, you can't stop there. They've got paragraphs. So now what are you going to do? Right, That's been a big right. card. It was. Mm-hmm. Talk on it. Too much rice. Another thing, if there's not enough I'm just, room, you I'm got an excuse to, to go. Well, I couldn't feel well, what I wanted to say. I had a lot of things I wanted. When to you say a paragraph, they don't know when I got. But for a for a. For a card paragraph is still probably just two sentences, two to three. I sentences, ended up right? writing three sentences. Okay, yeah. First one was my own, and the second two were were bits um, and pieces from others. Bits and pieces yeah. put in my own the way I would talk. Yeah, like oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Um, I know, I know where you are because um, like for instance, there are very thoughtful per- people out there example. that go get these things. Perfect you know? example. Listen yeah. to this. Thank you for your leadership. I put appreciate you leading us so well. <laughs> that's exactly what you know I, that's what I did. Hey, that's actually, you know exactly what, what I would have. Yeah. That was that's a that's I'd a perfect said, example. I'm gonna flop exactly this word here and that one there, yeah. and boom, yeah, yeah. done. Yeah. Be um, honest, they don't read them anyway. But get, <laughs> Greg, I think probably people do. Well, right, right. It depends <laughs> on I think I, who it's for. Yeah. Uh, because like um, Helmsy, the last one we've had to do was. Um, and again, there's very, very thoughtful people that yeah. go and get the Thank card. Thank you for pointing me out. No, but listen, look, look <laughs> they get, they have to go purchase the card. Don't forget that yeah. they have to go walk. Oh, in that's somewhere. that one person that everybody goes, "Hey, go get a card." Well, yeah. I'll yeah. sign it. Yeah. And this, this, that person that'll do stuff like that, yeah. now, which ain't me, right? Yeah. Um, I'm never that. So guy. who's uh, who in this bunch is gonna go get the card? Who? I don't know. I don't see anybody. With I don't potential. know. Wow, we really don't. We don't have that guy. Yeah. No. I yeah. almost wanted to put on Adler, but he's not the no, guy I, either. I, I did the same thing, and yeah. I went, no, actually, he may be the last one. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, we just had to write. It's and y'all y'all you, don't even know that. Do you, I think it's do, speed do you, do you, do you, do you know speedy. the 8 by 10 uh, uh, picture mm. that y'all signed? Yep. It was for an affiliate, and I had to write, uh, I had write, to write a note to them. And okay. I was just – but I do. I appreciate them for their partnership and, yeah. and well, believing yeah. in the show. And, and the, you know, because to carry the show now is, uh, is I mean, that's you're stepping out. If I like signing If you're running a radio station. I like signing on my face. Do you, I know. That's the best thing is that we have, <laughs> we're all standing up if you haven't seen it. A, it's a horrible picture. It's so an, if, it, if we it don't got no picture no better than that, I might as well sign it. It's an 8 by 10, and the glossiness on the top, whenever you sign with a Sharpie, it smears. Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's not – not a very good thing, we had but we're all standing there shoulder camera. to shoulder. Okay, we're all standing there, and Greg signs over his own face. That's what he does. Yeah. I don't get I don't, it. I don't like that picture at all. <laughs> but Helmsy, I felt the pressure um, because we had, you know, the Cove. We're a tight knit bunch, yeah. uh, and we had uh, one of the uh, the families and and uh, my neighbor uh, lost a family member, and um, uh, one of their parents passed away and it was a sad little deal. And, and so one of the other neighbors took it upon themselves to get a Hallmark card yeah. and what they walked it around the subdivision and said, Hey, you know, you know, you can sign this, blah, blah, blah. We're doing a little something for them. And, you know, we all pitched in, got them some dinner and stuff like that. Anyway, it was just a very nice thing to do. And when we got it, we were third from the last See? and I opened it up and there was such thoughtful I know things I that know, were being said, and I'm like, wow. Yeah, you know, not, I don't come up with good stuff. No. So what I did either. I do? That's what the cards Honey. for. Yeah, that's, <laughs> See, that's, that's, that's what a great Hallmark's point. job is. Yeah. That's a great point. You Hallmark that, said it. I'm signing it. Going. I mean, what Hallmark? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It. Confirmed. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Agreed. That's a great point. Right. Now I'm never writing. Anything. I almost wanted to just take the card back to him unsigned and talk to him about it. Hey, <laughs> here's how I feel because I can't write. Right, it. right. I, I'm not sure how to write it. I'm a not look stupid. Very. Writer. I'm not confident on punctuation. At least and all you got that. good handwriting. Well, and uh, so I just screamed. You for, really did. I have screamed good for hand. Terry. I hey, let's get uh, let's get together and do this. <laughs> now Lisa's really good. anything like that the, from our house. She's really good at, mm -hmm. at, at writing stuff too. and yeah. feelings, yeah. and yeah. she got great handwriting. Right. Uh, looking at me, she'll just go, "I got this. Right. You, you just go sit down." Yeah. You know. I'll act like you're in on it. Yeah, because yeah. there's a couple of neighbors that are, that are really, really good, and I almost wanted to just put what they said. Love y'all. Yeah, you know yeah. because what they, if you put, I can't say that any better. Quotation marks under. You know, like, <laughs> right, right. Or point to it. Yeah. What they said. <laughs> love y'all. <laughs> Arrow. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me too. Love y'all. Ditto. <laughs> Ditto. Sorry for your loss. Yeah. And I'm and I'm trying to be thoughtful, but I can't uh, write anything better than that. That's right. right. That's as good as I got. <laughs> I'm just I just wonder about. There's a lot of pressure for men in these things. There, there is. There oh, is. Like I say, women pull it off oh, without if, even if checking. If Lisa's up. home, I'm fine. But if it's up to me, it's oh. it's a disaster. It's I mean, a you can't read it, and b it's just some one three word statement that right. don't mean it, that everybody knows I don't mean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Greg. <laughs> Well, for my, I meant what I said. I meant what I said. I just didn't know how to say it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>Saddle up and get ready for Western's Weeks on Pluto TV, all for free. We're coming in blazing with favorites like True Grit and Once Upon a Time in Mexico. Or immerse yourself in binge-worthy series like Yellowstone and Walker, Texas Ranger. Plus, Pluto TV has hundreds of channels with thousands more movies, TV shows, and more. The best part? It's free. No credit card, no sign-up, no fees. Download the Pluto TV app on all your favorite devices and start streaming now. I'll second guest dinners with friends because they can be interrupted by diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or oily stools. It turns out I have EPI, or exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, which means I'm missing the enzymes needed to digest food. My doctor prescribed Creon, pancrelipase, an oral prescription medication that replaces pancreatic digestive enzymes. Creon treats EPI due to cystic fibrosis, chronic pancreatitis, pancreatectomy, or other conditions. Creon may increase your chance of fibrosing colonopathy, a rare bowel disorder. Tell your doctor if you have a history of intestinal blockage or scarring or thickening of your bowel wall. If you're allergic to pork or if you have gout, kidney problems, or worsening of painful swollen joints, call your doctor if you
you have any unusual or severe gastrointestinal symptoms or allergic reactions. Take Creon as directed by your doctor and always with food. Do not chew capsules as this may cause mouth irritation. Other side effects may include blood sugar changes, gas, dizziness, sore throat, and cough. These are not all the side effects of Creon. Creon is the number one prescribed EPI treatment. Ask your doctor about Creon for EPI and visit creoninfo.com or call 800-633-9110 to learn more. That's creoninfo.com. That looks delicious. Yeah, it's Taco Bell's Double Steak Grilled Cheese Burrito. Don't know if you heard, but it has double steak, cheese grilled on top of it, and nacho cheese sauce inside. Ooh, let me have a bite. Nah, you're already cheesy enough with all your dad jokes. And I keep all my jokes in a dad a base. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm hungry. No, you're Dave. Hungry is a country. <laughs> Taco Bell's <laughs> Double Steak Grilled Cheese Burrito is back. A participate in U.S. Taco Bell locations for a limited time only. Contact local store for hours and participation with fair. Double Steak claim is compared to the steak case it is. I'll second guest dinners with friends because they can be interrupted by diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or oily stools. It turns out I have EPI, or exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, which means I'm missing the enzymes needed to digest food. My doctor prescribed Creon, pancrelipase, an oral prescription medication that replaces pancreatic digestive enzymes. Creon treats EPI due to cystic fibrosis, chronic pancreatitis, pancreatectomy, or other conditions. Creon may increase your chance of fibrosing colonopathy, a rare bowel disorder. Tell your doctor if you have a history of intestinal blockage or scarring or thickening of your bowel wall, if you're allergic to pork, or if you have gout, kidney problems, or worsening of painful swollen joints. Call your doctor if you have of any unusual or severe gastrointestinal symptoms or allergic reactions. Take Creon as directed by your doctor and always with food. Do not chew capsules as this may cause mouth irritation. Other side effects may include blood sugar changes, gas, dizziness, sore throat, and cough. These are not all the side effects of Creon. Creon is the number one prescribed EPI treatment. Ask your doctor about Creon for EPI and visit creoninfo.com or call 800-633-9110 to learn more. That's C-R-E-O-N-info.com. Folks, a big welcome to our new friends at WizKid Clean Pods. You're going to love these cleaning products. First, they've developed formulas that defend surfaces against the buildup of dirt and grime in between cleanings, reducing cleaning frequency, saving you time. And of course, this reduces the amount of chemicals used in our spaces. You bring the water, Clean Pods bring the clean. These are concentrated cleaning products in water-soluble pods. And you're getting your homes clean with a smarter, cleaner system, which means less plastics in our oceans, rivers, and landfills. These are high-quality spray bottles with high-quality cleaning pods that get the job done. So get yourself some WizKid Clean Pods and embrace the Smarter Clean philosophy. And you can get 10% off their bundles with code Bubba at cleanpods.com slash Bubba. That's cleanpods.com slash Bubba. Use the code Bubba. Or find a link at rickandbubba.com. We've learned that our busy schedule does not mean we have to compromise on wholesome, delicious meals thanks to HelloFresh. HelloFresh takes care of the shopping and prepping, which saves time and stress on the those hectic weeknights. Plus, they save you money. HelloFresh is not only cheaper than the grocery store, it's also 25% cheaper than getting takeout. HelloFresh lets you choose from over 30 weekly recipes and 70 seasonal and convenient items every week, including quick and easy meals to delicious snacks and sides. And just because summer's coming to an end, that doesn't mean the fun has to. HelloFresh now has family-friendly baking kits featuring do-it-yourself sweets the whole family can get on like peanut butter cup brownies with chocolate, coconut, ganache, frosting. Get 16 free meals across seven boxes with the code Bubba at HelloFresh.com slash Bubba. That's the code Bubba at HelloFresh.com slash Bubba. Or go to RickandBubba.com. You'll find them right there under the Sponsors button. Rick and Bubba's in Ohio! Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Pass the gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. All right, all the players are here. That's right, Rick, Bubba, Adler, the Good Time Gang, Blazing Silverman in there, intern for today. Uh, and he's uh, fired up, ready to go. 866 We Be Big is our number. Uh, all right, so we have a lot to talk about. Uh, we've kind of brushed uh, a little bit on some of our weekends and uh, how things went. Uh, Adler had a very busy weekend. We'll update that. Bubba is back from gallbladder Bubba's surgery. Back. We'll update that. Space Bros are supposed to be down in, in Florida for the uh, the big launch today. The it. Artemis One mission 
uh, with the SLS uh, rocket uh, it launches this morning. If you're listening live and it's the 29th, uh, it should be about an hour and a half or so away, maybe a little bit more. Uh, but um, we'll, I'm sure, cover that live or, or be talking about it. But unfortunately, the Space Bros had to cancel that trip because of Bubba's gallbladder surgery. But he's here, fired up, ready to go. Uh, very busy weekends. Uh, we'll update that. I know Rick and Sherry were able to get away for a little bit uh, for their three-day weekend. Um, and uh, Friday, guys, um, I bit the bullet because it's been a while. I was actually looking, and it's been around a year or so. I played Willie and Wanda because yeah, I had some the, the, re- about the request uh, the request came in, and there's so much about that story uh, that's still to this day on me uh, because it was so real. Yeah, uh, and it's a story that we and asked for years. We we asked for years <laughs> for them to um, to tell that story because it was yeah. all it all it would always be a lunchtime story back when we all went to lunch and, and would hang out, uh, you know, <laughs> doing stuff like that. Because we had different things going yeah. on. I was post, I mean, pre-pandemic, then everybody stopped going. You know what it is like. But, um, man, those were some funny lunches. Good night. They were funny lunches. And then they finally told it. And so uh, that is the Willie and Wanda story. Uh, and so um, Friday, during the best of, we played that. And, uh, God, it's still funny stuff. I don't care how old it is. It is funny. Um, Helmsy, I thought about you on this story right oh, here, my friend. Thought about you, uh, Greg. I thought about you a little bit because you're probably not going to believe this even happened. Okay. Uh, 52, 1952, Mickey Mantle card oh, that was found that. in the attic. Found in the attic has sold for twelve point six million dollars. Well, tell me not. about this attic. I mean, Her- Her- Heritage Auctions shocked the trading uh, card world July 26 when it wow. listed. This 1952 Topps Mickey Mantle card for sale. The card, which was given a grade of 9.5 from the SGC uh, organization grader, uh, dubbed the finest known example of a 1952 Mantle card, quickly became the thing uh, that uh, collectors dream about. Uh, and they got uh, Saturday their an- uh, their answer Saturday as Heritage Auctions says hey we have got a surprise here and sold the card for 12.6 million making it the most anyone has ever paid for any sports item card or or, or memorabilia. Uh, obviously these people have you know just crazy money and it's nothing to them but I just can't imagine why a card with someone's picture on it would draw twelve million dollars. I hope my dad doesn't see this story today. He had this card and it was burned in a fire. Oh, Helmsy! Like back, back, long time ago. Are you like serious? When he was a kid, lost all his cards. God. In a fire. And he had he had this card. Well, this transition. And, but they found this one in an attic, which yeah. sounds like a made up story. Well, they made, or I bought it at a yard sale. Sure. It was in it was in an old sock. I got it at a yard sale. And it probably wasn't in the condition that this one's in. How about I mean, the how about the people though that found it and go, hey, let's throw it out there so we can get for it. Hey, how about twelve million? Okay, done. I, I would, I, yeah, but imagine what it's going to be. I don't care. I will take the twelve million right yeah. now. Yeah. I don't, hey, good. Whoever buys it, y'all can sell it twenty years from now for who knows how much. Who cares? Because that card ain't doing me no good just sitting there. All right, let me ask you this. All right, so you can't spend you, that let, card. let me you say can't this: buy so, groceries with it. So this top, <laughs> this top, the uh, transaction, uh, seven point two five million. Oh, Honus! It was a Honus Wagner card yeah. sold, uh, sold o- earlier this month. All right, so here's where the card came from. Apparently, it was a a Boston area collector uh, who has become a legend in card collecting circles due to his collection of 1952 Topps cards. Said that he received a call uh, from someone saying that uh, that they had this card and um, he didn't believe the caller. He figured he'd just um, he would do his due diligence and check. And when uh, they got together, he realized the caller hadn't been lying and paid 125000 for 5,500 5, cards, which and this, this was Mickey Mantle album. card was in the wow. it was in, among the hall. Wow. What an investment. Um, yeah. That's what went up in flames. It was a bunch of cards, and that was in the, you know. It says, um, he said, have. almost after immediately <clears throat> selling the Mantle for uh, $1,000, uh, this collector... Um, Bought it back in 1991 and flipped it again for forty thousand. And so anyway, it's 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 got quite the story. This car does. Value. But anyway, uh, it has sold for twelve point six million. Crazy heritage auctions. I, I, I know. Well, man, I'm ready. 
are are y'all see something like this? And I don't mean I'm not a negative person, but something like this would never happen to me. Oh, no. You know what I mean? I don't even. I mean, I don't even think about it. I, I have I have buddies like one <clears throat> just put his house up for sale. Okay, just put his house up for sale. I get a call. Hey man, got a cash offer? Blah blah blah. Yeah. They don't even need this. I'm like, see, that's that's just not that's not gonna happen to me. Mm-hmm. Even though the people that 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 bought my house and and whatever, it was a contingency on top of a contingency, uh-huh. and we sweated it out to the end. You this know is, what I mean? Hey, I feel your pain, buddy. This is the kind of stuff. <laughs> see, this is the kind of stuff that happens to me. I'll have some fortune like this. <laughs> yeah, and it'll be whatever. Let's say say three grand. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh wow! Didn't expect that. Two days later, a wreck a car. Yeah, yeah. You know what Transmission I mean? Transmission will like, fall out. Or, like, well, hey, hey, honey, the plumbing is backing up into the tub. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, you know? right. And it's like, you know, you can't, that's, that's, and so every time something yeah. do, good happens, I'm like, like wh- when's the other shoe yeah. going to drop? Yeah, yeah, I'm just yeah. waiting I hate to be, I, and yeah. you said it, I hate to sound negative hey, Yeah, because I, yeah, because good that, things happen to me. I'm not saying that. But that's I'm real life. I'm not, that's yeah. real I'm not going to find a uh, baseball card worth me. No. Worth even 100000 Hey, come up on, oh, look at here. Look at here. It's been laying at the house. <laughs> I had a box full of uh, cars when I was a kid, but I, I probably like we've said before, put some expensive card in the spokes of my bike so it would sound like a motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, remember that move? <laughs> yes. You get the uh, rubber band. And oh brrr, yeah, I yeah. probably did yeah. that. But yeah. I, I remember I had a good many. I don't. We don't. I do, still do. We I, don't do a very good job of keeping things at our house. Cars. Yeah, uh, with three boys and oh. raising three boys, we just. Uh, we just don't do a very good job of keeping things. That, I've you probably know. thrown away stuff. That was in oh yeah, condition. yeah. Oh, like uh, you know, not too long ago, I found a, a baseball that had been signed. I don't even know by who, and it was just <laughs> out in the yard, laying in the grass. <laughs> yeah. From when one of the dogs grabbed it or something that the boys had in the garage, and it got, yeah. you know, what I'm saying. It's just, and I'm like, see, <clears throat> most people would probably have put this away. And uh, well, and that's what's things. funny is is and Dad helped me with that a little bit. But I remember being at spring training one year, and 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 Dad said, "Hey, you need to go get that guy right there to sign baseball." I mean, and I was like, I, "Who is that?" He was coaching. He wasn't <laughs> even one of the players, so I didn't care as a kid, as right. a thirteen year old turd. I didn't care. Yeah. <laughs> but I went and got a sign, and he said, "Now put that up," and he said, "You'll appreciate that one day." Well, it was Carl Ustremski. Oh, wow. Which is still a that's, – that's a big deal to yeah. anybody that knows baseball. Right. And to this day, Ooh, I've yes. got that card in a little – I mean, not card, ball in, a, in one of those little ball mm-hmm. cases. And But as a kid, I didn't know who that was. I was didn't it. care. Yeah. But, uh, it's not going to sound like some woman, baby, somebody. <laughs> really hard to make out his signature. But, oh, is it one of them? Yeah, oh, yeah. JC had a run for about two years, maybe, where he got on the uh, – the card run. Yeah. Um, actually, for Father's Day, got me some, and I, I think I gave him enough on it. I think so. But we <laughs> put them in. We put them in the safe, actually, <laughs> okay. because I, I did that thing right. Because okay. I'm like, this is a gift for my son. I got to do better. Yeah. Um, but anyway, that's quite the that's quite the turnaround, wouldn't y'all say? Yeah. We'll take a break. We'll be uh, right back, and Rick and Bubba join us. That's right, Rick and Bubba. They're in studio. We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. This summer, take premium audio with you everywhere you go with Raycon. Raycon's everyday earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever. Sticking his head in there trying to get in everybody's business. Yeah. We but probably wondered there, what, what all the what all the co- commotion was about. Yeah, I have to go back this again. Boy, that I have drop. to go back that this again. Draw. It, 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 I'm hard. And maybe it's just me. Do but, we have but, a video? But, but no, I, we decided we didn't want oh, to there's see it in the break. I only want to see births that I'm forced to watch. I don't have a choice. Yeah, yeah. I agree. You know what I mean? If I can avoid watching a birth, I'm not going to watch it. Do you know what I mean? Well, it might I be mean, interesting, though, Rick. I enjoyed watching it? after he was already oh. born and then just her messing with him. That was okay to watch. Yeah. Okay, the I actual act that's itself. Kind of, that's sweet and mild. The, the, the act mean, itself was, I mean, was violent. But I don't know if y'all know about this. This is part of, I mean – Hey, I buddy. Mean, you, you know, know you're, you're a veterinarian. You walk up and, and, a, and an animal's in distress. You don't have a choice. You, your, your wife's giving birth to your children. You don't have a choice. <laughs> but I'm talking about as far as somebody wow. saying that I choose to watch an animal drop a 126-pound something out of its rear end, 
uh, mm-hmm. area. I don't want to see that. Well, she did. I, I, I mean, I don't know why I would want to watch that. Right, how many people how were quick a little taken does it back? Come out and hit the ground. Oh, it's little. fast. I mean, once it, you know, it took it a while to get, but once it broke center, yeah, yeah. and gravity yeah. took over. Yeah, oh, but I don't want to see the process from from zero to no, breaking the worst center was after. Yeah, it, it came out. Yeah. That's when it yeah, really yes. got really got good. Why would yeah. anybody want to watch that? <laughs> now they did back got ch- change the angle there, but boy, the sound was still on, <laughs> and I thought it was like somebody was dumping buckets of water. <laughs> oh, why would anybody want to see that <laughs> big five gallon bucket? Why would anybody want to oh, see yeah. that? Yeah. I don't understand it. How much does all that weigh? A I mean, lot, huh? Yeah. Evidently. I'm going to tell you this. Uh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Yo, there's but it wasn't so much so stuff funny. that came out. Bob, I go back to you. Miracles are wonderful, but it doesn't mean they're not gross. Uh, yeah, they, yeah, absolutely. I yeah. mean, it's a, Some it's of the a, comments people were making, you know, you can type in. Uh, oh, great. I've never wow. seen nothing so beautiful so gross at the same time. <laughs> yeah, right. and, <laughs> but the dumb ones were like, why would they let it fall like that? A veterinarian should have been in there. And people were like, hey, idiot, what do you think they do in the wild? Yeah, That's the also way they're they, born. It's also they start breathing. Yeah, they, they, they probably saying, there's probably a reason it's let, done that they way. They let the na- nature do its thing. They don't yeah. get involved. Um, I bet a lot of things that probably were pretty cool. We would be totally grossed out if we got to see them. I mean, well, and, yeah. and I, I go back to the Ten Commandments. You know, the water closing, whopping out an army probably wasn't a pretty sight either. No, but you know, it had to be no, done. Yeah, Jonah no. getting swallowed and spit out by the whale. I bet that was something. No, I bet that wasn't much fun either. I'm going to say that if I was there for the big trash talking thing from. Elijah, when he took out his oh, knife, yeah? when he took out his knife and slayed all the priests of Baal right there in front of me, yeah, I bet I bet that yeah. wasn't a lot of fun to watch either. No, because uh, I don't know if you know that a lot. Of that was hand to hand. Yeah, they, it, they, was. It, wasn't, it wasn't firing squad, but but anyway, and he went right through them too. Yeah, he mm. did. So, um, uh, but I will say this: uh, this unfortunately brought up a conversation with Gary the Bulldozer Man this past weekend. Uh, you Rick, know, you spent Easter with Gary? No, no, it was it was before Easter. Gary, you know, raises goats. You yeah, know, that, uh, he raises a lot of stuff. He's got all kinds of things, chickens, and mostly goats. hate and discontent. <laughs> but here's what he here's what he said. I you don't believe I'm over one of my nanny goats. Now, anytime he starts a sentence, <laughs> you with, oh believe. my gosh, don't look, Bubba. Whatever you do, don't look. Well, so so anyway, uh, uh, behind you. But the anyway the. Um, well, look so, at there. So anyway, um, put it back up, Adam. I don't see it. Oh, well, it, there she. Well, is. this ties into the story. So he, he said, hi, you ain't going to believe what happened to my one my nanny goat. They got to be flexible, don't they? And I said, uh, well, Gary, what happened? He said, hey. Nanny goats. He said, it's the strangest, it's the strangest <laughs> thing you ever seen. And I well, said, oh, well. my gosh, if I could stop you from talking right now, I would. And he said, hey. He said, you know, one of them's been, you know, right, he said, now we got our little baby goats coming out now. I said, okay, here, thank you. <laughs> He said, "You've been watching that giraffe," <laughs> and I said, uh, "I haven't. I don't. I don't really want to. I don't really want to watch animals have birth. <laughs> just maybe I'm strange, but you know, if I if it's my own animal and I have to help, fine. I said, I said now you're getting what I was going to tell you about." <laughs> he said, "I looked out there and I thought, what's wrong with that nanny goat?" He said, "I kept looking and I kept looking and I couldn't believe what my eyes seen." I said, "Gary, where's this going?" <laughs> one day, she's having trouble, you know, birthing one. At one moment. They said, you wouldn't have believed it. They said, there's a head out one end, meh, and, and, then, and then her head going, meh. And you look, and there's two heads out each end going, meh. <laughs> and they said, it, 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 man, it's like I couldn't believe what I said. It's a process, but a bit disturbing. Right. I got yeah. you. They said, it's like a two-headed goat. There's one on one end, one other, and they said, meh, <laughs> meh. I bet. And, uh, I bet. And I said, well, Gary, what happened? Well, she looked like she's in distress. I had to get in there and help. I said, "Well, I bet that was." Did he get in there and take the snap? He he. Well, he he did more than that because he, he had to. No, he had to give no, a little. No, no, had no. To get, well, sometimes they're hung up. Uh, yeah, yeah. You got to help. And it was, but I mean, you look out there and there's two heads, both trying to get attention. Wow. Yeah, one. one <laughs> trying to get attention. <laughs> I mean, it's trying to somebody, help, help. <laughs> I ain't got, I ain't never seen nothing like it. Help me. <laughs> yeah. Gary. <laughs> you, know, you, can't. Yeah. Yeah. you can't have nothing. <laughs> Bird. <laughs> yeah, oh. man, you can't even have nothing. You can't even have nanny go get one on the ground. Oh, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Six minutes past the hour of the Rick and Bubba show. Thank you for being with us. I can't 
Yes. Well, we start another hour on another day, on another week, uh, and we're getting close to wrapping up another month in Rick and Bubba history. Uh, we start this hour uh, as we have since the attack on America back on 9-11. We start this hour with the National Anthem. It is uh, eight minutes past the hour of the Rick and Bubba show. Uh, we are thankful that you are here. Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, and Helmsy have given you a kickoff hour all over Rick and Bubba uh, platforms. And there are so many here in 2022, and I'm sure there'll be more as we move forward in time. Uh, intern Blazing Silverman, there he is, earning his degree in common sense, banging out another day. Common sense, of course, now a superpower. Eddie Van Adler, he's in there and ready to go for another week. Well rested, got him a three-day weekend like he likes it. Uh, he'll be showing you the Rick and Bubba show live and archive on our YouTube channel. He'll also be dropping in all sorts of uh, video, uh, little, little accents here and there and parts of stories. So he'll do his part uh, as he cranks out more content for you today, both live and I said and on your own time as well. Podcast archives being put together. Helms, you'll get those out to you. That's audio only for any parts of the show that you normally don't get or for some of you, as you're hearing me right now, on a podcast archive. This is the only way you get the show. However you were here, we're glad you're here. We've been missing one of them. Hey, I mean, we've been playing without a start starter, man. I mean, we've had a starter. On, I mean, we've been on the bench almost all of last week. Uh, so let's get him back in here. Of course, most of you will probably know him better as the Silver Tongue One. The man with a golden voice, professional lunch eaters, man of the year, the inventor of pizza and a cup, Shakespeare's worst nightmare, and the master of the king's English. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Bill Bubba Bussy! Howdy, Bubba. How about it, Rick Burgess? Friends, neighbors, associates everywhere, welcome in. appropriate for your return there you go i like it make like me new it. i like it how yeah. are you hey buddy glad to be here do you, do you, do you feel strange that your gallbladder's not weeded today yeah i left it somewhere it's in a laboratory somewhere in california probably yeah, yeah. so yeah. uh i told you today just like i mentioned with the show you know when your body your body's lost a starter i mean it's not the quarterback 
Uh, but I mean, he he's played. He he plays a role, and and you don't have him anymore. How about they're a little bit bigger than I thought they were. Yeah, well, ours probably are because yeah. they're probably enlarged. Well, they, yeah, you know, they, uh, the um, and I never really understood what the gallbladder does. But did they explain I, it to I, you? I do. I have a lot better now. I no, bet you I do. Bet. I bet you do. <clears throat> like you know, it they won't do it anymore. You know how, like after it's mm-hmm. rained and you're going down the interstate and you see water seeping out of the side of the mountain. Yeah. You know, that's kind of how your liver operates. It doesn't mm-hmm. make it. It makes a lot of stuff, but it makes it kind of slow. Mm-hmm. And then. But you couldn't hook a hose pipe and use that, you know, so yeah. without catching it and putting it in a tank, yeah. pressurizing it, getting it ready to go, and that's what the gallbladder did. It was the pressurized tank. And then when you needed it, it'd squeeze, put it yeah. in there, and fill up again. Yeah, I was oh. told when mine came out, yeah. liver, you know, you, you got to have. Pancreas, you got to have. got to have it. Gallbladder, you, 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 it's good to have. But but you can move the on. The design without. is solid. Yeah. Yep, yep. But you can move on without it. But it it you know it works with some nasty stuff and uh, you know those things that deal with corrosive things sometimes they they play out you know. Well, you, and it, now you'll spin the the wheel of food. You you don't know what you really yeah. can and can't do going forward. No, I you'll got, find I out. Learn that. Hey, learn you'll that. find out. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I, mm. there was a bit of you know. I had kind of a safe zone of what I like to eat anyway. Mm-hmm. Well, we so, worried uh, that one of those might be problematic. Well, because it's, you it's, don't have a lot of variety. Yeah, yeah. Have you have you attempted any no, of that? No, he's playing it way safe. Okay, yeah. that's smart. I, listen, I've had uh, I've really had good <clears throat> luck so far. I've ate a turkey sandwich twice a day. Okay, and that's all I've had. Okay, so and wow. a bake and a few baked chips. So I don't have a turkey sandwich this morning. Might have to call Betty and ask her for one a little later. Bring me a turkey. You sandwich. know, there's something about pain causes you not wanting to, to eat. It, yeah, it'll, 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 it'll curb it'll your right. your appetite it a little bit. So. Yeah, it's not the diet you and, choose, uh, but it'll work. Yeah, when I stepped on the scale yeah. this morning compared to last Monday, I'm down 12 pounds. Yeah. Well, you will be when you go through yeah. what you've been through. Yeah. Sure you, you don't will. eat. That's uh, it's not the so, best. <laughs> so it's a good time to get a little jump on maybe getting some of that under control. There you go. Yeah, that'd be there great. Go. Look at you. Yeah, so be glad good. to, glad to be here. We were just concerned about uh, where the bathroom is now. I know we've oh, talked no. a lot about that. And you're concerned about it. Yeah, Whoa. I mean, you, you're going to have to think yeah. four or five minutes ahead. Uh, you know what I mean? And if I, mm. if I disappear... I'll text you. I'll let you know where I am. Sure. Right, yeah. And we, I'll get we, back when we, I get back. We, we, get, right. we, we get it. We do. Yeah. We do. So uh, we won't dedicate the whole show to gallbladders today. I'll, yeah. I'll I'll catch you up on kind of what went on. I got a lot of people I need to thank. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot here in the audience I need to thank yeah. for the job they did. Oh, yeah. And uh, we also have rockets today. Yeah. So I've, I've entitled today Rockets and Livers. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Which so, is all maybe the name of our new CD. <laughs> 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 Oh, I can't laugh. Look, uh-huh. d- listen. <laughs> oh, wow. That, that was a sharp. Let's, it was. Let's do this. Um, and usually on Monday, it's not a problem. Right. Let's not be too funny today. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's been saying. That's that not yeah. too funny. I started, I started to bring my laugh pillow, but yeah. I forgot it. Yeah. And uh, – so uh, Greg said he would laugh for you if you'll just point to him. Yeah, yeah. just give yeah, me. Let me know. A couple of times I got tickled, and I thought, "Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna blow a stitch right, right here. This right. is not good." Right. Yeah. But uh, Monday, last Monday was one of the hardest days I've had as an adult in a long time. Yeah. And it was uh, challenging to say the least. Yeah, that's and, uh, that that no one no one likes the the body turning against you. But uh, I'll I'll tell you this, and uh, well, we come back. I, I'll yeah. I'll tell you the whole spill on it. But yeah. I I appreciate you guys. Uh, I know we got an all star team, so that allows me to to know y'all have got it taken care of. I don't have to worry about that. And I hope you you guys feel the same way when you're out. I know you do. And um, I, I'll tell you about the spear in my side Monday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back. Voice is still a little wispy, but we'll get it. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, you know, and, we'll and uh, Artemis looks like it may be delayed. So you, yeah, you and having, uh, having space, a few issues. space Bros, y'all are probably gonna be disappointed Boy, anyway. No delay one. What if we go down there and it got delayed? Oh gosh, there's no way you can get all that back. Yeah, yeah, what it took to get there. So uh, 15 minutes past, uh, we'll we'll go to what happened to Bubba on Monday when we come back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.
So I don't I don't understand though. Uh, See, Gary didn't have a choice because it happened on his own land to his own animals. Right. right? Yeah. So he's got to get yeah. involved. I get that. Yeah. I can't imagine going going over to some, you know, like just random goat farm and yeah. sitting around waiting on births to happen. <laughs> no, I just can't imagine can't that. Can't do that. I, I don't know why we would want to do that. I mean, it's it's just. Oh. Uh, I mean, can you imagine just showing up to the hospital saying, "I'd like to see a few births today"? I guess who it's are what, you? I guess it's yeah. what you get used to, you know. Right. I guess. <laughs> I don't know, but I mean, I understand. Yeah, I just you know, if you're if you're at the zoo, yeah, that's your life. You got to get involved. Yeah, you deal with it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't understand the intrigue of I want to see it, mm-hmm. and I'm not even connect. I don't have to. Well, just like, to how know. many people thought it would just be to that know. gross? To know, just to know, you don't know how baby giraffes get here. Well, I haven't uh-huh. seen it. Right. right. I'll right. tell you, the drop was impressive. It was. Yeah. Well, he I, crashed tell you and that, landed. Right. That baby was flexible, wasn't it? Of course, well, he, he went. He better be if you want to get out of there. And then later, I was watching him, and uh, he he got up, was moving around, mm-hmm. tried to go in there, nurse, and lost his balance and crashed into the wall backwards. Well, <laughs> he's, well he's, he's got to get learning. his legs. He went down hard. Dude. Look, and all that's precious and mild. I, I'm I'm talking about the things you're yeah, talking I, about. Yeah, Rick. Oh, don't. Yeah, you know, that's great. Like, like when all of a sudden the body says, "Okay, there he goes." He, Greg, he backed up. Greg, you know, when the body when the body says, "All right, all living, the other living oh. thing is out of here now. Let's clean house." Yeah. Right. yeah. I mean, that, that's, I, don't, I, this up. I don't want to yeah. see that. Somebody needs to Wait, clean up stop mama. filming. <laughs> Turn, Turn the sound down. <laughs> Turn off the live feed. Why is this mic? You <laughs> know, this goes back to like us, our discussion about dolphins a week or two ago. You never, I mean, they're a mammal, so they produce milk, but you never really think about a giraffe giving milk because you never hear of anybody milking one. Thank you, Bubba. Not without <laughs> a step ladder. Right. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. That's right. Need to breathe. How about it? Money and fame. Well, it is tax day. They got you. You got your mouth hard. Ready warming to go her there, up bushy. in the bullpen. So uh, <laughs> now, if I remember the last time that the amazing that right. three was here, the American icon, the American treasure. If I remember the last time they were here, <laughs> the amazing three. That uh, that four now. It takes four to make three. It takes four to make three. Yeah. <laughs> if you I don't follow know that year. math, uh, I, I'll tell you the guys. And three on the string are, we we look forward to them coming sure. here, and and this is a tradition that has gone on. But I, I look forward to this day in a funny kind of mm-hmm. sick way, because we'll get to see three on the string, and we never get to hang out with them except yeah. on this day. Right. So so I am pumped about it. I am too. Yeah, I really took the attitude. Uh, that and I have a slight side bet with Greg to see if Jerry can remember the words to the song. <laughs> yeah. Well, good luck with that today. Uh, I don't know which which side of that you're on. But um, I was, um, you know, I, I was thinking to myself, you know, it's pretty, pretty obvious that this year's uh, double CD that will come out toward the end of the year is either going to be called Can't Have Nothing or Don't Be Mad With Me. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. it's down. It's like yeah. that's the Super Bowl. Sure. And uh, but but this this Can't Have Nothing attitude, I decided to take it on with my taxes. You know, I normally I would just lament over it and, mm-hmm. and get upset about it and just can't believe it. And look at how much they take from us and then what we get in return. And, and I thought to myself, I just took the attitude is like we've been you know, told is I just took the attitude I shouldn't expect to have ever had it anyway because you can't have nothing. Right. You right. know what I mean? So and I, that, what was your mistake? Uh, well, thinking I could have some. Right. So, so what I did is I just, I just wrote that big old fat extra check on top of all the incredible amount of money they'd already taken from me. And I just mm. simply just said, well, you can't even, you can't have nothing. You know, I've got over the years, so I quit looking at the total paid. Oh, I can't. Yeah, because I, I the percentages. Is, you know that I haven't that feeling that I haven't had in a long time. Like when you went to school and a term paper was due, and right. you forgot not you just left it at home. You forgot to write the thing, right? And you went, uh, boy, that's, that's just a bad feeling.
And Bubba is back. 21 minutes past the hour. It all started coming apart on Monday. Bubba, take us back. So, Lundy was probably one of the toughest shows that I've had to do. When I got here, I didn't feel good. I thought about going home, you know, and you don't want to, you don't want to be the guy that doesn't, doesn't, doesn't suit up and get ready to go. Oh yeah. And uh, you know, probably, probably not one of the best shows in history that I participated in. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we had a uh, a client meeting after. How about that? And uh, I didn't want to disappoint those guys because they've been very good to us and. Uh, I was uh, going to the convenience store looking for some Pepto, just trying to the great feel Pepto. better. I mean, oh. it's it's a it's a catch twenty two for me. It work wondrous, <laughs> and uh, I, I call I actually called one of our sales reps t- to tell her that I didn't think I could make it, and it wasn't her account. Which so concerns, <laughs> which concerns me. Well, okay. no, <laughs> let, I just played the odds. Yeah. I just played the odds. I told, and, and that's uh, who I would have started with. Yeah. I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. I didn't know that uh, happened. So, uh, well, he tried. And and I thought, well, I'm just going to go on. I'll just, yeah. uh, you know, we're not going to be digging post holes. We'll be okay. Yeah. And uh, we got there, very nice folks. But I, I was hurting, and I was ready to go home. And I went home and took a nap about. One o'clock, I guess. You look rough. Just at normal day. Hey, at that meeting, it's kind of like a normal day. <laughs> hey, hey, at that meeting, you look rough. I was hanging on. Wasn't but you were you pale, leaning on everything. You were pale. Uh, and looking back, it reminded me of how I looked when I was having a gallbladder attack on the air. You know, with mine here. You know, all, I, you, all you were like, boy, you don't look good. Yeah. I just didn't feel good. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't have pain per se. Yeah. Uh, so I take a nap. I wake up about four o'clock, and I have got the awfulest pain. Up under my rib cage, mm-hmm. it's like I mean I'm looking to see if there's somebody as Betty knife me in my no, sleep. Yeah. Oh, you know what no, I mean? Yeah. If I got a spear up under me or something, yeah. <laughs> and I called her back there, I said, "Hey, we got a problem," and she's like, "Well, you need to go to the ER." I said, "Well, let me let me just try to sit up for a minute." And I mean I'm just I'm you can't breathe. Mm-hmm. You go you go, <laughs> yeah. you know you're that little yeah. puppy <laughs> thing, and uh, and you heard ER, and you're like, I, please, oh no. yeah, because that's thinking, the last place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm oh. like, you know, because I know what that's gonna mean. Oh yeah, and I haven't shaved my arms, so it's gonna hurt when they put all that tape on there. Sure. That hurts worse than anything to me, by yeah. the way. Um, <laughs> Wait a minute, of all the things. <laughs> oh, Greg, they, when they have to rip tape off that's holding an IV in, yeah, <laughs> not anyway. So. We go to the ER, and Betty drops me off at the door. And uh, I know I look like the pretty thing going in because they were busy, and there's a lot of people there that need help. Uh-huh. Um, but as, as, as y'all know, and I think it's been brought out on the air, uh, gallbladder problems and heart problems mimic each other very closely. Oh, I didn't know so that. when you go in and you're, you're all, you know, I mean, I, I, look, I, mean, I was like trying to get my hand up on the desk. I mean, it was horrible. And I know they thought, well, this guy is dying. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, of course, they'll hand you papers to fill out. Sure, you're right. Yeah. I know you're dying, and, but can uh, you fill this yeah, out? Not and sure I'm how like, you can do that. Yeah. I'm like, but within two minutes, they're like, we need you in here right now. Mm. And, boy, they start throwing, you know, the all the, the sensors on you and all that oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. And uh, They didn't cut your clothes off, did they? No, okay. no. They not were yet. thinking about it. And uh, so – they got me in, and the, the, the folks there did a wonderful job. And I, I don't remember everybody's name, yeah. and I, I want to thank them, but I, I don't remember all of them's name. Um, and the, they start testing, and uh, we got the, most important. They give you some pain medicine to to temper the pain, which is very important. And uh, they got us into a room. It was pretty late. It's probably about eleven thirty or so. They had me in a little holding area, and uh, <clears throat> they wanted to start their tests that they were going to do, and um, so we had, uh, so we had sonogram, we had, uh, cat scan, we had nuclear medicine test, which is always fun. You know how I love those because yeah. I get to play with the Geiger kid. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> uh, and, um, uh, they, uh, they did an echocardiogram, mm. which took an extra day <clears throat> and that was out of, uh, pure safety because I have had a heart stent in the past. And they were giving me the green light. It looked like it was a gallbladder not functioning properly. Uh, it was not as clear cut as 
you know, what you want it to be, but it was not, uh, for lack of a better term, wasn't squeezing hard enough. Yeah. And they can check that with the nuclear test. Okay. I didn't know uh, that. Yeah, they, they get they get a good picture of it filling up, and then they give you an insurer to drink. Yeah. Now, I haven't had anything to, to eat in yeah, two days I, at that I point. That, yeah. And uh, they said, we need you to kill this in two minutes. Mm. Man, I had that straw making air in 30 drink, seconds. Drink, drink. I mean, I was like, you know, I just mm-hmm. down that They're baby. They're cheering you <laughs> Yeah. And, uh. So the gallbladder was not squeezing where it's supposed to. So oh. under those conditions and protocol, it has to come out in the United States. Now, I was told by the doctor they don't always do that in Europe, but in the U.S. Really? we take them out when they don't squeeze. You learn, something, you learn so something. much on this show. I wonder what's the difference between the Europe one and uh, well, they, socialized medicine. There you go. Right. Yeah, there you go. Uh, they have sent you home in Europe? And in all fairness, yeah. Greg, it's a, it's a European gallbladder, not an American. That's right. It's two different. So uh, <clears throat> we get that out. You pay with the euro when you get it. And uh, got that out. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Wednesday afternoon and came home Wednesday night and then just went into the recovery mode, which uh, when you've, you've got those holes in you, you know, it's uh, it, mm. it's so much better than it used to be. Oh, oh yeah. I, I was told when they, they slice he, you oh, open yeah. that it, oh, yeah, it, they it, said it, was a t- it takes months to yeah, get over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I, I do want to thank everybody at Grandview Hospital. Mm. And, Rick, you remember back uh, – when all this hospital business was going on and we got a lot of good hospitals here. I'm not anti any hospital. I've, oh, yeah. I've had surgery at all of them. You know, I, <laughs> yeah. I make the rounds, but, uh, how good it was for us where we live oh, yeah. during five o'clock traffic to be able to get to an ER oh, yeah. in 15 minutes mm-hmm. as opposed to an hour, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. Yeah. uh, or longer. Absolutely. Uh, so so well, that's the case we made for this hospital when it was trying to be yeah. denied is, you're going to have people that are going to die because they can't get to the part of the area that we live in to the downtown hospitals. I mean, this is one of the most high traffic areas you got. Yeah, uh, and, and I there understand. Needs, there needs to be a hospital closer. Yeah, I understand there's a business component to making hospitals profitable yeah, and all that. all that good stuff. But, look, we this was a good move. Glad it's there. They did a great job. I do want to thank the folks on the ninth floor who took care of us, and they did wonderful and I really appreciate it. Amanda Clemens, Patricia Williams, Scott Donaldson, uh, Kayla Landers, Lynn, our overnight nurse. Don't know Lynn's last name. Sorry. Dr. Wheelis and Dr. Christine, who actually uh, was my surgeon and will be tending to us in that. And uh, they, they just did a wonderful, wonderful job. And I, I appreciate y'all and I hope that I wasn't too bad of a patient when you had to pull tape off my arm. Oh, really? <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's probably the low point. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah. You yeah. make noise? Yeah, oh, yeah, probably. Yeah. Probably so. Yeah. I just can't take hair being pulled. I just can't really? take it. That, of all the things. You know yeah. why, You know well, why, then. don't you? David did show. Is that it? Turkey picking over log. Yeah. Oh, Rick. oh, hey, that hurt. <laughs> yeah. At least they don't do well, that. You remember old turkey picking over a log? <laughs> hey, Rick. Yeah. Oh, hey, I, a I've learned. I have learned if I know ahead of time that I'm good. Yeah. Man, I shaved. I look like a cue ball when I get there. <laughs> you know? oh. D- don't want anything that it can grab. Yeah. So. Well, when you talk about something that has the word attack in it, you know, you yeah. can't really plan yeah. for it. So, thank you so much, Grandview. You did a wonderful job. Dr. Christine, wonderful job, and we'll tell you where we're going from here when we get back. Bottom of the hour, there's more Rick and Bubba coming up with a Bubba Health update right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. About all the things you could have done with it. Well, I want you to think about this. Just oh my gosh, I thought about it for a minute. Right now, stop it. Well, you can't. You say now you think you can have something. I know it. Well, just just imagine. Remind me. Well, how, just think about how any of us feel. No matter what it is, take whatever you have and just have somebody walk up and just take a very large percentage of it and squander it. And I mean, how does that make any of us feel? I mean, if, if you if you've worked your tail off and you've worked hard and you've done the things and you've tried to be responsible, you've tried to do everything. And I don't even get, don't even get, please, whatever you do, I'm begging you. There's been years it's got to me. Don't start thinking about the taxes you pay every single day. 
Yeah. On top with what you don't, get to keep. Don't even go. Don't look at your vehicle and see all the taxes tied to it. Taxes tied to the gas. gas taxes, sales tax. Sales. I mean, lease taxes. Hey, everywhere you look, you're paying taxes. Don't don't. Hey, income tax is not and just. Then, hey, that's just the beginning. And then Rick, with the little bit you got left, you go and you convince a mortgage company to let you buy some, and then state comes and taxes what you got again. Yeah. Property tax. Sure. It's a wonder that when you do the math, we got any money at all. We ain't got much, but it's a wonder we got any at all. Well, it's it. Well, and I guess all of us would be okay if you felt like the person that was that was getting it was was just didn't squander it. That they they, well, just, they didn't waste it. And Rick, I've yeah. said several times, and I've I've quoted around family and friends. I I'm glad I'm a I'm a patriot. I'm glad to be a citizen. I feel very blessed. I wanted to pay my fair share, but I don't want to buy a Raptor myself. Right. Yeah, a it marvelous is. technology that it, it is. is. It is. It you is. know, those cruise missiles are a little pricey. I don't know if you've seen those. Those have gone up over the years. You well, could get them a meal a pop. Well, let me. I'll take you. I'll take your point. And I've made this before. I'll make the deal right now. Let's just let's just provide a military and cut all this other crap out. Well, yeah, but uh, I, I, I that don't bother me near as bad as the the person who's mentally and physically able to work, and I'm sending him or her a check. That bothers me a lot. And, well, yeah, it yeah, should. And, and, and it I, should. And also, when my tax dollars are, are continuing to be squandered on on a theory of, of climate change, oh, and, my and, and gosh. they're taking my tax dollars and acting like it actually exists. Well, it's you, you know I, what they're I, doing. They're, they're really not studying time, climate change. You're buying votes mm-hmm. with it. Yeah, it, it's a it's a problem with the democracy, but it it certainly beats the alternative. But uh, mm, yeah, and, there's and, days that I'm not happy with. Yeah, it. and and I'll tell you this on the Trump thing. I, I don't. I mean, I'm fine if the Trumps want to live differently than other first families and stay at all their different places and all that. But 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 I don't really like having to pay for things I shouldn't that are not necessary. Right. Right. Okay. I mean, if y'all well, nobody would. Yeah. If y'all want to just, I know y'all don't want to stay at the White House, whatever. But if we keep having to write checks for y'all to be in all these different places, I don't like that either. I mean, you know, when you're serving as the president, that's a different deal. You know, and well, or, or let's be equal. Let's not be bothered when a Democrat does it. Because he's doing the same thing. Well, I'm not I'm not up on all the expenditures, so I, I can't comment on it. I well, really the, don't know the things that he writes. The things you're referring the to. The things he does privately is fine, but everywhere they go, see, they got to have secret oh, I, service well, and that's, staff. Yeah, and, that, well, that's. Yeah. That's standard with all of them. Yeah, and I, like I said, I don't care if the president plays golf. But, right. But he, he, in one of his speeches, he talked about where he's running all over the place. Right. And he wouldn't have right. time for that. He's doing the same thing. We'll be back. Bubba, Rick, and Bubba. And the amazing three on a string coming up in the next hour. I started getting several emails about these, <laughs> these alligator stories yesterday. <laughs> Animal stories. Now, I have the theory, and the show has adopted it, that animals are attacking at an alarming rate yeah. and starting to behave in ways hmm. that are unprecedented. I believe one of these stories will make that point again. Uh, well, Rick, in uh, Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, uh, a young lady had fallen asleep watching TV. She heard a racket on her back porch, thought someone was trying to break into the house. She barricaded herself in the bedroom and called 911 and when the noise quit she went outside to investigate and found a 10 foot alligator on her back porch 10 foot now back now, porch the problem uh, or what's more interesting the the back porch is a second story porch so she, th- this thing an alligator went up steps it went up steps went through a screen door and made itself at home on the back porch wouldn't you think to yourself if there were an alligator area would you not think to yourself, well, look, just get up on the porch. I mean, yeah, you're off the ground. Right. I mean, I mean, alligator's not going to take the time to go up a flight of steps. That's just too complicated for something that slithers on its belly and, yes. and, and doesn't do as well on land as look it does in the water. He is too. And that son of a gun went right up those steps. You know why? Because there's a more commitment than ever from animals to kill humans. I'm telling Thirty-five minutes past the hour, the Rick and Bubba Show. Eight six six. We be big is our number. MyStore.com is the sponsor. Mike Lindell and those at My Pillow created MyStore.com to give uh, us options uh, where the um, you know we don't we don't have um, Amazon running the world with a monopoly with no choices. So my store was created to let American entrepreneurs that maybe Amazon is not giving access to us 
uh, access. And um, he's also introduced a brand new product uh, out of his own company, uh, My Coffee is now available. Uh, it is organic, which is important because uh, if it's not, it's going to have com- some chemicals that are banned in this country decades ago. Second, uh, it is top grade Arabica coffee. We've educated you on that over the years. Uh, you've heard us talk about My Pillow for years on the show. And and now they have a sister company uh, offering My Coffee, the sister company, mystore.com. Uh, and you can go there and get it. And when you use the code Bubba, we're going to save you 25%. Top 2% Arabica beans available in the world. Uh, it's organic, certified non-GMO, plus features low acidity. That means if coffee gives you heartburn, this coffee probably won't. Um, so go to mystore.com, enter the code Bubba, save 25% off your order of my coffee. Pick your roasting preferences and whether you prefer whole bean or ground, and they'll send it right to you. There is a decaf option as well. Mystore.com, the code Bubba, for 25% off your my coffee today, or just simply go to the link that we provide at rickandbubba.com under the sponsor. So Bubba is updating us. He is back uh, on what happened on Cats Monday. Uh, he had, uh, you know, he was in a lot of pain, went to the emergency room. They did all kinds of testing on him and then took your gallbladder out on the Wednesday afternoon, Ooh. correct? Yeah, I think that's so right. So Tuesday was out test day. Yes. Tuesday was test day. Right. Wednesday was gallbladder out day. Thursday mm-hmm. was let's recover, and then you headed home Thursday afternoon. Uh, Is that right? when, what day did I have surgery? Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday. I, I went home Wednesday. Wednesday right, afternoon. Right after that's, the okay, that's right. I got you. And uh, then it was recovery time. I want to thank the lovely Betty Lou. Uh, what a great nurse and uh, what a great great wife. She's she's taking good care of us, and uh, she's uh, you know just incredible when the cards are down. And I appreciate that, Bet. You do a great job. Um, the, the follow-up to this and, and where we're at, and I don't want to make too much of this because I'm not making too much of it. Uh, I don't really believe in making too much of it till you have to. But they, they, uh, I, I wanted you to see the uh, – let, let me show you this first. Adler, can you show me the Geiger counter? Because I had a nuclear test. Mm-hmm. So that means they had to put radioactive stuff in you. And I, I wanted to uh, – this <laughs> gave me a chance to try out my new – uh, radiation Geiger counter that mm-hmm. uh, show me the the big one. Let me get the other picture. You're the first. only person I know that has one of those. Yeah, I know. Well, <laughs> and uh, okay. there you go. So, we, but th- this <clears throat> is going to show you what normal background radiation is. You see, that's zero point one zero. In other mm-hmm. words, we're we're way less than one here. Okay, we're at uh, a tenth, and that that's normal background radiation. So. Then show the uh, Adler the clip, the other picture of it holding it up to me. This is two days later, and you see it at 1.79. So still well below <clears throat> levels of acceptable radiation, but you can see that it's, you know, 10 times mm-hmm. as much or more, yeah, yeah. actually. What, what you, uh, what Geiger you, me. What are you yeah. doing with that thing? I mean, well, I it's, mean, it's I, a Chinese Geiger counter. And, right, yeah, uh, I mean. Where you get something it's, like that? Uh, it's the favorite of those that like to roam around Chernobyl back oh, okay. before it was invaded. Yeah, and, uh, and you so, have it. Yeah, I got it. I got a whole. You're I got a whole some kind little of instrument. I got a whole <clears throat> instrument pack ready. Yeah, so if I get called a skinwalker, I'm yeah, ready. Well, speaking well, of that, well, we're gonna you, get into that. Yeah, we are. Can you believe that. what's going I saw on? That. I could not believe that darn skinwalker. Was that that was weird. That All right, let me see the big one again, Adler. Because so we, we can really see the writing on that on the other one. I can't believe that you. Have this? Did you yeah. take I mean, this in the hospital with you? No, this is when I got home. This oh, is two okay. days after. Were the they fact. let you bring one of these to the hospital? Probably, Probably not. not. Probably I would. Yeah, I would. No. Now the so. day after, I mean, they don't want you phone. using cell phones. If they're yeah. mad at cell phones, yeah. they'll hate this. The, yeah. the day after, I'm back totally normal again, far as background oh, radiation. Yeah. Oh yeah. So That's two days thing. earlier, it, it would have been a lot higher. I would have loved to have seen what it looked like right when I come back from that <clears> test. Wow. What if you'd had in the hospital and checked it real quick? Got his chocolate monkey mix back here behind. Oh wow. That's good. That's all. That's olive oil, olive oil, olive oil, olive oil, olive oil, oil. <laughs> olive oil. <laughs> So anyway, yeah. well, a little bit of gentleman of Jack. But, but during <laughs> during the procedure, Doctor Christine found a small spot on my liver. It was called a lesion to begin with. We've changed the terminology to spot now. And um, he he did sample it while he was in there to get a path report on it. The reports were negative Amen. and inconclusive. So. I mean, I don't know what more That's you can good say news, about right? it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think so. But we like negative. He he yeah. is concerned about it, even if it is totally benign, nothing to it. He doesn't like having that in my liver, and it, you know, 
potentially being a problem down the road. So he wants to scoop it out. And, and that way they can do the full path on it. I mean, they can yeah. slice it, dice it, look at it, and more importantly, get it out of you, and, mm-hmm. and you're done. And uh, it could stay there maybe for, you know, 50 more years and not be a bit of trouble. We don't know. But he thinks it's better to get it out. So I said, I'm good with that. Let's do that. So we're going to follow that up with full GI, upper and lowers, a few other tests that we're going to do next. Uh, it'll be the Monday after Memorial Day weekend. September 12th. September 12th. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to have to miss the show again for that bioptic surgery and recovery of that, which hopefully will be kind of in the same window. Uh, he said it will be likely the same or a little bit worse, uh, depending on how much they have to do to get in there to get it. So uh, so we'll, we'll do that. It'll be hopefully minimum uh, disruption on the show. All news is good. All the other tests are good. Um, they did. Uh, let me give you the exact. You list. said Memorial Day. You meant Labor Day. Labor Day. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, the Lord. holiday. We, we, I just want to make sure. Yeah. We know I mean, what you wow. mean. Yep. Yep. Sorry. Sorry about that. Mm-hmm. Um, they did do this. You know this this marker test that they do now. I assume it's through your blood, where they can check for uh, cancerous cells mm-hmm. in other areas. Mm-hmm. And you always worry. I, I, from what I understand is when you have something, if it does end up being something that's cancerous, where did it come from and where is it gone or is it just here? Mm-hmm. You know, that's that's yeah. the key. But the uh, marker test for liver, colon, bi- uh, bile ducts, pancreas, all that stuff came back negative. Awesome. So there's no sense, you know, we're really being overly safe here and all it's going to cost us is a lot of discomfort to do it again. Because <laughs> yeah. it's kind of hard to say. I'll be honest with you. When you think, oh, my gosh, i got to lay on that table again. Come on now. Mm-hmm. And go through this. And, and these are not even healed mm-hmm. up yet. But, mm-hmm. And so we're going to, in the meantime, we're going to do some more tests. And then as soon as I can take it, we're going we're gonna to go back and do this biopsy again. So. I'll know when that is, and it ain't yet. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't today or tomorrow. Yeah. So, and and hopefully that will be nothing. It'll be the end of it. But I, I want to thank the audience, Rick, because, you know, prayer is extremely important. And, I, and I'm guilty of not giving it the place that it needs a lot of times. Um, but I, I'm telling you, every morning when you guys came on, 6, 6.15, 6.30, I could just tell my spirit mm-hmm. lifted. And I wasn't watching y'all or listening every morning. It just depended. Yep. Some mornings I was, some I wasn't. But I could just literally feel like a cool breeze, mm-hmm. uh, a peace. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, you go, oh, my gosh, when I got to get up and go to the bathroom, it's going to feel like, you know, my liver's falling out. Mm-hmm. But I, I just had a peace about it. So I want to thank the listeners, the viewers. Your prayers matter. I know some of you. Oh, you man. get on them knees, oh, and you're like man. Barnabas. Your knees yeah, looks yeah. like a camel. You've been down there praying so much. Yeah. And some of you, you just you just close your eyes at a red light for a minute, or maybe you pray with your eyes open. I don't think you have to have your eyes closed. Especially but I, driving. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. I want that. But I, I'm telling you, I could sense it, I could feel it, and I am very thankful for you doing that. Yeah, uh, there, there's no doubt about it. it it's, led by you guys, of course. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And like we've said on the show so many times, I think we we always think when it comes to that 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 seems too simple, and we try to complicate it when it is the most important thing that God has given us. Absolutely. When, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's stronger. It's got more power than the stock market, yep. than nuclear weapons, than global warming, if that's your cup right, of tea. Right. Uh, I mean, it's real. And and Jesus talked about it. He showed us about it. And, you know, and I've got to do a better job using it. I know that because I felt it. I felt it. Thank you. Thank you so much. And continue to, to do that, please. Yeah, for all of us, not just for this this little incident and what we're going to have to deal with, but for all these guys. They do a wonderful job. And Grandview Hospital, thank you. Yeah. 15 minutes to the top of the hour. Uh, Bubba's back. There's, uh, there's kind of your update to where we are. And... Uh, We'll continue uh, after this break. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba.
that uh, uh, th- they brought in animal control to try to get rid of it, and they were saying, look, if this had been a five-footer, we could have grabbed him, but they were trying to coach him back down the stairs, and they, they had a problem. They couldn't get him out. Ten feet worth of gator, guys. Mm. That's a, On that's, your back porch. That's a lot of your mouth second, right there. Your second level back porch. Now, Ooh. they say that uh, alligators wandering up to homes in the low country uh, is not a complete, uh, you know, they have that quite a bit. Uh, with the abundance of marsh in the area, but said climbing a story higher staircase is a little bit different. But they say it is spring. It's the time of the year when male gators roam looking for mates. What mm-hmm. they think when I moved so into the, a nice little uh, on the back porch? We've got a frisky gator. Yes, we do. I, I still don't understand. I guess it must be the laws. How, how come we can't just swamp people? Them, you walk out there like they do on the swamp people, and you shoot them in the head. Well, I don't know. Maybe they don't want to mess up their nice porch. I don't know. That's, right. that's a good question. That's how they handle those swamp I, I, Look, if I got that, that, if I got that gnawed at my back door, I, I have to take care of it. I don't know what the deal is. Well, you, you, the only thing is, you know, even when you shoot them in the head, there's only one, one location. You gotta, they're, yeah, they're, they're hard to. Yeah. I mean, you got to get them right behind the ears. I mean, you're, you're basically fighting a dinosaur. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Mm-hmm. That, that's a modern-day dinosaur. Ten feet of it. That's a big gator. I like in the story where they say, well, alligators are normally not aggressive by nature. What? Wait a minute. Who, How many movies have you seen where the alligator ate somebody? It's wait a crocodile. Who, who, who declares that they're normally not aggressive by nature? Well, they don't have a very good well, resume. Well, yeah. I mean, they, and why would teams use them as their mascot if they're not aggressive? Tell that to the person with half an arm. Yeah. yeah. Tell that. Tell that. Tell but that you, to the deer that's being drug off into the deep. Yeah. What, what was that golfer that lost his hand? Chubbs. Chubbs. <laughs> oh, uh, Happy Gilmore. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at this. There's another story here that we're showing. There's two alligator stories. There's one that uh, out of Louisiana, uh, an alligator emerged from a street drain uh, that was close to an elementary school. It just came up out of the drain. I'm worried that guy's tape ain't very good. You see that yeah, slip we, off, we, and we, I got my <laughs> hands on it. We just—is yeah. this the one they're hauling off? That yeah, this is see, the, this tails. Is, what this you got to watch? This is Louisiana for. here. So you had two stories. Yeah, this yeah, is the yeah, one South that came Carolina, up out of the drain. Louisiana. Yeah. So we got one in Louisiana coming out of the drain deal at the street. Right. And then we got a 10-footer that went up a flight of steps and was hanging out on somebody's very nice back porch. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. About that, uh, friends. Guys, does that the way they The way they just casually throw that thing up in the truck, I don't know about that. Imagine, imagine if your tennis ball is bouncing down the road and it goes in one of the drains and you go to get it and mm. they're staring at you. I, I have to say, baby, that baby, she's gone. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, they're saying Mount Pleasant is a very posh area, too, that yeah. this is not well, some... Well, you tell, uh, look at that back porch. That was a nice, nice back porch. Yeah, very nice. Well, if I was porch. an alligator, I'd want to go up there, too. I just don't want one out there from a human. Right. Look, look at him with his head reared up there like he's 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 going to take offense. You're talking about naturally oh, yeah. not aggressive right. pose? Right, right. Yeah. They yeah. call it a false charge when they do that. Uh, well... Yeah, I don't want but, then, yeah. but but I mean but I, I mean I would feel the need to put a Benelli twelve gauge in his mouth. I mean I really would. I, I just couldn't have that on the back porch, y'all. Like you just can't have that. Well, what about that's the, a big nay. What about the next time you try to say something that no longer stands? Yeah, honey, what are you so worried about going on the back porch? It's the back porch. What's yeah. going What's going to happen on the back porch? Well, a ten feet gator could be out there. Could you mm-hmm. ever go out there now without? Checking the area. Oh, no. walk out there at night or no. something. Oh, no, walking out on my back porch that is a a story off the ground should not be a life and death situation. No, no, no. no. But, I mean, I just you definitely turn the light on. He's about to break that pot with his tail. Right, mm. and, and and what gets me? Look uh, at it. I like that pose right there with his head up. Oh, he almost yeah. looks like a dog fixing to fetch something. Am I the one that thinks that our our mode of of attack on gators we bring electrical tape? I mean, all, all we do is somebody somebody, shut, no somebody jumps on yeah. their back and somebody gets but out right. electrical tape. But and here you we saw go. that guy yeah. holding it, and, and, and old Dandy had that tape out, and it kept slipping off. You know, yeah. I'm like, yeah. I, I need a little better deal than that. I know, you, be, you being the animal expert, though, you know that their power's not opening. It's, it's right. Oh, I know, down, but that tail's so. still bad. Oh. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Pass the gravy, please. Ten minutes to the top of the hour of the Rick and Bubba Show, 866. We be big as our number. If you uh, miss Rick and Bubba University, the podcast, it was uh, published this weekend. And uh, you can uh, go grab it. Our guest, Dick Morris. Uh, if you uh, watched it on Pluto, our guest was Dick Morris and Toby Mack. Uh, so uh, so we, we interviewed him on the big show. Uh, but because of... Uh, um, a, a breakdown in some sort of communication. Uh, Dick Morris um, left us with a little bit of RBU uh, left to cover. 
Uh, but uh, his book uh, is out, and uh, Dick Morris pulls no punches. Uh, he says this thing of, of Trump, whether he's going to run again or not, is, a, is no longer a debate. He absolutely is going to run, says he talks to him two days a week. Uh, the return by Dick Morris is out, and it lays out the whole game plan of, of the return of Donald Trump and an attempt to be president again in 2024. So if you have not heard that conversation, uh, and uh, go, go grab that this weekend. Bubba, also speaking of podcast, okay? Yes. Uh, were you watching the show and were you listening when we went back to the Skinwalker Ranch? I did. I, I caught what, what wind. Did, what did that do to you? I because caught, it, it put a cold chill over this room. I caught wind <laughs> of it. Someone had texted me and said, you gotta, you got to get on this. And uh, I tuned in, and wow. How about that? Bubba, he said that was as chilly. directly that as was he could crazy. say it, yeah. gallbladder surgeries and the disease of the diseased gallbladders are up astronomically their number of them in that area are through the roof you had him in here the only way my gallbladder survived is it was already gone i guess yeah i guess i guess uh-huh. that's the only safe area is not to do have you one. not find that to be strange all kidding aside yeah, it was drop all the kidding it was strange drop to hear it when <laughs> drop all the kids yeah, i mean that when was Adler weird found it Comment and played down. it back and you got to hear it from travis's own voice yeah uh that was bizarro I, I, Can we hear it again? Yeah, that, that 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 Skinwalker okay. thing. That I, 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 I'm telling you, and I keep saying we need to just punt that thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Speedy oh. found it. When, when was it exactly? It was uh, right around, I think, if I remember correctly, just past the 30 minute mark. Okay, okay. or 30, 34, something like that. Yeah, I forget it's, exactly. It's right that in that number. area. Okay, let me, um, let me we might it. need to hotkey that. Just, I'm just saying. Hey, well, it's I what did it's it feel crazy. like to be recovering and and hear that on the show? I was hugging my pillow real tight. Did you think? Did you think? When the caller brought it up, well, it's not going to be that precise. It, it, it's going to be something kind of in passing. I didn't really remember him saying. I that. didn't either. And how about, how about it? They're, the audience once again? They come through. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and so it's um, that that is. I just found that to be bizarre. And uh, you know, and it's um, and it, and it explains why there was a place where my gallbladder once was, and sometimes you'll have phantom pain too, like I told you about yeah, yeah. when mine started hurting. You like twins when yours yeah, start bothering you. That was funny. That was funny. <laughs> the, uh, it was like, why is my gallbladder area hurting? It's not yeah. even, I don't even have one there anymore. You know, it's honestly, phantom pain. Honestly, I mean, you could use the space. We could. You know, yeah, the, yeah. the room was a little tight. It was. Uh, so, you mm-hmm. know, getting a table or two out of there won't yeah. hurt. Yeah, man. I, I, if I recall right, the doctor took mine out, referred to mine as grotesque and, and nearly septic. How about they're a lot bigger than I thought they were, too? Well, you ours, see them little pictures. Ours are. I mean, they're like a baked potato. Yeah, but ours, you know? ours have been worked like an old mule. Yeah, sure, sure. I mean, <laughs> think about the times mine's had to squeeze. Oh, gosh, that thing's so old, squeezed out. Yeah, all right, yeah. so so here we go. Around right. Thanksgiving alone, that thing was a give out. Now we can all hear it together with you in the room. Yeah, 34, you know you, 32. Have you noticed you work out some muscles that's good, and then others they go, oh, that's bad? I've actually, yes, I've really noticed that. And so this is it, – it's dangerous, and people are getting hurt and probably have been getting hurt for a long time. You know, that, that area has the highest rate of gallbladder uh, syndrome than any other area in the world. It can't – what? <laughs> That's crazy. What? what? Uh, I'm telling y'all, we need to be done with this Kim Walker stuff. Did you see that thing I sent you from the Pentagon? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't have a chance that to look at that. That was Babylon B. That wasn't Babylon. That what was weird. That? What was that? You didn't see that? No, uh, I think I got it at a down moment. Did I send that to the whole team? Is that on my <laughs> team, Rick and Bubba? Yeah, thing? it was the whole team. Yeah, I noticed. It's almost like you just you just couldn't take it at that yeah. point. Yeah, well, and I understand. That he was just me. Said it was during a down moment. Here it is <laughs> from the New York Post. Former Pentagon officials claim an infectious disease transmitted from poltergeist is spreading across the nation. Ground mm-hmm. zero for this contagion. Uh, or how we say that contagion is Skinwalker Ranch in Utah. Rick, I mean, what, what? The, the Pentagon doesn't even make statements <laughs> like that. Are you sure? No, what is that? This on? New York Post. I'm just, but now that really is a New York Post post. But I mean, you I don't have to look into that. But today. isn't it kind of a Babylon <laughs> B-ish in, in its own right? Well, I don't. 
I don't know that far, but but don't they put things out? Isn't it one of those things where they found Bat Boy and all that stuff, and they put that kind of stuff? They're, out they're, they're, out the, they're, they're a little more out, they out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, y'all, you, you, I know whether you're a straight up newspaper or not, whether you've done the Bat Boy story, right? right. If you if, if you've done Bat Boy, then I know <laughs> <laughs> it kind of hurts. <laughs> right. yeah. I don't know why. Or that's Clinton, like, Clinton meeting you, with the alien again. Remember when Clinton used to meet with the alien and Chuck right, Walker? Right. And come to find out, just one of these ladies. Yeah, just tell her. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. So, but Bat but boy. but do you have any not not the New York Post thing, but just the gallbladder comment? Because that's straight up. That's yeah, that's straight up. Rick, yeah. I'll put it under troubling. And he comes in here after he's been, you know, having all, all kinds of it. he had problems. Yeah, yes. I mean, he's peeing coffee at one point. Wait I mean, we bring him in here and you have him all around us, and now your gallbladder's gone. What the? And you shouldn't have hugged him. Liver, liver's like, got a spot on it. I feel like we're. Far I'm just enough telling away. you. I feel like we're far enough away. It can't get us right now. You know? But it did get ah, you. Yeah. But it did get you. He, he If we had a we don't bring him, camera, we could well, see he was glowing. We don't bring him it. in this room anymore. And you got to remember, and things and happen and with our equipment. Yeah. And, and now your gallbladder. You want, and now you oh, want to yeah. blast some noise off. What other? How many more organs you got to lose? Shaking to hands stop going with danger, skin, can't, skin walker. Yeah, right. Say, <laughs> I'm done with skin walker. We got to get to the bottom of it. Well, it took your gallbladder and and it spotted your liver. Bubba, mm-hmm. you say it spotted your liver <laughs> is <laughs> owning it. <and> spotted. <laughs> right. I know. Yep, spotted. Hey, hey, Greg, do me a favor. Mm-hmm. Uh, will you laugh for Bubba because mm-hmm. he's really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that right, better. Thanks. How Thanks. funny. Point, do the how funny. Get the yeah. how oh, funny. Maybe that's going. it. Did yeah. you roll when I started dropping those? Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Is that on you every time? I've been around a long time. I know. <laughs> but do you like when it's unexpected? <laughs> oh, yeah. How funny. <laughs> but the, uh, <laughs> which we we remember we translate that means it's not funny. Right. <laughs> that's Bubba's charity. Yeah, that's yeah. his charity. Yeah. Oh, how no, funny. it means it is, but it's just not that's the it. level right. I got to Right. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Bip. I saw somebody that's a bip too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, you couldn't no. help it. That'd yeah. be up. Yeah. Yeah. I can't I thought you, I well, know no, what you I mean, were saying. Yeah, there's those people. Well, that, there's those people. There's only one way to love them, and that's through the filter of Jesus. There's no <laughs> other way. True. I mean, if, if you didn't have him, you couldn't do it. Okay. Oh, uh, but the um, – but, uh, but the um, <laughs> good luck, by the way. It, 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 it requ- you know what I mean? Some things just require supernatural intervention. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm going to stay over there and wait for Skinwalker. Mm. All it does is take – but I'm telling you, I don't know about blasting this noise in space. I'm just telling you. Mm-hmm. Okay, what else have you got to lose? Mm-hmm. I don't know what else yeah, I can yeah, give. Yeah, your right, appendix right, is next. Right. To keep this up. Mm. There's, mm. there's a lot of things that are worth us giving our life for. Skinwalker ain't one of them. Hey, how about taking rule the appendix out pretty quick with that sonogram? Yeah, they do. You. Yeah. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's now, it. Right away. Hey, it's fine. You know, you uh, Go to the goal. Right. And now, Next now, up, n- now you get to spend the wheel of food though. You don't. You just don't know what. Yeah, and you can't yeah, live I, the rest of your life I've eating heard, a turkey sandwich and two baked chips. I might though. You know uh, me. I'll lock into something. Well, you could. I well, you uh, got to rethink. What are you going to do about food today? Your journey through uh, here. I'm Did going to. Uh, I may call Betty for a turkey sandwich. Uh, can I, know, I have well, your I'm breakfast gonna, wrap? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Have y'all enjoyed it? Y'all should have had extra. Yeah, oh, I, you, I ate one of them. I'm gonna try a bite or two of that. See how it goes. I saw oh, that sausage. It, one time it was oh, your friend. Yeah. You want us to go ahead and open the doors open so you <laughs> yeah. won't have to yeah, food prop them open. I'll yeah. tell you what I'm going to get. I got, I got something for you in the breakfast order you can eat. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I just don't know. Electrical taste between me and, and, and how many pounds of pressure? Yeah, yeah I think they should have named him. You know, and I, you Boots. Know, you ever notice that first, that first guy uh, tried belt. to put the tape on and didn't stick real good? <laughs> yeah, he's got it. Yeah. 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 I see, I don't want. I, Look, I don't want electrical tape standing between me and the gator's mouth. Do y'all? No, uh, not really. I'm, I understand it'll work, and I know the pressure's not sure, there. Sure, I, I got all that. Luckily, they backed it up with a rope, it looks like. Does that help a little bit? Yeah. Maybe an aircraft cable. Yeah. All right, somebody, I, don't, I hadn't heard this story. Y'all are 28-foot gators. Anybody heard this in Florida? No. 28 oh, feet? Gracious I, I don't Come on, so. that guys. Come on now. Is that, so. is that worth it? Is that, is that weekly world deep. news? Yeah, that's... 
The Amazing Three on the String coming up right after this. Hang in there. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Place. And welcome back, Bill Bubba Bussy. How about you? Uh, all right, now, so it is tax day. Oh, it is. And, Rick, we're going to make somebody's day with $100. Uh, $100. The biggest check right now that somebody has to write to the government Today. is, is $1.4 <laughs> million, and we'll help that tax burden with $100. So that, uh, that will be going on now. Uh, we have in the studio right now, as our tradition on tax day, uh, the amazing three on a string, America's treasure. Uh, and uh, we, they've been around for how many years now, guys? Uh, so many. 45 years or so. Uh, they have been doing this. They now have uh, uh, basically they have four people to make three now, uh, which is also part of it. But Andy McGinnis is an original, so he is back uh, and has been uh, back with the band for a while. So Andy McGinnis, Brad Ryan, Jerry Ryan. Uh, and Bobby Horton uh, all make up three on the string, and I realize that's four people. Uh, so, so anyway, here they are, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together to celebrate Tax Day with us, uh, kind of warming up and kind of getting their feet under them. Here they are with the Midnight Special, three on the string. Here we go. Well, you wake up in the morning, which is early if you're going on the Rick and Bubba show. Yes, it is. You march to the table. You see the same old thing There it is on the table A knife, a fork, and a pan Say anything about it And you in trouble with a man Let the midnight special Shine a light on me Let the midnight special Shine the ever-loving light on me Well, if you ever go to Houston, yeah, you better walk right. Oh, you better not stagger, and you better not fight. Yeah, the sheriff will arrest you, and he'll take you down. Let's do what he says. And you bet your bottom dollar, your penitentiary bound. Let the midnight special shine a light on me. Let the midnight special shine a ever loving light on me. Come, Miss Rosie, tell me how do you know? Well, I can tell her by her apron and the clothes she wore. Umbrella on her shoulder, she got my papers in her hand, and she's gonna tell the warden, turn the loose on my man. Take it home, let the midnight special shine a light on. Ladies and gentlemen, three on the string. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, three. three on the string. Three. Three. Get your threes up. I mean, I mean get, get, get your threes up. Uh, look, if you want to find out more about three on the string, we got their website and show notes today, three on the string.com, where they'll be playing, how you can book them, all that, this legendary band. Now, this is kind of the moment we've been waiting on, and, and that is the tax song. Uh, and Jerry Ryan, uh, who the patriarch of the band, Mr. Three on the String, Mr. Three <laughs> on the String, um, ha- has over the years struggled to remember these lyrics. Yeah, well. Uh, but and so we're going to play whatever part of the song that Jerry recalls. Is that and the it's best? Always an adventure, right? It, it's always an, well. Just you know, you get us the, the most. One time I came up here, forgot one word. <laughs> <laughs> and conveniently, Jerry doesn't even remember what it was like for him to forget the song. <laughs> but anyway, Jerry, we believe in you. We yep. think you can do we're it. We're pulling for you. The fact that you're uncomfortably scratching your head right now, we're not concerned about that at all. <laughs> By the way, the great line because Jerry's comedy owns everybody. <laughs> Brad just asked him a minute ago. He said, "Dad, why are you wearing a sweatshirt? It's 85 degrees." His quote. 
It was dark when I got dressed. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? Six minutes past the hour, the Rick and Bubba show. We're back. Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, Eddie Man Adler, all here this hour. Our first phone troll of the week is beginning now. You can talk about whatever you want to talk about. All 10 lines are available. Blazing Silverman is ready to take your phone calls at 866 We Be Big. Largest number of people, shortest amount of time, making comments, asking questions, bringing information. Here you go. Erico 212. At the end of 30 seconds, the buzzer will sound. Your time on the program will come to a close. We'll move to the next caller. Uh, there are 10 lines, so if you move right now, you will get in. And because of the troll, we'll move the line quickly. Welcome back, Bill Bubba Bussy. Rick, glad to be here, and thank all of you for being where you are, and we're so glad to be back. Thank you for your thoughts and prayers, and we'll continue to move forward. Hey, 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 hey. The cats are back. The cats are back. So Bubba is back. Also, uh, make this point, uh, as you are calling now, golden ticket seats. Uh, A lot of you have been asking about that. Sometime today, just keep paying attention, sometime today, we will open uh, the Fridays in September. We're going to start by Fridays only. Oh boy! We've told you the new things we got to do to try to make this work. You'll all kind of be guinea pigs. Uh, so uh, those you 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 know, you'll see everything listed there: the do's and the don'ts, and all that, and the limits and whatever. So uh, tickets are free. We don't charge anything for those, but you do need to uh, reserve them. And at some point today, those Fridays in September will be available. How about that? How about Coming that? back. How, coming back. So cats are back. Bubba's back. So are the cats. The cats are back, and Bubba's back, and so are the seats. They're that, back. That does and not the include seats are back. September 2nd. So it'll be right. the 9th, 16th, right. 23rd, and 30th. Yep. So just, just make a note of that. So we, we're starting on the 9th. And the reason why that happens, at one point we weren't going to be here on the 2nd. Correct. But all that has changed. But we're going to stay with what we had because that's what we had planned. So uh, so uh, look for that. So three of the four Fridays, the only one that's not available. Well, four of the five. Yeah. Is there five we in September? We get five yeah. Fridays hey! in September. So we're getting four. We, we throw up five and we give you four. <laughs> so uh, so uh, look for those. It'll happen at some point today. And if y'all don't mess it up, we'll open up October. Yay! <laughs> so uh, wonderful can i tell you those of you that won't get in this time these guinea pigs coming in you need to hope they do well it's very important <laughs> you know there better be a lot of things gonna have to go good yeah, yeah. So, so we'll we'll see uh all right so let's uh, let's go to the phones phone call standing by matt in florida will get us started trolling 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 Keep them phones are trolling here we come phone trolling phone troll. matt you got 30 seconds on rick and bubba get us started hey i'm uh, listening to y'all talk right there y'all might already talked about this but since bubba's had a call bladder right now i feel a little bit better i was just good to see you follow the bubble Ah, uh, uh, fall of Bubba. Yeah, I, I, I think you're going to see Bubba's already dropped twelve. I mean, it, when you get that kind of head start, right? We'll see how we'll see how it goes. Yeah, you, you need to go ahead and it, it, and do it. Let's go, Bubba. <laughs> so uh, we'll we'll see. Thanks, uh, appreciate it, Matt. Let's go to I, I don't, the term fall of Bubba. I don't like that as, either. It's yeah. just different than summer Bubba. Yeah. 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 I think we've already had the fall of Bubba, but yeah. Uh, yeah. but but I know what he Our means. Fob. I, know, I know what he means. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Meaning, uh, brother, I can uh, relate to that. Drop a bunch of weight like you did on the summer of Bubba. Brad in Leeds, listen to ZZK. Brad, go ahead. Um. I got a question for you. I was watching the uh, Jack State, the uh, Jack State on Saturday. Yeah. And uh, I was talking to a few of my friends. We were talking about their helmets. What do y'all think about the new helmet? Mm, eh, kind of plain. Mm. You know, I, I'm not. Uh, when mm. we we came along, I liked the logo we had on it. Of course, things change. I realize sure, that. Do, yeah. I, I'm not too sure, and I don't know. Maybe. I haven't I haven't talked with the athletic folks on this, but. There's there's clearly a, a rebranding yeah. process, yeah. and I'm not too sure that's not to be sure they separate themselves from Jackson State. And Jacksonville and, some, and Florida. Right. You remember they actually confusion. played them one year. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm with you on that. I thought the same thing. It may not have – not a bad idea they're moving up 
the Division One next year. Maybe they want to brand themselves as Jack State instead right. of Jacksonville State because but you're that's right, what, it gets confusing. That's what everybody there calls it. That's yeah. what everybody you know. So so maybe that's what it is, and it's just a rebrand. I don't know. I, I, so this I probably just should have asked the AD before I said I something. They, but they got offense. They do. Yeah. So this wasn't just yeah, a, a kickoff uh, kind of special uniform. This is going to stay with them. I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because I, I, I heard uh, I didn't get to see much of it because I, right. I was at the beach, but I turned it on while Sherry was uh, getting ready for us to go somewhere, just briefly. And just in the brief time I saw it, which was extremely brief, the guy called him Jackson State about three times. Yeah, the announcer. So, so you know, yeah. Dion has has obviously raised right. the exposure there. Yep. And uh, so I, I think that may be a kind of a rebranding to separate that. I don't know though. We'll find out. And I I'll get say. that if that's what. I'll say this: if they play like they did the second half of the rest of the year, I don't care what they wear. Yeah. 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 Well, that's that was really what I was going to say. You <laughs> Everything got, looks good. Their yeah. their performance <laughs> on the field is is was in the second half looked really well and th- was i misreading the screen or did they have the number 10 by stephen f austin they did they were ranked 10 number 10 and one double a oh, wow. yeah I didn't know well that. they got they they really got they didn't look like an well you know that, 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 the, the game started out i mean uh, stephen f austin behind. was up 14 yeah. to 7 or 14 maybe in 14 nothing i don't know how well, i seen in late. yeah oh once they got on got it going look out well, and and I, I know a, a big coach. start, for Coach Richrod. Yeah, yeah, and and I I, I know y'all have heard the same thing, Greg. You have too. He, he's intense and he he's demanding, and um, and we'll see how it goes long term. But but it's um, th- those type of guys. If you won't play to the level that they expect and demand, then then they'll they'll move on. And, you know, and, he was uh, without you, and those kind of that that kind of attitude usually. Yeah. Puts a put good product on them. Yeah, I, I don't when know you're what, out there, you're getting after it. Yeah. I don't know what I was expecting, um, but I he wasn't as intense on the sideline as what I thought he might have been. I saw him go nuts one time on he did it. That can't happen, right? But <laughs> let me tell you the thing I saw, and I don't know if any of you caught it. I thought he managed it well. But if you're a Jacksonville State fan, I'm talking about just product on the field. This is something that you got to be real excited about, especially yeah. if you're the kind of guys you've had every time that the program was really good. I, I picked up on it. Kicker's kicking it out of the end zone. Every single one of them runs all the way to the end zone. Yeah. I even saw a, a big fellow that was, like, wanting to veer off <laughs> because – and I could tell he was terrified not to get all the way to the end yeah, zone. Right. And when I saw that, I said, yeah, okay. It so, seemed like a very disciplined bunch. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. really did. Yeah. And wow, and, the tempo. And they were – and they and I didn't see the first half, but yeah. I understand that they were a little Smoke. ugly in the first half. Yeah. But the fact that they went to halftime and came back and did that the second yeah. half mm-hmm. – because, uh, you know, you're all going to be a little ugly the first time yeah. you jump out there, yeah. especially new program, well, all they, these yeah. new things we're trying to learn. Hey, they blew a couple of chances. They could have gone in at halftime, but yeah. 10 at yeah. least. Huh. Uh, Danny, uh, so I, I – Well, yeah. it started raining, it poured, didn't it? Boy, yeah, yeah. I, I, on did two, they just two, finally just call yeah. it? I, no, I mean, as far as the offense and the weather. Oh, I got you. <laughs> but the, oh, yeah, uh, once the offense started going, it did pour. Yeah, yeah. but we didn't care for the helmet. But I mean, but that, yeah. but so, I mean, but, I, but, I, but if, I'm but just if, not used to that, but it's, it's not, yeah, it's I'm not, not, deal I'm, not breaker, anti, yeah. I'm not anti, <laughs> but if you play the second, the rest of the season, like the second half and you yeah. do real well, I couldn't care less what kind of helmet. Yeah, yeah. I noticed it bothered me more in the first half than it did the yeah, second yeah, half. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, I, I like it. I like that, uh, that classic uniform better, but you know what? I'm old school. So who cares? Yeah. Danny and Albertville, Danny, go ahead. Hey man, uh, let's, uh, I got a scenario for you. Extraterrestrials, they got one chance to uh, get a signal from the Earth, and they pick up the Rick and Bubba show of all places. What do they hear, and what is their reaction after what they hear? Uh, move on. You know, I mean, <laughs> I, 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 it, it's got to be. They're on to us. Pick right, up, move right, on. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Uh, let's go to David in Prattville, I-92, WLWI. And, and they, probably, they, they probably report back. They yeah. talk about food a lot. That must be a big part of their culture. Yeah. Uh, David and Pratt will go ahead. Uh, yes, good morning, Bubba. I'm glad you're back. Thank you. for you, man. Thank uh, you. Uh, I just want to say, what do y'all think about when Nebraska went for that two point conversion up 11? I can't stand Scott, Scott Frost, you know, because when he gave that, that fake national championship, mm-hmm. but how do you blunder a game up 11 and you kick an offside kick and they, that, well, Northwestern comes back to win the whole game outright? Yeah, I, I had some Nebraska fans I met at the beach, and they were not, not happy. Was Man, it Tiny Scott Frost again? Yeah. 
Greg, they left the beach to go inside to watch the game. <laughs> said so they wouldn't even come out. Some of the other families out there said, "Hey, the guy, men won't come out." Yeah, they're watching the game, and when they came out, not happy, not happy. Look, I I yeah. understand being on the cutting edge with the onside kick. It was just a bad play. Yeah. Yeah. It was just executed terrible. Yeah, well, yeah. You, sometimes you can be so open minded, your brain falls over. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Jerry, are you ready? Yes. Okay, right, here we go. <laughs> you wake up in the morning. No, right, no, wait. No. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I pay another man to do my taxes. Because that's one more deduction I can take. Yes. But when they bring the W 2s around, they take from a third to a half of oh. everything you I make. know, it's sickening. I'm just as patriotic as the next man. Yes. And you know, I love that red, white, and blue. And I'm going to help to pay this rising cost of freedom. Yeah. But I'd be danged if I'm going to change my point of view. That's right, Gary. I hear you. Every time them bureaucrats run out of money. Come on. Congress socks it to the working man. I don't think it's one bit funny when they take so much of my money and they do things with it. I don't understand. I don't understand. And I don't know why they think. They gotta squeeze us. I don't know. But I'll tell you just exactly where I stand. Take it home, three. I believe if 10% is good, is good enough for Jesus, everybody say, it ought to be enough for Uncle Sam. Come on. No bread. You know, all them folks we keep on sending off. Congress. Oh, yeah. They think that all they're supposed to do is spin, 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 Jerry. But it's hard to run a family, much less a country. Yep. With more money going out than coming in. Well, that makes sense. And the debt just keeps on getting bigger. Oh, my God. And we all gonna have to pay, so we can't laugh. That's right. Because one day, you'll just look down at your paycheck. We're already there, Jerry. You'll figure out, well, now they're taking half. Oh, wait, he's on the road. Every time the bureaucrats run out of money. Here we go. Congress socks it to the working side. Sock it to me, sock it to me, sock it to me. Sock it to me. I don't think it's one bit funny. Nope. When it takes so much of my money and to do things with it, I don't understand. I don't understand. And I don't know why they think they got to squeeze us. But I'll tell you just exactly where I stand. I believe if 10% is good enough for Jesus, yes. it ought to be enough for Uncle Sam. I believe if 10% is good enough for Jesus, it ought to be enough for Uncle Sam. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, the amazing play on the string. Jerry Ryan, you owned it. Every word. Every single word. Nailed it. Nailed it. Did it. Nailed it. <laughs> Hey, I believed in you from the very beginning, sort of. <laughs> we'll be back. So, uh, a little three on the string. A little added little tidbit some of you new people might not have known. All right, so the amazing three still here, uh, and uh, we're going to let them uh, go ahead and entertain us a little bit longer so we can laugh to uh, keep from crying. So, uh, uh, what do we have next? Go ahead. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. This is, uh, this is a song that, uh, if you hadn't heard this type of music, you need to hear this type of music. It's old, old, old school, but looking at us, you know, what do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> Three, four. There's a happy time awaiting all the people congregating. Hand me down my collar and my tie. Put the horses to the buggy and away we're gonna chug it to the singing on the 4th of July. Fossilizer ringing, see the lemonade swinging, lots of soda popping, candy bars to buy. 
I'm so happy I could holler cause I got a silver dollar gonna spend it on the 4th of July. There's a tree that's mighty shady and I'll sing me old lady and I'll pick me out a girl a passing by. The gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I can't start another. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Day without him, brother. It's 21 Bubba, minutes Bubba. past the hour of the Rick and Bubba show. 866. We be big is our number. Bubba's back. Uh, RBU, Rick and Bubba University, the podcast out this weekend. Dick Morris. Our guest, uh, Golden Ticket Seats, open up today. A chance for you to book one of the Fridays in September will happen at some point today. Uh, keep looking for that. We don't announce the time uh, so that we don't get squatters, and it gives everybody uh, an opportunity uh, to go and grab those seats. Uh, and so look for that to happen at some point today. Uh, and also, Bubba, the uh, the launch that that you and Adler, I mean Space Bu- Space Bros, you guys were going Space Bros, and uh, and then your your gallbladder had uh, had different plans. Yeah, but, it uh, launched too. So uh, they they've had a little bit of a delay this morning, which is not totally unexpected. Uh, the original launch time for Central Time was right about now, uh, but they're at forty five minutes on the countdown clock and still planning to go at this point. Look how pretty that looks how, behind you right there. Yeah. What is it? How, the window? Two hours? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. The, the, if they don't, if they don't get airborne by nine thirty our time, they'll push it back to Wednesday. But they, oh, okay. they had a few little leaks and things they had to deal with. Again, not mm-hmm. not totally unexpected. So, what would Space Bros, Bros be doing right now if y'all were there? Oh, we would be sitting, We'd be sitting in a chair somewhere, going, "Ooh, dude." Did Look y'all, at the sun. Did y'all wow, I hope this works. Did y'all have to get up at two fifteen or leave at two fifteen? We would have had to have met the bus that was gonna go on the Kennedy Space Center at uh two fifteen. The gates were opening at three o'clock. So Good. we'd have been in line to go in. So y'all sleepy and, uh, right now probably watching. Oh yeah, probably. Really really. But but I think no, I think we'd be so jazzed. Okay. And we took so many cool pictures when the sun came up behind it okay. that we couldn't stand it. <laughs> Adler, do you think you how much coffee have you uh, consumed by now for spray space bros that happened? Bubba, do you have the bug spray? That's what I'd be saying right now. Uh, Who's got the bug yeah, spray? Okay. <laughs> A lot yeah. of bugs. Yeah. A lot of bugs. <laughs> the bugs love me. That's what I'd be saying right now. Was that a tough blow for Hunter? Uh, no, I mean, he understood. He I know, understood. of course, but I'm, I'm just not Thanks, asking that. Well, yeah, I mean, everybody, it's, <laughs> uh, it's tough, bro, tough blow for me. Yeah. You know? yeah. Are you really, I, I are told, you okay? I, I mean, told Hunter and Adler mm-hmm. that they could still go ahead. We would proceed if we need to. And they both said, no, nah, let's wait and keep the powder dry and we'll, we'll try another time. Do you, what's more disappointed, disappointing to you right now <laughs> that you've missed the space launch? Mm-hmm. Or that you're gonna to have to go back and get some additional tests done. You're not, and you're uh, not done with that. Um, uh, I would have to say test. Okay. Uh, well, space launch is big. Yeah, it is. Space launch. Yeah, I mean, if you just have to, you know, go back and do more. So. Oh, what a loser! Hey, hospitals are they mm. thumbs and, down? And, back and, and I mean, I'm thankful for and all this soreness. I gotta, yeah. I gotta do again. You know, that's yeah. that's yeah. what's kind of yeah. uh, the um, they they're saying the so the 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 blast off today. Uh, is uh, they're, they're calling it a nineteen billion dollar space launch uh, system rocket? Yeah, I don't know. Well, I, don't I, know. I guess they're talking about for the whole program, so uh, which is which is a big number. About. That's even more the money than Birmingham lost on the World Games. Right, right. <laughs> that's, you, 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 <laughs> that's, 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 I, I did that whole setup for that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that's good. You can go ahead and go grab your breakfast on the way out. <laughs> That's funny. He could, you look, he can't laugh. He wants to. <laughs> he did. He, he liked that one more than Greg, he could give. Right Greg, there. I'm asking you to laugh for him. Oh, I've asked you three yeah. times. Well, you got to pay attention. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking right. at the rocket. I don't want no charity from Greg. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm looking at the rocket. So, so they have not scrubbed it. They did delay it, but it's still, it's still, still. The countdown clock is still going. So we'll we'll let you know if they do decide to push that back. Did you? St- you know, if they push it back, butterfly, you could go. No, nah, probably not. No way. <laughs> no, but listen, they, they're gonna. This Bye. is a this is a hardware test. They're gonna shoot it around the moon. They're gonna put astronauts up. 
they were going to send astronauts to the moon. They were going to land on the moon. We got a lot of good flights coming up. Uh, More opportunities. So, yeah, there's a lot. And, you oh. know, SpaceX and Blue Origin's wide open now. Mm-hmm. I think SpaceX has three launches of their heavy Falcon this year, the big mm-hmm. one, That's where both the Falcon. boosters come down and land Ooh. together. So there's a lot of a lot of things. If you're a, if you're a space fan, this is going to be a great time to be, yeah. be alive. Mm-hmm. Space bro. So you, you you're saying Space Bros may live on? Space Bros will 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 live to fight another day. You, That's you, right. There you, it is. You were we'll soar another day. You were gone, but you know we, it <laughs> dawned on now. it dawned on us. It's time for the next Rick and Bubba CD. Yeah. And so we worked. We threw some names around, but then over the when you threw out last night, rocket, <laughs> rockets and livers, rockets and livers. Yeah. Our livers and rockets. <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> I, I said we made us have a name right there. That's it. <laughs> See that that kind of goes back to what. Oh, look, they're ready now. Some of the people oh, we're talking about with the, with the naming of the studio. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, you know, you don't have it, and then it just hits. You have it when you Somebody have it. Somebody says something, you mm-hmm. go, hey, wait a minute. Do you agree? You, you had it when you had it. You have it when you have it. You got mm-hmm. it when you got yeah. it. You, that's the thing. You no, know, I've said that same thing, too. Like, I have to be careful sometimes, and we're all guilty of it, to, like, if I feel like the show's kind of dragging, <laughs> I have to be careful how I present. Hey, guys, because what will happen is it still needs to happen naturally. Sometimes we'll start pressing. Right. Oh, no, I need right. to make something happen. And then that turns out to be worse than it just it, – you know, I, all I mean is just, you know, just let's, let's pick it up a little bit and do what we do. We, you don't have to – don't press. Don't overdo. And uh, so it's, it's the same thing with this. We can't force names. Sometimes they just have to – That's right. They have to, they have to happen, you know. And um, so um, – it's but, like the the great astronaut Sally Ride. Mm-hmm. You know, you just go, wow, that's a good name for an yeah, astronaut. Yeah, I mean, you you can't take an you can't art, make that up. You it's can't, almost like an entertainer that changes her name. I yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't even believe that was real. Yeah. It, it, well, what I'm saying is this: it's almost like you you can't take. Let's face it, we're artists, okay? And you can't you can't run in and scream at an artist, paint me a picture. Yeah. That's he right. has to be inspired. It he happens. has to see yeah. what it is. He has to say, "There it is. That's the picture yeah. I need to paint right That's there." It. Right. That's it. You, you can't force these it. things. Mm-hmm. You know, we had no idea that rockets and livers was even a possibility. <laughs> I mean, you know, and, and <laughs> that is pretty good. <laughs> By the way, I don't know why that's slaying me, but I'm gonna tell you at this moment right now, I'm in love with it. Okay, and it might be you know one of those things where you have a little we puppy hope it love. Stay, we hope it stays fun, right? You know what I'm talking about. Sometimes you have a little puppy yeah. love, yeah. and it wears off. But yeah. I'll tell you right now, I'm in love with you. Yeah. But you're right. Now, if something goes love. serious, we can't. Now I know this show. Oh, well. oh yeah, I know this show. We'd plow straight. Oh, we sure. plow straight. Yeah. Just like a minute ago, Bubba sitting there, he's sore, his throat's a little uh, bit keeby from all the stuff, <laughs> and he's really needing to be loved on. And, yeah. then, and then he says, "Hey, can we get the rocket launch live?" And I said, "I don't think we can." <laughs> and he looks at me and goes, "And." and we both made the conclusion. Even in this state, I still try to try to give them hard time. But what? But doesn't that make you feel I just better? I started laughing. But doesn't you that make it. you feel better? Look, because I, if I start like, what if all of a sudden it changed and you think, "Dang, Rick thinks I'm gonna die." I know. You're right. I know. Yeah. You don't want that. No. So that that's me telling you. I think everything's gonna be fine. Right. Yeah, what if everybody had been nice when you came? We in? keep it. You know, we need to keep it live. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Fly! <laughs> oh, scared me to death. <laughs> yeah. No, what was going on? Pay attention. <laughs> there it is. So, uh, right. seriously, I thought he was talking about breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he is. <laughs> Remember back when you used to love breakfast? Oh, yeah. It'll come back. Don't worry about it. All right, I want to ask a I'll question. I'll force myself through. I want to ask a question when we come back about this Manta Teo special. Hey. No, there's one thing I can't get past. All right, bottom of the hour. And I think they rest the ending on it. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. If I can get her in the buggy, I can get a little huggy at the singing on the 4th of July. Hey, Okay, so we didn't know our point. Hey, are we far, far, or what? Which one are we? How about I couldn't follow that one, Bubba. I want to jump one, in there. I couldn't follow. It. I want you. <laughs> well, Jerry, you know what Bubba's got out of my now. genre. Oh yeah, I was a really. Now good. we don't have I like to. I, I, I'm open to whatever three well, it's wants almost to do. as much of a tradition as the tax song. It, it well, is. It's, it's whatever y'all want to do. Yeah, and that's three legs. Because I don't remember my part. You have to point at me. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's part of the beauty of it. It is, Bubba. This is this is. 
blow out. Right. Let's draw in. Right. <laughs> okay. Right. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Brad, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I've got a cough too. I got to be careful here. Uh. <laughs> All right, you ready? Uh, yeah. Kind of. Friends, you'd never guess it. Yeah. So I really must confess it. Uh oh. Here we go. I just met the sweetest woman in the whole wide world. Uh, but a friend of mine said, "Buddy, in case your mind is muddy, don't you know the girl you're fooling with is old Peg Leg Johnson's girl?" Uh oh. And old peg leg is big and mean and tough and grim. And he'll brain you with his artificial limb. Uh oh. But next morning, bright and early, I stole old peg leg's girly. Oh no. And I also took his wooden leg just to play it safe. <laughs> that was a Go, Bubba! <laughs> I, I'm confused who's cueing me. Who do that's I want? That's Who a draw want? in right there. Well, he pointed out. There. But there weren't no time for laughter because he started you. hopping after. <laughs> now I keep on running faster, but he won't give up the chase. See, see, see. Now I'm running across the country far and wide. <laughs> and I got his wooden leg right by my side. Here we go. Because I'm a three-legged man with a two-legged woman being chased across the country. How can he point? His hands are busy. Out, out, out. There you go. I see it's perfect. Cross the deserts and the valleys and the dark Chicago alleys. Oh, no. Cross the mighty Mississippi to the hills of Caroline. <laughs> Across the mountains of Montana and through the swamps in Louisiana. Every time I look back, he's one foot behind. And I know he Bob must be cold and wet and sick. You gotta no, feel bad for him. I'm coachable. But in spite of all his woes, he still can kick. I'm a two legged woman being chased across country by a little Boys up and then he's popping, but he showed no sign of stopping. I tell you, boys, his life is hardy. Now he's ragged and he's filthy. Well, he feels like terrible. Feeling kind of guilty. No, it's horrible. Especially in the evenings when I hear him plead and beg. Perfect. <laughs> he says, in spite of all your stealing, friend, I bear you no hard feelings. You can keep the blamed old woman if you'll bring me back my leg. Oh! A quick study. <laughs> Cause although that leg you meant to take was wooden, in the dark, by mistake, you took my good and I'm a three-legged man with a two-legged woman being chased across country by a one-legged two. Hey! Boys up and then he's got his money, showed no sign of stopping. I tell you boys, it's like this hard and cool. We need that on the thing. Yeah. Bobby, you may have to come to the show every day and just sit over in the corner with your, with your trumpet ready to go. Yeah, man, We're on Bubba, if Bubba's sluggish, just yeah. <laughs> yeah. gouge him up. Anytime <laughs> Bubba comes up with a good one, yes. you got to be ready to go. This is get ready to blow out. <laughs> blow out. I really want to say, though, of all the coaches, I thought Bobby saved the day. Bobby coached you the best, I thought. Yeah. It was the most direct. Well, he's the only one who had a hand free. You know? That's true. There yeah. was a lot of going on. Yeah, go to show notes, get everything you could possibly ever want to know about Three on the String, an American icon, an American treasure, the amazing Three on the String. Thanks, guys, as always. Well done. We'll be back. Thirty-five minutes past the hour of the Rick and Bubba Show. Eight six six. We be big as the number. As we make our way back, LinkedIn.com/slash Bubba. So if you're looking, uh, you got a job to fill. LinkedIn.com/slash Bubba. 
create a free job post in just minutes uh, to reach your network and beyond to the world's largest professional network. Hear this number. Over 810 million people, 40 million job seekers visit LinkedIn every week. But you need to use their tools because there's nothing worse than wasting time uh, interviewing people that don't even have the basic skills uh, for the job that you're looking for. Because when we add people, it's either going to be a blessing or it's going to be a detriment. Uh, and you, and with the tools that LinkedIn provides, you'll only be interviewing the best of the best. But you know, in order to find the best, you got to fish, and it's a big body of water. Uh, but you got to throw the right bait, so they'll help you with that as well. And you can do this for free because you support the program. LinkedIn Jobs, they're number one in delivering quality hires. Uh, versus the leading competitors. So go right now uh, to linkedin.com slash Bubba, or you can go to rickandbubba.com, and you'll find the link you're looking for right there under the sponsors. All right, so I want to ask this question, Bubba. I don't know if you got pulled into it. I, we lived it, the Manti Teo thing. And, and look, you know, I've heard. Uh, I've heard uh, these guys talking about Teo. it. But, but, I saw the promo. But you remember living it. Yeah, oh, when, yeah. When I, mean, I, I did live it. Was it 2012? 2013, uh, yeah, somewhere in yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was there. 11, 12, I was all about 13. it. So, and I thought at first he was in on it, just like everybody else did, like he was trying to get the publicity. When it shows him doing these tributes to his girlfriend and grandmother dying on the same day, then you find out what it's really about. It's just bizarro. Yeah. Well, I have not seen the rest of the second episode because I looked at the clock last night and said, Rick, for the love of all, it's good and kind, it's 10. <laughs> and uh, because we'd gotten back from the beach and I and Sherry – and, you know, was doing the old where they unpack everything. And, right. you know, basically I've spent enough time with you go find something to do. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so I said, you know what, this is my opportunity. I'm jumping in. And um, now I remember when this happened. Now, unfortunately, there's a lot of you that don't even know what I'm talking about. I don't know that I can relive it. I really don't. My, my like, young Broderick, he and I have been talking about it. He's watched it. He's like, Dad. I yeah. said, I know. Can yeah. you imagine never knowing what happened and seeing this? I, so, so anyway, here's the part I don't understand. Those of you, I'm going to nutshell it. If you don't know the story, go watch it. Untold Stories. Yeah, it's Untold, The Girlfriend Who Didn't Exist. It's on Netflix. It's on Netflix. And the bottom line is we were all given this heart-wrenching story of really the, the I would say, probably the most popular college football player Oh, at yeah. that time, oh yeah. for sure, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. he he nearly w- won the Heisman. His yeah. narrative dominated everything, and like you say, I think uh, other other than he was one, he he received the most votes as a defensive player. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know that he that one time we had what's his Woodson. name Woodson win, mm-hmm. but they that that Manti Teo actually got more votes. Oh, I think, yeah. but yeah. still got yeah. beat yeah. by by Johnny, yeah, uh, Johnny B. Good and uh, Man, uh, Manziel. Turned out well, yeah. So anyway, here's what I don't understand. And I didn't – now, again, I've still got half the second episode to go because yeah. y'all might be able to answer it. I asked young Broderick, do they ever answer? And he said, I don't think they do. Okay. Part of the scam against Manti Teo of this girl that, you know, like he makes clear, catfishing was not really known then. Right. Yeah, you, you didn't know to look out for Yeah, it. and there's all kinds of things in it that you just need to go to the documentary. I just want to land on this one thing that I don't understand. I completely understand – that the girl who her pictures were being used to be this fake girlfriend, that she herself may not watch college football. She may not watch ESPN. She may never see CBS. She may have not seen the national championship game. Right. How in the world that with the millions of people watching college football, there was no one who saw this person's picture and says, hey, that's so-and-so. I know her. Yeah. Did they show her yeah. picture during the I don't think that oh, they did. Well, they showed it did. all the time. They should, I mean, they, they would show pictures of her when they would do the story, and uh, I don't, I don't know that they I don't did. Know that they they did. never did. I don't, I don't think I don't that, know they that, did. that they did. There's never one time that they said he, here, no, here's, he never gave them a, a good, picture of her. It's a great question, but I don't know I don't that think, they were well, over I'm the media. Sure. With Why those would pictures? I do a special on this and never have a picture of the girl? I, I well, when know. I say special, they would document. Did they do? But I just saw them in interviews. Yeah, pregame. They talk about it throughout the whole game. Yeah, may have. I'm not sure. This was a this was a story. That became the dominant because his narrative grandmother and her died on something. Of, Correct. of right. college football, and this team gets to the biggest stage in college football, and never once a picture of her goes up, and somebody says, "Hey, that's so and so," and no one's ever walked up to her and said, "Aren't you Manti Teo's girlfriend?" Well, I don't think that on a national broadcast I ever I don't showed think they her did picture. Either. But now I will say this: I asked the same question just on the social media side. Because in the profile on Twitter that they or Facebook, excuse me, that uh, Ronaya was using, 
uh, it did show her picture, and I was like, "Well, yeah. mate, the I, most it's, bizarre it's is when he that, got her to film a video." Yes, of that doing, was that right. was weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah, how that worked, how, how she went along with that. Yeah, uh, the weirdest part of the it's all weird, but I don't, and all of it got answered, even though it got answered with really weird answers. I don't see how this person, until it all broke and was deemed as mm-hmm. fake, and then they went and found her. Mm-hmm. You know, the guys from Dead was it called Dead Spin? Yeah. Yes, they go find her. And then she realizes she's been part of this scam. Right. Never once. I mean, Matt, you realize how many people were probably looking at Matt Titeo's Facebook page? He didn't have a picture of her on there? Not that I know of. Now, he it never probably, posted it a been, picture of a, one, of a girl. Related, he was a, Related friends and clicked yeah. on down and found her. Wait a minute. He never put on his Facebook page, here's my girlfriend? Mm-mm. Never. he had never seen her. I mean, uh, well, he, he seen he, pictures of her. He saw the picture. He that, was that, given that, pictures he, of her. He saw the picture that R- Rania wanted him to see. That's what I mean. But as far as a, a video of any kind, like FaceTime, he had never done no, that. No, I got all that. Yeah. Well, he has pictures of her. Right. And you mean no? he never put that on his Facebook page? I don't think so. As one of the most popular? Speedy. He never puts a picture. I don't, I'm a picture. You I don't, I don't think he me. was a big no, no, social. But, but I'm right. just saying, you got to admit that's right. not likely. Yeah, exactly. That's not I'll likely. Give you that. Well, that's one of those points where the light should have gone off with him. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. I go back to this, sure. and again, maybe it's because my mindset. I didn't grow up in this era where we got internet and we meet people. But how do you, to the point that we're we're doing stories because she passed away? How do you call this person your girlfriend? You've never seen. Yeah, one that time? that was weird. Well, they to the tr- point, there may be a, pe- a person I'm interested in I've been talking to, Understood. but my girlfriend to this level. has died, and she's my love of my life, and you've never seen her one time? Now, I will say I this. I don't understand how that even works. I will be sensitive to him because a lot of them said yeah. when you play big-time college football and you move off somewhere, he said a lot of us have girlfriends. Now, they do eventually see them <laughs> that we don't ever see, but I think the turning I, point – here's the turning point, Greg, for the, for the, ki- for the Kit Manteo guys. First of all, he's a kid, okay? Yeah, he's not no, a grown yeah, man. Right. But go back to this. I think the turning point, which was really sick and twisted, is when the person who's playing, well, I wouldn't even say a joke. I think the guy got caught up in it and got obsessed oh, with well, it. Well, if you look where he's at now, he's, yeah. he's mentally. He, he's, he was wanting to yeah. be. I he's mean, mentally, he was living out of fantasy. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. mentally unstable. He even admitted when he finally got rid of it, he couldn't help and he brought it back, mm-hmm. back yeah. to the weird picture. Yeah. But what I'm saying is once he gets him talking to her in intensive care, Oh, and and yeah. your voice, your voice is making her get yeah, better. That was weird. I think that's when something he crossed a bridge of being connected to this fake person that he may not have crossed right. if that hadn't happened. But the picture thing, yeah. I don't get. Yeah. With all the social media stuff, because I saw that he was putting stuff on Twitter with her pic. I mean, she had a fake Twitter with her picture on it. That she's oh. that she's that she's inviting him in to her Twitter feed. He did tag her, I think, yeah. once or twice. And her picture that. is, you know, like all Twitters have your picture on it or some picture. Mm-hmm. It was her picture. Not one person ever said, "Wait a minute, yeah, I mm-hmm. know her. That's so and so." Yeah, I don't think that Never? that's ever asked. That question was ever asked, Rick, mm-hmm. in in the rest of this episode yeah. you missed. I I think it's a comedy oh, yeah. of errors. You just see what the odds of that yeah, just yeah, seems so it's, low. It's a comedy of errors. Look, catfishing. He didn't know. He's playing football. I'm sure he's getting a lot of things thrown at him. You've got this guy that's sick. He's twisted. Oh, he's my. good at what he does. Yeah. You know, it just all come together. Social media was out there, but we wasn't as uh, evolved in social media as we are now to know to look for these things. And but but there, I think he had a failure point too there that he should have just realized something's not right here. Don't you think if I'm watching all these stories? Okay, let's just say he that they never show her picture on any of the specials they did on him. I can't remember if they did or they didn't. Mm-hmm. And said, look, I'm going to give them this. Let's say no. But I keep hearing about this girlfriend all the time. I never go on social media and see the picture of her that she's provided herself mm-hmm. or the fake guy has provided. Mm-hmm. And I never go, wait a minute. There's not one person <clears throat> that ever saw that and says, I know her. Right. That's not her name. Yeah. This, this, she's not Manti Teo's girlfriend. And I think that was Deadspin's point, yeah, is yeah. ESPN and CNN and all these others yeah, yeah. New York were Times. not covering it, New York Times. We're not covering this. They were going, hey, guys, something's wrong here. Yeah, they and could y'all find nothing. Just, they, they found no said, other tie to her. She didn't said, exist outside of that. The right. Deadspin guy said, we weren't trying to ruin Manti Teo's life. We were trying to Nobody show would. everybody that y'all should not be covering this story yeah, right. in he, the manner in which you're You did no research it. into yeah. what you're saying. Because there was not one other thing that even made her appear as a person. There yeah. was, like like he said, graduation pictures yeah, and all this right. stuff. There was right. nothing. Well, yeah. Bobby, that was the thing. The guy said all we had yeah. to do, which any of them could have done, is do one Google search on this name. 
and the only thing that ever comes up is him mentioning her. That's it. Mm-hmm. She has no other history. Or you can do a picture search. Yeah. You know? Well, which he eventually did. Now, when she came mm-hmm. back from the dead, he was skeptical. And right. he never fully bought back in the house. Right, yeah. But, hey, the picture he was able to pull off and get her to do I don't that. I did that. Well, it showed you early on that this social media stuff was going to be extremely dangerous. Yeah. yeah. Have you watched it far enough to get into the Dr. Phil recap? Yes. Wow. wow. Good night a lot. I don't even have time for all that. <laughs> great. I, I just have to go watch it if you want to. Oh. But the picture thing, I, I never understood that. Yeah. That no one ever said, hey, that's not her. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, we'll be back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Here. I understand there's been a, an issue. Uh, we know that Bubba has a morbid fear of, uh, of snakes. Rick, I don't think it's morbid. I think it's a healthy, educated right. fear of oh, snakes. Yeah. Now, again. You're talking about the animal that God, right, punished. the divine creator of the universe, the just, the just and almighty God, punished. took its legs away and told it to slither on its belly hither forth. It's a cursed animal, no, no doubt about that. And there's, there, there's no great relationship between snake and man. Some weirdos do have a relationship with snakes that is bizarre, and if, and no, if I'm, I've been instructed to bruise its head, right, are, are inappropriate in some cases. Uh, but uh, one of the things you have tried to with a shotgun. One of the things that we, we, you know, you hear all the time is that snakes, you know, don't they don't pursue you. They're not after you. They're not they're not you know chasing you like. A, oh, if you just leave them alone, right. they'll leave you alone. So yeah, Tom, I've heard that. Tom, tell us what happened. Hey guys. Hey Tom. Hey Tom. <laughs> what's up? I am. Uh, hey guys. Recovering. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, three on a string. Why, man. Fine. Uh, okay, so yeah, I'm hunting on Bubba's property, uh, turkey hunting. Did he know that? Yeah. Oh, yeah okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He, uh, he was going to meet me down there, but he was still a little under the weather. He said, just go, make yeah. sure everything's fine. And so that morning hunt, I heard a few gobbles, didn't see anything. I couldn't convince him to come my way, so I moved across the road to the other side of the property Mark. around noon. And uh, I'm setting up just off of a little green field little berm area around me. There's just a little dip in the berm where I walked in, maybe mm. 10 feet off the green field. I look mm. around. It looks like a good spot I can set up. I'm hidden really well from any turkey that I may call in. I'm there. I, I let out a few yelps, and I'm about 15 minutes sitting there. I hear the leaves just mm. to my right start mm. crunch. Mm. And my first thought was mouse. Yeah, it's probably a little field mouse. Mm. And I am looking to my left. That's where I'm set up. But out of the corner of my out of the right, I start slowly turning my head, and there he sets or lays about a six foot timber rattler mm. oh. slithering mm. right up the trail I walked in on. Ooh, followed him in. Followed yeah. me in. I don't know if it was He's the yips you. or the heat signature, but he was right on my footsteps. And you know, you have a million things that go through your mind. You're almost eye level with this demon, right. <laughs> <laughs> snake. Right. right. And, and I don't know how I did it. You know how if you're sitting on your rear end with your knees up, how hard it is to get up? Right. In one move, huh. I was up, and the gun had swung around, and <laughs> as soon as the red dot crossed that evil head, I squeezed that trigger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then it took a moment to come to myself because I'm thinking, this, this, and by the way, he wasn't looking at me until I started to move. And that head swung around and mm. he eyeballed me. And I'm Uh-oh. thinking, oh, evil beast. No, you yeah. Then he went, he was using them pits to put that infrared on you, wasn't he? I'm thinking my barrel couldn't have been more than two feet from his head. That's how clear. Maybe three when when I when I pulled the trigger. There's a picture of him there. Show pictures now. I had to use my gun as a reference to how long, how big that guy was. But that shook me up. I had to make myself hunt again. I bet. The Bubba's done. Yeah, yeah Bubba. Yeah. Bubba well, that'll do I, it for turkey. I, I, I really <laughs> thought. Turkey season is Bubba, done. Bubba won't even walk in the woods. He's I, done. I started not to show him the picture. I really did. I'm going, oh, this is going to ruin the rest of the season for him. Yeah. <laughs> Next time Bubba See, look, go, look goes. Look how he's hid in there. Yeah, that's where you can see where I plowed the ground with a little bit of bird shot. Yeah, yeah. Right so uh, next time Bubba goes in the woods after the next hard freeze. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, I usually have my snake boots on, but yeah, I, I'll probably stay in the vehicle. Now. I had snake mm-hmm. boots, but I mean, again, wouldn't he done you much good. He wouldn't have done down. me any good on the ground, mm-hmm. and uh, he would have struck you right in the body. And well, at first, I'm front thinking, loader this, on this my tractor, take happening. care of it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I wasn't sure. That, it's almost like a dream. You look mm-hmm. over, and this is not real. Yeah, somebody, somebody, somebody <laughs> set me up. All right, who's pulling the string? Did you yeah. ever feel it, hear his evil rattle? Oh, oh yeah. So when I shoot him, 
about five seconds after I shoot him, all of a sudden I hear that rattle fire up. He's he's not moving except that tail stiffens up and it starts shaking. Mm. And for about ten seconds, it's just going off. Mm. And I started to shoot his rattler off just just to make it be quiet. <laughs> that <laughs> evil rattle. Out, but... That evil rattle. Rick, it doesn't have a head and it's rattling. I know. Okay, sure. keep that in mind. Bubba, you been? There's there? no head on it and it's rattling. Mm. You've been to the property since this happened? Uh no, I have not. You, I mean, is this it? You, no well, return? Well, I mean, i got to go back and do some other things. But mm-hmm. it, it's it's really been more about the, you know, the, the pollen and the sickness than mm-hmm. that. But, mm-hmm. you know, I take precautions. But that didn't so. help. This didn't help. Well, no, it didn't help. Your turkey's out. That's done. <laughs> no. There won't be no creeping around on the ground nowhere. That's out. <laughs> because now that like Satan's it. on the loose out there. Right. Huh? Following you, too. Following you, too. Oh, they followed Tom. Sure did. Tracked him with that infrared in pits. Right. Well, they'll follow you. I don't know if he was coming to the Yelp mm-hmm. or or the heat signature or he just he followed me right in that little. There's just a little opening in the mm-hmm. berm where I walked in. He came right. Well, Tom, in the I don't think snakes are known for calling them up, are they? I mean, they're not. Big I don't know if he's thinking auditory about a, devices. A, a hint. The hour, Rick and Bubba show. We're back. All right. So we do have an update. It uh, it looks like. Um, Looks like the rocket launch Bubba has been scrubbed. So even if Space Bros had gone, you guys would not have seen the launch. I'm not happy that it was scrubbed. Right. Um, it's got to feel pretty good, though. We did make a good decision not going. Right. Yeah. And um, so they, they have a leak and a possible crack in a pipe, and they're going to have to reassess that. The next Wednesday, or the next window is Wednesday. And then the next win, uh, window is Friday. So they got two more mm-hmm. chances this week. They'll have to see how much you have to do to repair this. And I'm sure they have other data, and, you know, they'll look at some other things. Too. I'd like to entertain some some theories. Theory number one, we've already talked about openly, that Travis from Skinwalker destroyed your gallbladder. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the Skinwalker caused it. That's one. The Breaking other one happened. is I think that the interview we did with David Beeman, that he halted it hoping you'll get to come. That they stopped you the rocket so? launch because they found out you well, and Adler weren't coming in, in your family. Trust me, I, I imagine he felt like he wanted to go. There's going to be a lot mm-hmm. of other launches. Well, like apparently not. Hey, apparently not. Things. Well, the first time you put something uh, well, together and roll it out there, I mean, you know, maybe uh, well, some, maybe somebody tightened a bolt. I want to ask two They released a statement on why they just said. Well, it has a, yes, it has a fuel leak. Crack. And there's a crack Is in that something. Beeman's area? Uh, it's in the main uh, booster, so it would be, yes. Uh-oh. They also they also had an engine that was not um, bleeding bleeding correctly this yep. morning. They they run nitrogen gas through it to warm it up and get it ready to go. And this is an old space shuttle engine, yeah. so and it did not bleed off right. One of them this morning. Look, so I'm just trying to. They got some... a couple of issues. Look, first time a brand new rocket. First yeah. time. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't have some issues. I want to ask some questions because unlike ESPN, I'm mm-hmm. actually going to do some journalism. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So I'm going to ask this question: Is it true? that Travis Walker said that the area where Skinwalker Ranch is, that the gallbladder surgeries are through the roof. Yes. And did you have a gallbladder problem after he was in this room? Yes. All right. Did David <clears throat> Beeman get interviewed by us about the rocket launch? Yes. Did he know you were coming and was helping you get there? Yes. <laughs> did, did, is it his area that just stopped the launch to give it another shot? Uh, it appears it is the main booster, which is – Falls under Rick, his. Go ahead and rest your case. No more questions. All right, I'm done. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I'm done. I'm done for the day. See how easy you know, I would, see how easy I would have got to the bottom of the Manti tail thing. Yeah, you know that son of a gun would have never been embarrassed to be just had me. The first yeah. car they drive <laughs> off of a new design, they have problems with it. You got to get all the little kinks out of it. Well, let me ask you this, Manti. Right, so, you've never seen her, never. Huh? One time. and you've never Facebook yeah. live. Yeah. I mean, every time you fa- do Facebook live, her, she has a problem on her Same. end every yeah. time. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. But I'm still going to call you my girlfriend. I'm in mourning. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I'm, I'm, I would say Manti tail. You let's talk about girlfriend in the definition. Yeah. She's yeah. a pen pal, basically. Yeah, she's a pen pal, and that's nice of you to care, <laughs> but you're going way too far with this. Mm-hmm. Of course, the media doesn't help because they love this kind of stuff. Oh, oh yeah. Now, they That's... jump on it with two feet. Did not like the suggestion, too, that somehow <clears throat> when this was coming down that it was some kind of hoax that that affected Notre Dame's uh, play against Alabama. No. that That is the most absurd. Uh, Alabama and Notre Dame, they played in two different leagues that season. Yeah. Two completely different leagues. And Notre Dame was very good in their league. Rick, Alabama you, was from another league. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You you got two things here. You got uh, you, you you got a, a rumor 
and you got an ass whooping. Okay. Yes. And, oh, wow. And, 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 and they shouldn't be confused. Wow. Okay. Well, I'll be honest wow. with you. There's no other way to describe it. Right. Yeah. That, yeah, that was perfect. Yeah, There's no go call. No gallbladder talking. Yeah, that's right. Good night. Uh, I'm back. The cats are back. The cats are back. Cat, cats are back. Ow. Andrew, did you go get that? Did you go get that load of wood you're supposed to go get? What What happened? <laughs> yes, I did. Indeed. I'm trying to get all of our du- <laughs> updates in. Yeah. Yes. He's yes, building I a did. big neck. Um. Right. So he is. we. I, I just mentioned to you guys in a text thread. I'm looking for a truck uh, to pick up some wood. Yeah, <laughs> and you guys thought that was interesting. We did. So we talked about it on the air. Interesting. We all like picking up wood. So we talked about on the air that I'm looking to rent a truck. At that point, somebody emails me. This guy Dan Close. No oh boy, Dan. Dan. Sends me close. Dan, now you are close. Dan. Oh. Dan. Just because oh. Bubba Cuss don't no, mean I really you have to. No, I thought that's what he said. This guy emailed it. It was Dan Close. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't quite you talking about it. someone who's heavily influenced by the other people? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I really did think that's what he. I really Dan did think that's what he said. See, see okay. now, that, good now that we've done that, that you're supposed to. You got to have time. It doesn't mean. It doesn't mean pile on. We can't do it again until Thursday. I expect it from Greg. So I can't misunderstand somebody. I know what you were doing and we yeah. all do yeah. man i thought he meant he almost had a truck right and right. so um uh, he dan sends me an email he's like hey man i got a truck i got a trailer let's make it happen and i i send him a message back i'm like whoa man uh, i gotta at least pay for your <laughs> easy bro i gotta pay easy. you, you said, i gotta whoa. pay you i gotta pay for your food i gotta pay for your gas all this mm-hmm. stuff and we get on the phone and dan from lentil lift says to me hey buddy i've got this company I got this truck. I got this trailer. If you try to pay me or whatever, you're stealing my joy. Don't steal my wow. joy. Yeah, don't be that guy. And I was like, whoa. Dan? Mm. Whoa. I was like, Dan. Yeah. Um, wow. By, by the way, I want you to know. There, I'll if be there, Dan. If, if, if there's one area that Speedy is very, very much a proponent for, not to steal people's blessings of giving you things. Right. You don't right. right. even fake it. All right, man. You got it. If, if you say so. Right. Um, uh, oops, sorry. That was, uh, I'm tar- I turned up some music on accident on YouTube. It's okay. okay. It's all right. Space I've, got, I've got a video, if you guys want to see it, of oh, yeah. the oh, load. Yeah. So we go. He Dan's like, all right, I'm going to do it for you. I, I'm, 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 don't steal my joy. I'm going to help you out with this wood. So we go. And drive. He comes Look to my house, that, y'all. He comes to my house at six thirty in the morning on Looks Friday. Like Bennett Lumber, and we and he, we go out to Bennett Lumber in Piedmont at the Piedmont Hardware. And uh, yeah, there you go from from Lee Hubbard, Look at that. y'all. Look wow, at all that's a lot of wood. Yeah. Somebody means God. business. We Good were gracious. serious. About Somebody it. means the house. business. So my deck is is like older than I am. Uh, uh-huh. At my house, at my current house, so uh, it's rotten. I it's been th- condemned. Every time it rains, you could ring. Bless your heart. You could ring the water out of it. Like you could wring water out of my deck if you wanted to. Oh, That's man. how bad it is. That's why I'm having to do this. That's why I'm having to replace it. And so, yeah, I- I've been <laughs> trying to source. I've been trying to source all the materials. And Lee Hubbard, who little y'all little. call him Little Lee Hubbard, but yeah. Yeah, I don't feel good than. about calling any grown man little like that. Well, he's a grown man. You're not that's allowed not to. his name. You're not allowed to. <laughs> that's nice, little man. <laughs> right. yeah. That's Little Lee Hubbard. And, and so um, he hooks it up. We get the wood. We put it all in the trailer, load it up, take it back to my house. And then Dan from Lentil Lift their uh, sister company is B Dry, who who advertises on the yeah, they both, WZZK. Both they both do. Do. We've done a little lift. They both do, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I didn't know what a little was. So uh, I do now. B Dry had, had a mine all the time. Uh, had a, uh, a, a Bobcat or whatever it's called. You know what I'm talking about? The these guys right here. Mm-hmm. And uh, they they unloaded all the wood and there they, they made it good. There they go on their way. Little lift and B Dry. Little lift there and B Dry. How about that? that? Adler, yeah. you hit a home run. You got Speedy crying in here. That's, that's a blessing. Well done. That's I, a true blessing. I kind of rushed through that. I've got some funny stuff that happened. Yeah, we'll talk about coming okay, back. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Yeah. We're in yeah. no rush, no rocket. That load. looked like a heavy load, by the way. Yeah. Y'all, it was serious. I was nervous a couple times. I bet. Yeah, but these <laughs> people know what they're doing. They mean business. Y'all. They haul stuff. No problem. I don't know if you know what you're doing. That's my concern. <laughs> we don't have a real job. Let me just say that. We don't ri- really Not work. Rick and Bubba. <laughs> Creatures, eggs. I don't. I don't know enough. I'm new could to be some, thing. Could be he some had, eggs. He had that infrared going. Mm-hmm. He was watching time. He probably will come saw to his you. footprint. Coyotes mm. will come to that. Well, yeah, they got ears. They can hear. Mm-hmm. You ever seen a snake here, Rick? I feel that's a pretty fair fight. Though, well, you know? it, a, it asked Eve a question. <laughs> it must have been waiting on one. <laughs> yeah, it's waiting on answer. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, may I had ears back then. Yeah. Know, who, I fed him a few BBs. So he's, he's putting out that old evil tongue. Well, the the tragedy of it all is that snake died of lead poisoning. 
Yep. <laughs> and lack of a head. <laughs> How about you didn't even have to think about it, your spinal reaction. Honest, my first thought, now this is the hunter, my first thought was knife. Don't give up your position. <laughs> what? And for, for a split Put second. that thought you, you away. You don't have too much ghost. There's plenty of land to hunt on. Yep. And, and yep. then it was like, what are you thinking? Blow its head off. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> and again, I still, I've tried to relive it. How do I get from a sitting position knee high to standing up, swinging around, and shooting within Scared. a heartbeat. Yeah. <laughs> a drilling, I guess. Scared. Oh, yeah. Scared. It was, uh, 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 I think I would have let him pass. Well, thanks for getting rid of that <laughs> evil beast, Tom. That's right. Greg, I wish you'd go get you about three more. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Bubba. Yeah, I messed up once. I won't do that again. I hope, I hope, I hope one didn't fall on you to the office today. Nah, I know. I'm about to go look under my desk now. <laughs> you can't always get. Trump what you want. Incredible. Really amazing. Don't be stupid. But if you try some ah, ah, ah. you, you might find a deal <laughs> or no deal. You get what you need. I don't wear it to pay. It's my hand. Executive <laughs> order time again from President Trump. Oh. He's going to sign what he's calling a double-barreled executive order today. He's got a pen and a phone, Rick. This one's called double-barreled. Oh, yep. double-barreled. He's going to clamp down on guest worker visas and require agencies to buy more goods and services from U.S. companies and workers. It's uh, called the Buy American, Hire American Executive Order, uh, and it said uh, he br- a couple of his senior advisors uh, uh, briefed the reporters on the order yesterday, uh, and, of course, they won't identify themselves. Uh, anyway, uh, he said that uh, this is going to be an executive order that combines aspects of immigration policy uh, with some federal regulations, and he's going to use executive action to advance his philosophy of economic nationalism mm-hmm. uh, and not going to wait on any action from Congress. He says he has the executive order power now to do this, and it will call on cabinet secretaries to fill in the details with reports and recommendations about what the administration can legally do uh, and uh, said it's going to try to force uh, the buying of American uh, products and hiring of American workers. So uh, I don't. Really I don't know exactly how that works, Rick, but it sounds good. I don't yeah. know how the nuts and bolts work on that deal, but uh, when you when you look into it, uh, it, it's hard to really follow. To be honest, it says. But I uh, like the way it sounds. Yeah, it'll tighten the waivers and exemptions that agencies can use to get around uh, laws that favor American-made goods. So there's something. Require agency heads to sign off on the waivers. It require agencies to consider whether. Foreign governments are using unfair trade practices right. when considering the lowest responsible bidder. And there's something in there about transportation projects to use steel melted and poured in the United States. You know, it sounds good, but, I, you know, I'm thinking the flip side of that. Does that mean if I'm trying to buy something, I got more hoops to jump through now? I mean, I, I don't I don't want to be the Debbie Downer in this, but. Well, yeah, and, you know, anytime we get into this kind of stuff, and look, we, we look, red, white, and blue, patriotic and all that, but, we're, you know, we're free market people. Yep. And uh, and now I'm not talking, to, I do believe in fair trade, and some of that language is in here. Right. Where, yeah, I don't want an American company to yeah. be in an unfair advantage. Right. Uh, I want it to be an equal playing field, but I want it to be an equal playing field where ultimately I don't want to get in a situation where anybody can say, well, you have to buy from me. It doesn't matter if I'm doing the best job or right. have the best price. Right. Right. I, I want to buy with what I consider to be the best deal for the, what I need. And the best product. Yeah. You know, I don't mind paying more for a better product. Right. Well, that's that, that goes with it. That's and uh, But but now I, I have no issue with saying that our, our companies and our businesses and our workers should not be in an unfair disadvantage. But now the free market, if if the American product in a free market, let's get, the, let's get fair trade and all mm-hmm. that handled. Mm-hmm. I do want that. But in a free market, if the American product is not as good as the foreign product, and the price is not as good, and the quality is not as good, I, you know, I, I mean, you know, that, I'm not for that. Right, I agree. I, I'm, I'm for merit. So, uh, so give me the best. Right, and and if we if we want to have the American <coughs> worker paid better, and and we all this, we we need to make sure that we take away some of these regulations too, where businesses can. You know, stretch out and actually hire more people at a better wage and uh-huh. and and produce a better product at a better price. Yeah, I'd like to see the government be more out of the business, not more in it. Now the yeah. trade thing, I, I got. Yeah. I, I'm okay. Well, they, yeah. that's something they need to tend to. Yeah, yeah. 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 It doesn't need to be an unfair. But but now but once we get them out of everything, once else. we get to the level playing field, I think the products are to be bought on their merit. Yeah, not on what colors on them. Did you happen to see? Um, 
President Trump's appearance with Easter Bunny yesterday. Mm -mm. It was a weird looking Easter. At bunny. the first uh, not, Easter did, egg did roll. Did not see that. Um, he, you want you want any on you the balcony know, with the Easter Bunny? Yeah, let's see it. You I need to see this it. bunny. Right, <laughs> here he is. Uh, oh my gosh! Here he is. <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody said Hillary go. was out of work, but <laughs> <I ain't sure. laughs> there she is. <laughs> it's either her or Bernie Sanders. I don't know who's standing there. Is that the Easter Bunny? I, 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 what, what's hilarious? Happy Easter, you know, everybody. Classic, classic Trump style. It's the best e Easter egg hunt ever. Oh yes, yeah, best one. He, he rolled the egg. White House has never seen one this good. Is he talking? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ever before, we're right on. This is the 139th Easter egg roll. Think of it. 139. Think of it. It began a long time ago, 1878. And we will be stronger and bigger and better as a nation. <laughs> Don't take your eyes off the Easter Bunny. Before. We're right on track. You see what's happening, and we are right on track. So thank you, everybody, for being I like it. The Easter Bunny's clapping. <laughs> Easter Bunny. Just Why do I feel like Saturday Night Live is riding a screw up right now? And Baron and myself are going downstairs. We're going to sign some cards to our great troops, the cards for troops. And uh, no. we look forward to that. And then we're going to come out and enjoy you and and uh, enjoy your company. It is seven minutes past the hour of the Rick and Bubba Show. 866, we be big is our number. Speedy, The Real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, Eddie Van Adler, all here for a brand new hour in Rick and Bubba University student today. Uh, there's old Blazing Silverman ready to go earn his degree, at, degree in common sense. That now a superpower, and we'll get to more of your phone calls this hour, and we'll chat with that. Still to come, uh, the beach trip recap, we'll get to that coming up. Uh, also, I'll tell you about my story trying to interview Dick Morris for Rick and Bubba University. We haven't talked about that yet. Right now, uh, Bubba is back. We got a total health update on Bubba. If you missed that, that was back on uh, the first hour that includes Bubba and me as we join the kickoff hour, guys. Uh, so we've had that update. Bubba is back. Bubba, it's good to have you back. Bubba's back. Bubba's Thank you. Thank Bubba's you, back. Thank you guys for covering. You did a great job. Thank you, audience, for keeping us in your prayers, and we are very excited to be back. Still got a little work to do. We got some follow-up things we're going to check on, but right now all looks good. So, Adler, you you told us last hour you uh, you got a huge blessing uh, from uh, from one of our sponsors who provided what you needed to get this giant load of wood to your house for the rebuilding of your deck. Um, and so when, when we left and went to the break, uh, the the bobcat has been brought in. the The wood has made the trip. Any issues or stuffs and in, involving the journey with yeah. the wood? Yes, yes. I kind of blew through that. So let me back us up a little bit mm -hmm. earlier in the day. So I had just talked to Dan, uh, Dan the Lentil Man from mm -hmm. Lentil Left. Mm -hmm. I talked to him one time on the phone, and I just kind of assumed that this guy was legit. So. I'm like, all right, well, we'll see. I so did Manta, I tell you. Right, right. <laughs> and you just kind of got to go with your gut sometimes, and mm -hmm. sometimes it's right and sometimes it's wrong. Right. Uh, luckily, it was right with this situation. So the plan was Dan was going to come pick me up at 6.30 in the morning on Friday. We we're going to go get the wood, and then we we're going we were gonna to come bring it back. Um, I am used to making breakfast on Saturday mornings now because that's really the only days that I make breakfast. Uh, because w in the mornings w here, we just rush to yeah, work. It's, it's impossible. Yeah, it's, it, we just rush to work. That's mm -hmm. all we're trying to do in the mornings. Um, and I forgot how long making breakfast really takes because I've been in, like, casual breakfast guy mode. And my plan was to make a breakfast sandwich for both of us uh, in the morning for the early road trip. You and Dan Dan the Little Man? Yes, yes, oh. exactly. Mm -hmm. At 622, my wife comes in and sees that I'm frying bacon, and she's like, what are you doing? He's supposed to be here at 6.30. Why are you frying bacon right now? I'm like, I'm behind. I'm sorry. I'm behind. I know. And so that's going on. And Dan is the kind of guy who is early. He's a oh, responsible yeah. well, adult man. You know why? Because he has a real job, right. unlike us. Right, right. Even right. though we're on time because we have no choice. <laughs> right. But, right. Uh, but if we had a choice, we wouldn't be. Right. So at 6.25, he texts me, hey, I'm here. 
So I'm still making bacon and egg breakfast oh, sandwiches. Wow. Well, I'm, like, well. I'm like, ah, ah, in the kitchen, you know, trying to get it done, trying, trying to get it done. How disappointing. I jump in his truck at 6 39 and he hates it so uh, that's how i started the day guys with him waiting for me for 14 minutes that's how it started you realize you what you do for a living involves back timing to a certain time perfectly i know i know exactly and so come on man you don't know how long it takes to make breakfast that's how we started the day so i had to like dig myself out of that hole the whole time he asked how many times did you apologize for y'all leaving late profusely a lot way too many times he actually had to do a quick stop to uh, do an inspection on somebody's home that might need a lentil lift. Now you've made him late to that. So oh, I, no. I'm the ride-along guy. Yeah, I did like a ride-along up. with this guy, and immediately oh, I see that these uh, – this is like a nice ho- country, house in the country. You guys have seen these nice country houses. It's like – Yeah, I've been to Greg's like house. Like a nice house yeah, in the yeah. country. Yeah, exactly. That's where yeah. we went. And it's so obvious that I do not belong in this conversation with these two gentlemen. Oh, no. They're saying the <laughs> word excavator within the first sentence. They're like, we're talking about an excavator. And I'm like, they're – What about how, Anthel? They just – how are they talking about excavators already? They just said hello. Yeah. I'm obviously but, not in this conversation. No. I'm just going to hang back. You live in a different culture. Yeah. Just yes. eat your sandwich. Get back in the truck. Yes. Mm-hmm. So uh, the, they, he inspected the guy's garage door. That's where mm-hmm. the brick kind of mm-hmm. oh. maybe starts. Well, I learned all about lentils when there I did go. Dan's commercial. <laughs> yes. Hey, let me ask you this. How good were the sandwiches? Were they any good? My sandwich was great. Okay. My sandwich was great. Did you it toast was, the bread? You know, I, I didn't have time. That's the oh, one regret. That's the one. Mean, this is unbelievable. How did you know I didn't toast the you bread? Been five How did you know I didn't rushed. toast the I bread? It. it was yeah. rushed. You didn't factor yeah. in you toast time. You could have took five more minutes. I know, I know. You didn't factor in toast time. But, are you, what are you doing? But I had hot eggs and hot bacon going into that sandwich. And soggy. Then I, and then I wrapped it up in foil. Now you've made the sandwich soggy. No, it was yes, steamy. Very soggy. It was steamy and good. How close was it? Was that you? old square white bread? Yeah, it was just a wood you got. No, 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 no. This was like legit thick. Like kind of sourdough? sweet bread. It was almost sourdough? like a sweet breakfast sandwich bread. Sourdough? Not sourdough. Okay. It was not sourdough. Would it kill you to get an English muffin? <laughs> Did the thought enter the your mind? The sandwiches were good <laughs> and enjoyed by all who partook in them. <laughs> Did, the, Did the thought enter your mind to leave breakfast behind and go, just forget it. Aaron, will you take over? I'm out. At 620, I was like, I need, you've. You need you've promised breakfast sandwiches, so you need to make it happen. You're going to be late, but I, bet the bacon, I, I had to. I had to. Uh, I bet the bacon wasn't even crispy. No, it was crispy. Well, I went. Left, you know, he left a mess. Oh no, I did leave a mess. I did. There are eggshells everywhere. I cleaned okay. them up when I got home with all the wood. All right, so now you're in the country with the excavator guy. I'm sorry. Yes, yes. I just want to know if the sandwiches were really good. We went and did the uh, inspection on the guys' uh, lentil, and the and the guy was like, you know, I'll get back to you. Is this lentil in trouble? It's it's doing the little droopy thing. Uh-oh. Luckily, Little Lift has you know yeah. it has Lentil the opposite it. of that. It's right. that yeah, okay. So we go. We get to Piedmont Hardware and Lumber. That's uh, Lee Hubbard's place. I refuse to call him Little Lee Hubbard because he's a grown man, and yeah. I, I'm very sensitive. Well, to, no offense, to that kind of, no offense. You can never call people Little. Exactly. Yeah. That, it's a twofer. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> we're there, and now we're putting concrete in on the truck. We're ca- putting concrete in the back of a bed of a truck. Serious. I take an 80 pound bag of concrete and it's just so heavy. It's an yeah. 80 pound bag. It's all right. And I lift it to put it into the back of the truck. And I want people to think I'm cool. And these are all people that like live and work in this world. And they're picking them up like nothing. And I want them to think I do too. Yeah. I picked up the thing and I put it in the bed of the truck and the weight of it lifts me off my feet oh, as I'm trying to do it. <laughs> You're dangling. I'm, the bed. I'm dangling on the edge of this really, I mean, here's the picture of the truck right here. I'm dangling in the oh, bed of Adler. this truck. Men are around. Men. So you are around. Your armpits. You're, it's like your arms are in there and your legs are. <laughs> my legs are. I'm like teeter totter. I'm planking. Oh I'm planking on the edge oh of this man's goodness. truck as I'm trying to put this concrete in the bed. I, I got that worked out, but I pinched some. I pinched part of my body that. Oh, it's boy. not good. Anyway, so we get then we get the wood all loaded up. We get the look. I, I did not fit in. I tried to look cool and then I no. tried to hey, help. Hey, Adler, this is what I've learned. Okay, because I understand this this desire. They know what we do for a living. Okay, right. it's not a secret. Uh, okay, yeah, this is so, why he's helping you. So they, they know that you don't do any of this. They know they they okay. I tried. You weren't, like, you weren't fooling I tried anyone. To act like the work boots myself. didn't help. Yeah, you 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 convincing them that you work construction. Uh, no, everybody knows you don't. Okay, right. yeah. they're like who's this? Maybe guy? for this many one, houses. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
You didn't wear tiny jeans homes. and flip flops, did you? Struck my, I, I, no, no, I was okay. wearing shoes, real shoes. Yeah. Okay. I should have worn my steel toed mo- <laughs> motorcycle <laughs> boots. Wait, but you didn't go as far as try work, work boots on, did no, you? No, I should have, though. <laughs> but um, it was it was great. And guys. Socks and shorts on. I can tell you, I, I, I know what it to look. Yes, and uh, and his long hair and a ponytail. Yes, definitely. I just want to thank the guys at uh, at Lintel Lift and Be Dry, and uh, for we made it happen. Got the wood, y- y'all. This was ten thousand pounds of wood. Unbelievable. It was it was crazy. Who's gonna help you build this deck? It was real men that got it done, and I just stood around and acted like it. Yeah. Oh, I'm hiring some guys. So I'm not building. It. <laughs> Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. Lentil lift and be dry. There they go. Huge shout out to Dan Close from Lentil Lift. Um, I just really want to thank you, man, for uh, not, you know, taking me into the woods and slowly killing me and like wearing my face as a mask. That especially means a lot to me, man. So. Uh, thank you so much, man. I really couldn't have, couldn't have done this without you, man. And uh, everybody at Lentil Lift and everybody at Be Dry and everybody at Bennett Lumber slash Piedmont Hardware and Lumber Supply, uh, Lee Hubbard, D. Wayne, Devin with Be Dry, uh, really thank you guys so much for everything, uh, especially for... You know, like I said, the the non-murdering part of all this is the part I'm most thankful for. So, see ya. Please don't take your eyes off the roll, Easter Bunny when you're standing Easter there. Easter egg roll. <laughs> and I don't know if we're going to be successful, but I know a lot of people down there are going to be successful. I've seen those kids, and they're highly, highly competitive. <laughs> that I can tell you. What in the world? I just want to thank First Lady Melania Trump. She's really worked hard on this. Mr. Buddy's clapping. Clapping with his glasses. <laughs> Today, long time to make it perfect, and we wanted to keep it just right. So I want to just uh, ask her to speak. But before she speaks, I want oh, to congratulate her on this wonderful, wonderful. Today, day. I'm very of proud of, of myself. A lot of people, and they're going to have a great time. So Melania, thank you very much, and Baron, thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much. <laughs> and then there's the Easter Bunny sitting there. Yeah, the, Easter, the Easter Bunny. Bunny. I'm sorry. He's, he's trying to be serious. <laughs> By the, by the way, I'm, 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 y'all keep in mind, it's better than what we could have had. Okay, no, just keep no, that no, no question about that. No question. No question. I have to keep telling myself that a lot. Good. Uh, we have, um, yeah, we started noticing on the big screens here in the studio them showing a, a montage of greatest, you know, freakouts of coaches when they've had enough and they draw lines and, you know, you're, you're famous, you know, come after me, I'm 40 and. You know, just some of the legends uh, over the years. <laughs> that we Come love. Come after me. I'm a man. I'm 40. And pe- <laughs> coaches losing their mind. They had enough. Of course, we got to see a lot of Bobby Knight in the montage. And, <laughs> oh, yeah. And, and we were all asking each, each other, why are they showing these, you know, years of coaches coming apart in press conferences or being asked questions? And, and we think it's tied uh, to the Grizzlies, who they have a young coach who feels like the officiating uh, for his team – is different than the veteran team and the veteran coach, and he's tired of it. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and 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 I mean, his final statement, I think you'll like a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so so we'll. <laughs> hey, I, he's very very animated. What's his name? Uh, it's David uh, Fisdale, uh, okay. the Grizzlies head coach, and they're playing the Spurs, and they lost game two. And as Rick said, he, he feels like his team is is not getting any respect respect from the officiating and all of the coaches and stuff that we're seeing, and even some of the play. We can't hear the audio; we can only see it. So we're only assuming this. But this is one of the lead stories on ESPN. This is after the game, him talking to the press. Kawhi shot more free throws than our whole team. Explain it to me. We don't get the respect that these guys deserve because Mike Conley doesn't go crazy. He has class, and he just plays the game. But I'm not going to let them treat us that way. You know, I know Pop's got pedigree, and I'm a young rookie, but they're not going to rook us. That's unacceptable. That was unprofessional. My guys dug in that game and earned the right to be in that game, and they did not even give us a chance. Take that for data. (laughs) (laughs) How much do you think that'll cost him? I love a ramp. 
Take effort, Dad. I love one of, one of, one of his handlers. All right, then That'll, we're going to leave. <laughs> That'll do it. He said the Spurs had one player that shot more free throws in their entire team. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're not going to rook us. <laughs> <laughs> but I know I know Pop's got pedigree. <laughs> so I didn't Why see the... more free throws in our whole team. Explain it to me. We don't get the respect that these guys deserve because Mike Conley doesn't go crazy. He has class and he just plays the game. But I'm not gonna let them treat us that way. You know I know Pop's got pedigree and I'm a young rookie, but they're not gonna rook us. That's unacceptable. That was unprofessional. My guys dug in that game and earned the right to be in that game, and they did not even give us a chance. It is 20 minutes past the hour. Dick Morris was our guest on Rick and Bubba University, the podcast this past weekend. It's, um, Bubba, it was one of those things, it's, uh, I think you'll get a lot out of the podcast, uh, but um, the the weekend started. Um, so the plan was way back before any of this took place, before rockets and livers and gallbladders, uh, that um, that I was going to uh, to take this Friday off to take Sherry down to the beach for a little weekend getaway for her birthday, which is uh, this month, and we couldn't do it on her birthday weekend, uh, but we were going to do it on this weekend. And uh, so, but things ended up happening that we were just going to leave after the show on Thursday, which means after the podcast. Well, obviously, you you fell ill and had to get in the hospital and had to have surgery and, and all this. So I end up, you know, kind of in no man's land, and that is I end up uh, ready to interview Dick Morris by myself uh, for 45 minutes. And uh, and so I, um, oh, I hold my yeah yeah the 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 only thing that could have been worse if you had left me on the rocket podcast, <laughs> uh, I think I'd have been okay on the Skinwalker one, probably been a different podcast, yeah, but I think yeah, I'd have been okay yeah. there, uh, as I would have been uh, telling them that doom and gloom is coming and they right. need to leave immediately. Stop it! Stop right. it! Right. Uh, anyway, of course, you know it's already cost you a gallbladder, but I guess we'll keep going ahead. Um, so I'll, I'll talk about this, and then we'll come back. I'll talk about the little getaway because all of it kind of kind of ties together. So, you know, Adler, you know how it is. You, you've done the podcast thing. Um, the, the lighting in the studio changes. Uh, everything changes. And, and it just is a very quiet – it feels nothing like the show. It, it's a much quieter uh, conversation. It's designed to be a little bit of a different pitch we throw during the week. And the only thing that makes it feel more quiet is when you're alone, and and, and it's just it's just me and my little buddy Adler, and uh, and, we're, and we're about to crank about crank out a forty five minute. Greg, it's his long day, so every now and then he'll wander through and make you feel like you're not alone. You know what it feels like? It felt like. Have you ever had that feeling where you like time alone? Your wife's gone somewhere; she's not going to make it back, and you have the house to yourself. And you like it for a minute, but then it kind of starts getting creepy that you kind of wish there was a little more noise and, yeah. and, and more people. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, and Greg will go ahead and leave this area because he knows for 45 minutes it's tied up and he doesn't want to be a bit yeah. while he's working. And um, so, you know, he's near, so that helps some. He's near. Just outside the door. Yeah, but, but you <laughs> Unless know. Unless I go get a haircut. Well, and we were heading into a three day weekend. We were heading into a three day weekend. I mean, Speedy had to host the show, he had, he had things it. he had to do. And, and so he he does his job and and gets Dick Morris set up for the interview and I'm already thinking you know uh, I'm not as into politics as I once was but I'm a little more into it than I once was was but I, I kind of know where to go Dick Morris is going to talk Trump so this is going to be pretty easy there's really nothing to this and um, unless he quits on you you know <laughs> about halfway through then Just hangs up, huh? then 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 it becomes first of all. He's he's late. We 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 he's not he's not dialing in. Uh, thankfully, Sherry and I were not on that tight of a schedule about leaving on Thursday, so I, I was okay. So that didn't really bother me. It really stressed Speedy. Um, and which I, I think you enjoy. Which yeah, uh, I enjoyed that. We need yeah. to talk about that. So <laughs> so I'm talking to Dick Morris now. First of all, I, Dick Morris is a great resource, and I have no issue with Dick Morris at all. But 
Dick Morris is <clears throat> is very savvy as being interviewed. He has what he wants to talk about and the points he wants to make, and you will not vary. So if you try to ask him a different question, you'll go, well, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about this. So you get pushed around a little bit in the interview that it's going to be done the way Dick Morris wants it to go, which is fine with me because, you know, I I was uh, I just wanted the information that he probably had that I didn't have. That's mm-hmm. why you're here. Yeah. That's why you wrote the book. And and then you get into the thing where I don't want to tell everybody the whole book. Then they don't no. need your book. Right. So, right. But, but there's things I want to ask you because we got 45 minutes, I thought. Um, now the 45 minutes, you may be thinking to yourself, Rick, why do y'all care about the 45 minutes? Well, it it was designed for 45 minutes and the commercial breaks that are dropped in. Even if you, even if the way you hear it, you don't hear commercials. Every time I take a break, somebody's putting a commercial in there. Either we do or somebody else does. So, you know, both audio and television, Yeah, audio and television. So if you're a, say for instance, you're Pluto TV that runs it. Well, they, they have on there, Bubba, you've done programming. You've worked at a TV station. It's streaming, but it's still the same deal. We've got our program log, and guess what it says for Rick and Bubba University? 45 minutes yeah. with, three oh, yeah, com- with, got, with three commercial breaks. they got a hole to fill. Yeah, and, uh, of course, they don't if you send them something short. But but anyway, right. so, uh, so we're um, – and I give Adler props for, for saving the day on this. So we're Adler and I are in here, and, and I mean it's lonely. I mean it's quiet, and and I'm looking up at the clock and I'm watching the timer. I'm like, yeah. okay, I still got about 18 uh, minutes left here, and uh, and I'm and I'm and I'm okay. I'm I, I, I you know I'm I'm getting the breaks in and <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm fine. And then all of a sudden, Dick Moore says, "Okay, guys, well, thank y'all very much. I got to run." And and I'm wow. looking at the clock, and Adam and I make eye contact. We don't really know what to do because we're recording, <laughs> and if I stop right now, it could mess up. Yeah, your you know, whole timing. It, and I don't know whether to stop. I don't know whether to scream. The heck you are. You know, I mean, I, I mean, I, I I don't know what to say. I mean, I, I really don't. I think to myself, does he what what what? I mean, there was no mention. Got to go that he that he wasn't going to do the four, whole forty five minutes, no. <clears throat> and he just starts wrapping up. Okay, all right. Well, thanks a lot. It's always a pleasure to be on. And and I'm looking at Adler, and all of a sudden, it he's gone. And, and I mean, and he, so he even, just. I mean, he hangs up. He he ends and, the interview. And let me tell you, Dick Morris said, "And out, I'm gone." By the wow. way, I, I did notice something about interviewing Dick Morris. I will always say his first and last name. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. He might get a Mister Morris, but you're never going to get just his first name. No, right. I just can't do it. No, not and, in this room. And that's not on him. That's on society. But I, but I, and it's on this room, society, because I'm going to make sure there's not a sound clip of me using that word. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, because I know what'll happen. Yeah, Ask Speedy look, when, yeah. He, when, he, when he told us how much he loved him one time. He did. Right. Well, and, he was uh, heartfelt. Nice yeah. guy. Did you notice that Adler? I said first and last name every single time. Got mm-hmm. to. Yeah, and so uh, so he's gone, and now we're at what 15 minutes left. Is that, is that about right? Y'all just look at each other. And I looked at Adler, and he looked at me, and poor, finally Adler just was like, I got to go in there and just tell Rick to, we can just stop. Because now I'm just repeating things we've already said. I, <laughs> I'm not prepared to talk about anything. Rick, I'm like, why didn't you come get me? I didn't know. I thought, is this going to be an awkward transition to man church? I mean, I didn't know what to talk about. <laughs> And and so, because I got, I mean, I don't know that anybody wants to hear me pontificate about Trump and his, we had covered his return. I mean, Dick Morris couldn't have been more straightforward. Here's exactly what's going to happen. And I appreciate the interview for that. That's good. But, but we were just sitting here and it was so quiet and we were so alone and, uh, and I'm wanting to leave and go to the beach. So I'm, I'm, I'm losing interest quickly. And, uh, and, and Adler, what you did on those that had to have the 45 minutes, you took the Toby Mac interview and added it to the end. Is that correct? Yes, yes. So mm-hmm. if you watched Rick and Bubba well University done. on uh, Pluto TV, then you caught the entire episode of Rick and Bubba University, and then you caught a 10-minute interview with Toby Mac. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, that's a good save. Good yeah, job. That, that really was. So there you that was a good interview. I thought I was getting pranked because I'm getting out of the car to go to a meeting because I my routine is I watch it on the monitor in there at, right outside my office. Well, then I had to leave, and Adler sends me a text that – Dick Morris just stopped the the podcast. Said he had to go somewhere else, and I thought, ha ha ha, that's oh, a good. That's, that's a that's a good one. <laughs> you, know? you sounded like you were telling. And the then truth. you texted me, Rick, and I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, and now I'm on the way to the beach, so I'm not going to discuss it. <laughs> right, right, yeah, we'll no. be we'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Take that for data. <laughs> 
So was the original question, did it have data in it? Or how, how did he get Or was that just his new saying? <laughs> that is new saying. There, there's some information. I'll tell you what, it's going to end up fake nine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that for data. Uh, so I didn't see the game. Uh, people who did, are they saying, yeah, it was a little one-sided on the refs or what? I'll tell you, one person thinks it's that way. Yeah. yeah. I don't really, really think they are. Yeah. Yeah, he's not happy. No. <laughs> well, I mean, it does bother you when you think, all right, they got one player shot more free throws than the whole team. And the, the, I mean, well, maybe they gonna foul rook us. Maybe they do. They're not going to rook them. I'll tell you that. No, they're not. I know Pop's got pedigree. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a rookie. I, I know that. You know, <laughs> when you you talk to people, they think that well, the fouls or the penalties ought to be balanced, but not necessarily. Maybe one team's, you know, does it that got better technique? You know, I don't know. Well, I, I, yeah, I don't. It know. doesn't have to be that yeah. way. Yeah, I think I think when you have when you have a legitimate gripe, and we've all been there, is when you have officiating when all things are equal. Meaning, our player does the same thing; it's a, it's a foul. Their player does the same thing; it's right. not a foul. Right now, if you can produce that kind of, and I've seen that happen before. Yeah. Uh, and I guess look, they're human beings; they get caught up, and they do get caught up in certain things. I'm sorry, you know. I'm and and as is human beings, and the thing that that you know they always that'll get down this game, it didn't happen. The thing that concerns you is I always get – if you ever have an official that uh, apparently he or she has declared that you've got the game under control and starts thinking they're now going to try to – they're going to do the job of deciding. Yeah. And, well, they, and they don't understand that the team you're playing can actually come back if, yeah. they're, if they're given opportunities. Right. right. And, and if we end up with in, in foul trouble and everything, they really could win the game right now. <laughs> Let me decide when we pull call the dogs off. Please yeah. don't do it for us. Right. Because just, you may you may think we better we're better than we really are. Just enforce <laughs> you know? the rules. Just enforce the rules. And you may think they're not as good as they really are. If they get this thing turned around, we can get to buy. Yeah. <laughs> let, let us let us do that. Let's just call the game. <laughs> and uh, so, so anyway, I'll tell you one thing: they're not going to rook them. <laughs> no. Uh, speaking of speeches, uh, we got an interesting topic out of Gadsden, hmm. uh, Z ninety three. Blake, how how are you doing? Um, in a strange so way, what, this this looks, you? this looks like this may tie in in a weird way. Uh, Blake, go ahead. Uh, yes, Sunday at our church, I'm going to leave the church anonymous. Our pastor was given the sermon, you know, great sermon that day, and he got into the moment of telling a story, and he cursed. Uh, he said the D word. Um, yeah. He just got caught up in it. Personally, me, I, I know there might be a little stink about it within the church. Really? Uh, I'd, like to, I'd like to hear how it was used. I do, too. Hmm. Is that all he said? That ain't bad. I mean, my, my, my personal opinion on it is he's human. We're not there for him. We go to church, especially on Easter Sunday. We go to church any day. Church is inside of us, but we go to church to enjoy uh, each other. Yeah, I got uh, you. Let me pause. Yeah, I, yeah, I, we still don't know what he uh, said. Got, got all that. I need to know what he said. Yeah. All right, so tell me. Tell me how it was used. You don't Turn have to say, your D Bibles you, to this. You don't have to. Yeah, because that's if the guy gets a very. If it, now if he says if he says people are dying and going to hell, and frankly, I think some of y'all don't give a blank. I got. I don't have a problem with it. Oh. <laughs> no, sir, it wasn't. Uh, he okay. was referencing to a. Uh, he was what? He was referencing to a funeral uh, that he had done, and the lady. I don't know if it was his mom, grandma. A lady came up to him and said, "Here, just read Proverbs." Da da da, and don't say another D word. Okay. So, he got caught up in the moment. Oh, he was quoting. He was quoting what somebody oh, else no, said. That's not bad. Yeah, I cut it to slack. It ain't like he dropped an F bomb. Yeah. I mean, look. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. That would have been rough. I actually have audio of him if y'all want it. No, you do not. Yeah. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it. For data. Oh dang. Yeah. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I understand, and I understand how some people would. Good job. You know, he he probably meant to leave that out of the story, but oh, I mean, I it's just yeah. I uh, I I'll tell you what's funny is um somebody sent me. You're talking about funny things heard at funerals, especially if it's a celebration. <laughs> um and uh, and I, I had one here that I was I was um, I thought was quite humorous. Somebody said they were at a a funeral, and this person that was speaking on the person's behalf had worked with the person Mm -hmm. and this person who's giving the eulogy was a person that was in a higher position than this person. Mm -hmm. And they were discussing this wonderful person and the person doing the eulogy for his friend said, I valued his counsel. And this may be something that one day you'll even say about me when I asked for it. And when I didn't ask for it, (laughs) (laughs) I like that. Uh, So, uh, so there you go. 
Uh, yeah, well. Come on with that. 35 minutes past Rick and Bubba's show. Thank you for being with us. Much to do on the program uh, as we uh, move it forward. Uh, updates coming up. Um, I know we had a lot of man churches over the weekend. Heard great news out of Avon, Indiana at Harmony Baptist. Uh, man, I said it was a real special night there with Mark Garnett, uh, Rich Wingo last night, First Baptist Church, Tuscaloosa. Uh, tomorrow night, we don't have this on our website because I just talked uh, to the folks at Lakeside, and they apologize. This is a speaker they got themselves, but it's our own James Spann. Uh, he's doing man church with them at Lakeside in Birmingham tomorrow night, uh, and I'll, I'll get that information, and we'll talk about that uh, for you can sign up. But ones that these we do have on themanchurch.com because they work the speakers through us. Landmark Church, Montgomery, Alabama, Wingo again, uh, September the 7th, and then I'll be at Ridgecrest Baptist Church, Dothan, Alabama, kicking off the discipleship strategy for them on September the 8th. Uh, First Baptist Church, Webster, Florida, will have our kickoff package. That's me kicking it off in Webster, Florida via video on September the 11th. And then Andy Blanks kicks it off at Locust Fork Baptist Church in Locust Fork, Alabama, also on uh, 9-11. So find all these by going to themanchurch.com under upcoming events. So um, we were headed out. And uh, so we were headed to the beach, had the Dick Morris podcast thing. Uh, hopefully y'all went out and enjoyed that. If you haven't, you can. I appreciate uh, the interview that he did give us and apologize for the breakdown with him and his handler and how long it was going to be or whatever happened. Uh, but anyway, so now I'm headed to the beach. So we, we have, Sherry and I have been going to the same area of the Gulf Coast for 20 years. Uh, we we kind of say we raised our kids up and down uh, that county road called 30A, and we have so many great family memories there, and we love to go there. Uh, the Gulf Coast is a beautiful, beautiful place, especially if you hit it at the right time. Now, we were dealing with the whole thing. One thing you got to understand when you go to the Gulf Coast, and we talked about this on the show a little bit on Thursday, the forecast means nothing. Uh, if they're forecasting 100% chance of rain, you could literally be there and never get rained on, and people further down the beach are getting getting yeah. rained on. Yeah, and I mean, it, it'll it, divide it, yeah. from one end of the yeah. building to the other yeah. sometimes. Yeah, other than hurricanes and tropical storms, don't don't adjust your schedule on just normal forecast stuff because we, we had a 100% chance of rain on Thursday, 80 on Friday, 80 on Saturday, <clears throat> I think 70 or 80 on Sunday, and we got sprinkled on for about 20 minutes one day. And that huh. was that was it. So uh, so it, it as far as where we were, it, now you could look down at times and see it pouring uh, down the beach, you know, or something like that. But where we were, sunshine and, and it was good. The water was beautiful. It was calm. So you know, beach life. And, and I know every time we go beach to. Uh, so what what has happened now that we're empty nesters? Is Sherry and I have started uh, taking this little weekend getaway. We'll try to do a little three day weekend. And go down there and just spend time together and take some rest and relaxation and and regroup and just have an incredible time uh, together and uh, I just I just love it and um, so one of the things that I had not counted on and everybody always brings this up anytime you're going to the beach with Sherry you know she's hurt friends she's gotten friends sick uh, with her her bike riding desires um now keep in mind when you go to the beach we're not bikers you know cyclists is i guess a better word here uh which means we don't have the kind of you know bicycles that are designed for long distances i mean these are bicycles with baskets on the front of them for you to put your towel in yeah, stuff yeah, right, to right. ease down to the beach uh which is or not a small dog or, or something like this <laughs> And but Sherry treats them as if we are, you know, in the Tour de France, um, and that's the way she rolls. Well, the last time that we went to the beach, we we took a lot of family, um, and when we got on the bike, and even the last time that we went, just the two of us, I guess a year ago in May, um, I held my own, and and because you know I've been doing a little better, and uh, and I could tell that Sherry almost felt challenged by it. Uh, which was not my intention, because normally she's way ahead of me. I can't keep up, and 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 then I'm running to the ground. All right. And so, um, so Sherry, this time she's been working out, 
and she's been getting fit again and saying that she did she you know she went through the shoulder surgery so right. that kind of stopped all that and you know your shoulder surgery usually takes about a year to recover that's, that's a tough one. yeah that's and, a tough and, and and i mean she's always super fine but she's kind of cranked her fineness up you know <laughs> uh, uh, you know to and and so I don't. I don't know if I just wasn't thinking about that. Right. And so, you wasn't ready for it. so we're on the plane. Well, she's worried about. She's worried about the forecast, and she goes, "Well, if we if we get on the ground, she goes, and it's dry because I, I really want to get this in. I mean, I want to go to the box immediately." Oh, and I said, "Whoa, whoa! You talking about? Like, you talking about like we walk up to the hotel, hand them our bags? I mean, I want to literally. Matter of fact, I want you to dress for biking." Oh, I said, "I want you already dressed. Well, good. Night. So if we walk up, we just jump on bikes." <clears throat> And I said, and, and go, and go where? You talking about just go around the little community? You wanted to look at those. Yeah, and okay. she's like, oh no, what she said she wanted to do. Now there's one she has that's worse. <laughs> she said, I want to just do, you know, the short trek, and I think that means go down the little roads here where the houses are in the beach community. Yeah. She's like, no, no, no. I want us to go have lunch at that place you know we love, and I, I you'll have a late lunch. Now what she's talking about? It's gonna her, be late. Her short route, and Greg, you've experienced it. Oh yeah. Her short route is eight miles one way, eight miles back. That's oh. the short one. What? The other one is sixteen one way, sixteen back. Yeah. And, uh, and and so now now keep in mind I don't none of that. Keep in mind we're not on it, it, we're not on the type of bike. We, we, we're, we're not on, we're not talking about the kind of bikes that that you're supposed to do that on. You don't have gears yeah, on. Them. That's no. the point. There's no gears. Yeah. That's what I experienced. Yeah. If, if you had a bike with gears, big difference. There, you're there, on a beach bike. There, there's no gears. Yeah. And so, so keep in mind, it's so it's so obvious that these aren't for this, that when we get there, because you get two bikes with your room at the hotel we stay at, which I like because I don't have to rent bikes and all figure all that out, which I've had to do that in the past. Uh, try to rent them for when the whole family goes. That's awesome. So anyway, <laughs> um, of course, I found a turnkey deal that has the bikes at the house when you get there. But anyway, so this time they're just out front. You yeah. know, need a couple of bikes. We're handing, we're literally handing our luggage, and the guy says, "We'll take these up to your room." Okay, All right, are those the bikes? I said, "So well, you're you really sweat? You're really serious? We're getting on them right now?" Well, yeah, it's not raining. I mean, it's got some good cloud cover. Mm. Uh, mm. Yeah, I think we need to take advantage of this because if it rains the rest of the week, I said, "Baby, it's not gonna rain the rest of the week." She goes, "Well, if it does, I mean, we know we can go now." Mm. Mm. Uh, so I, I got to get. I, you want to get back, Rick? You know how I look forward to this, and I'm like, "Yeah, I, I <laughs> you do. know how I don't." I do. I do. <laughs> I've been thinking about it the whole ride down here. So anyway, um, we get on it. The guy literally says this these words, and I wanted her to hear him, but I knew that it was meaningless. <laughs> he said, uh, "He said, here you go. Y'all wanted to take a little ride around the, around the community." I mean, he's even saying that's what these yeah, are for. Yeah. And I looked at him, and I, and I looked at him. He's I said, "No, I'm headed to another community." He goes, "Oh, you talking about uh, Alice Beach?" I said, "Oh, no, no, no." And his face <laughs> when I when I drove away from him said, "On my way to Seaside." He looked at me and kind of went up and down, you know, at, at how I look. <laughs> and he was like, really? And I was like, oh, yeah. yeah. Next stop for me, Seaside. Please, please and, make sure there's and, air in the tires. And he's like, and he, and he looks at me almost like, you know, that's eight miles. And I was like, oh, I know. I've done it many times. And yeah, so you got to come back. Too. So I thought that I had, I thought, well. Now, the day before, unfortunately, because I don't know these things like I should. I'm not well trained. The day before, I I did a workout that consisted of bike riding. Oh, oh no. Uh, okay, and and rowing. Hmm. So I have been bike riding and rowing, and I remember exactly the length of that part of the workout was 37 minutes. Okay, and so on one, on the other, on one, on the other. Now, of course, oh, Big Papa training. finds a way to stand around a minute yeah, in between. In the you transition. Know, yeah. but, I, but, for me, but for me, but for me, I'm going at it pretty hard sure. in, in the old man division. But I think that's getting me ready. <laughs> what I didn't realize is it took my legs from me. Yeah, it did. Yeah. And uh, you need that day uh, yeah, between. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You need that off day. Yeah, and, and the minute I pedal forward, <laughs> it's like somebody takes a pickaxe and hits me right in the quad. You know what I mean? And I and I was like, oh, that stinks already, already stinging. And of course, I look down, and my box chain is rusted. Oh yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? And and I mean, and I'm it. I mean, this it thing is not built for this. And I'm just like, <laughs> and I hear it kind of trying to get rolling. Oh, I no. look up, and now back in back in biking shape. I realized before it was a combination of me doing a little better and Sherry's been 
is recovering from surgery. Now she's back to winning the Tour de France. Oh, man. I look up, and those legs, they are churning. Oh. And, and she looks back. She goes, well, I want us to be closer together. Yeah. And, I, and I'm like, well, hang on, Peloton. I'm like, baby, two things are going on. <laughs> You're going faster than you went the last two trips down here. And and my legs have gone away. I, I have I'm moving my legs. I think they're still there. Can you see my legs? <laughs> and uh, numb. I don't right, wait, right. And, yeah. And I think to myself, I, I'm not even out of the place we're staying. <laughs> you know it. And, and, <laughs> I can still see it. I mean, I still see the guy with our bags. He's waving. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm giving the going in. You know what I mean? He's looking at me one more time. Take these up. He can still see me. And 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 my legs are stinging, guys. That ride. <laughs> it, and you know, you don't want to start the the wonderful romantic weekend getaway with an argument right out of the gate. No. And she stops at one point. She goes, "Why? Why are you not keeping up?" I said, Baby, "Together." I said, "Baby, I'm telling you, we need to know this right now. I love you so much." And I'm so excited about being here. And I, but I am going as fast as I'm going to go on this bike. I'm telling you, I'm giving it all I've got. Throw the chain. I promise you. Throw the heart, chain. Yeah, I'm paddling with my heart. I understand how the, the pastor could get carried away. But like I say, he didn't say something profane or nasty or, you know, it was just a. He was reporting a story that right. happened to him. Yeah, yeah, y'all cut in some slack. Your tickets there, and we'll see you on an upcoming Rick and Bubba show. All right, so we've seen this Major League Baseball thing where they have the running of the presidents. We've had the running of the sausages. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all these different uh, mascots with really large heads and little small legs, and they run, and it's funny. Uh, and when it gets around Easter time, the Easter Bunny uh, will leap from the stands, uh, pummeling some of the presidents. I, one year, he knocked down a group of presidents. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah, you know, it and, was like a bowling and, ball. Yeah, and he good. comes off the bull, uh, off the dugout, and just I'm talking about all out. And the the latest one, I don't know which team this is, but the Ted, bunny skies. Man. Yeah, Teddy Roosevelt really takes a pop oh, here, yeah. and so we'll hear. Let the ESPN set it up for you. Here we go. Angels game yesterday. The mascots invaded the president's race. Teddy Roosevelt was running free. He thought he made it through, and then what in the Sam Hill? Here comes an Easter Bunny. <laughs> oh wow! The flying Wait. off the top rail. <laughs> David, look that looks this. dangerous. Does that not look dangerous? Good, good form. Get mom. the head out front. Yes, easy talk. <laughs> The pride of Texas. How about you? Well, uh, much to do uh, going forward on the program, and uh, we will, uh, you know, as I said, at any moment, the wonderful wheel of meat could spin, and uh, 1-800-Flowers.com, Stockyards.com, Moultrie, Dreamland, Rick and Bubba, all with some wonderful things there on the wheel, and uh, you could win those, or you could hit uh, some of the potential pitfalls. I actually, you know, we have um, we have a responsibility here, and I think oftentimes we we forget it or maybe we just don't want to wrap our mind around it, that when we're doing this program, people actually hear it. Now, I, yes. I know that that something, because right. we're in here cutting up amongst ourselves, and yeah. if everybody wants to come along for the ride, they're more than welcome, but but we, we tend to do the show on and off the air, regardless of Mike's hot or not. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and, you know, if we could put together, you know, a sound bank of things that went on in the breaks, it would be something. But yes. anyway, so I was, um, I guess it was Easter last Sunday, and I was, we were all trying to move, and you know, we ended up Sherry and I riding separate, and and we had two cars, and it was Easter, and it's very crowded, and Sherry wants to get go home and get the you know get get lunch, get lunch ready, and you know she bolts out of there, and the boat somebody's got to go to the bathroom, and I'm waiting on them, and now you know it's getting a little traffic out there, you know services are coming in, one going out, one coming in, and uh, and then suddenly uh, there there I encountered uh, this family with this little boy. Mm-hmm. And um, and they said, um, you know, are, are you Rick from Rick and Bubba? And I never know whether that's going to be good or bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, uh, why, yes, uh, mm-hmm. you know, good, to, good to meet you guys, and glad you guys are here today. And and uh, suddenly the little boy just screamed at the top of his lungs, Pippi! <laughs> and uh, oh, no. and to which the parents <laughs> looked at me and as if, would you help us with this? Can you make him stop. Do, do you see what you've done? They said he just screams, Pippet, 
uh, throughout uh, in the car mm-hmm. around the house. And buddy, he would sit down on it too. Rick, I encourage all children to yell "pip it." I mean, he, hey, look, just, especially at school. Right yeah. when he was about to go, they just about had the door shut one time. He gave me one more for the yeah, road. oh yeah, <laughs> that's funny. And, it. and so, uh, is so funny. Yeah, some of the weird things we do. I apologize when your kids have picked up uh, habitual habits here. Right. Uh, that that from some of us, and so yeah, but it, but he, you, you yeah. mean. And he he wasn't he had he it owned it, huh? there was no whispering it. Oh, yeah. that's, that's, <laughs> that's the way it should be. And you know how little boys can yeah. they can bring some oh, yeah, they can. Be loud. Yeah. He yeah. was just screaming, uh-huh. uh, it. and they said they had to do everything they could to keep him screaming it during the service. But <laughs> well, uh, maybe not. Right. Just uh, to to recap uh, yesterday's <laughs> show funny. too, because we got busy there at the end. Uh, it was tax day. I had a great time yesterday. So good Fun. to see three of you. Oh, the, the amazing three, and, the American treasure. Yeah, and uh, our winner yesterday came in early and came in hard, had to write a check for $1.4 million Millerinos. yesterday. Millerinos. And so they are the recipient, Rick, of a $100 check from us as a thank you. Yeah, Speedy has emailed that person. We don't know whether they would want to come on the air and talk about why they had to pay the 1.4, but they get the check either way. Yes, so uh, maybe maybe we'll have an update on that. My curiosity is sky high, and I know yours is too. But a lot of times they don't care to do that. That's fine. We'll uh, we'll see how that goes. Also, some breaking news right out of the gate this morning, Rick. Uh, Aaron Hernandez, the former uh, New England Patriot, uh, former Florida Gator, who is serving a life sentence, uh, has apparently committed suicide in prison. Yeah, I saw. It's uh, it's nine minutes to the top of the hour. The Rick and Bubba Show. Eight six six. We be big is the number. As uh, we make our way back. Uh, hey, LearBubba.com. Yeah, I know. Look around. Every, everything that you see uh, right now that the current administration is doing involving inflation. I I, I mean, Bubba's covered it, uh, and he uses the term eighth grade civics. I, I just. It just makes no sense. But uh, so now more than ever, uh, you know, might be a, a, a good time to look at it, maybe a little hedge action going on, investing in gold and precious metals. Uh, and you need to do that with our friends at LearBubba.com. They're, they're ready to talk to you right now to make it extra important. Uh, you can receive up to $10,000 in free bonus coins based on the value of gold coins you purchase. So go to LearBubba.com to find out more information Um and you've seen this. It's been an excellent strategy. Look, go to Lear Capital now because it's not like we don't know. You saw what happened in 2008. Uh, and so don't don't be caught like that again. Uh, Washington, they do not have the answers, and they've proven that over and over again, and they're proving it again. Learbubba.com uh, to talk to them about uh, precious metals, uh, gold, uh, or call them at 1-800-707-4575. Uh, and, uh, you know, and, and put something between you and this recession uh, and protect uh, your value. Uh, also find that link at rickandbubba.com under the sponsors button. You, you, you won't regret it. All right, so Beach Trip, it was outstanding. And uh, I, I, I to show the picture. I know you did, Sherry and me. Like me leaving on the bike, if you'll see. Now, this is after I've survived this picture. This is back when, when life is good again. I'm, I'm, I'm on the other side. Of uh, of worrying about yes, my computer keeps freezing every time I try to show that picture. I don't know what it is, but the beautiful beach view works great. But you and Sherry on the on the sidewalk there will not work. Okay, well, I was Corrupted. gonna show that it, that it's uphill leaving out. So so anyway, I, I don't know what's wrong. Corrupted with fall. Do, do you want me to send it to you again? I'll tr- I'll try sending it to myself again. Um. Okay. I'll, I'll hit it again. Um. So anyway, so I I get all that behind me, and and. Uh, but then you get into the mode of, of, of beach life, and there's some things that go on at the beach that really have never been adequately explained. Bubba, we've talked about it on the show, uh, but we've never gotten an answer, okay? It is a weird thing. First of all, I want to say this. I met, Bubba, just like you were talking about, I met um, some of the kindest, most wonderful people uh, while uh, we were at the beach. There are people that are so good to us and so encouraging, and who listen to the show everywhere, and they're they're so polite and uh, and fun zone, 
and so encouraging. And I met a lot of them, and I just want to thank them for the the kind words and and the fun that uh, that we had getting to, to meet all of you people, and um, and it was uh, it it was it was fun. So so anyway, um, this thing I don't get. All right, so let's picture a beach community. Okay, and, and we've talked about this before. Uh, so you picture the Gulf Coast or any beach. Okay, so you have yep. sand. And usually the places that people stay are away from the beach, or they some of them might be right on the beach, okay? But usually you walk to the beach, and there's a moment that you cross some sort of pathway or portal that you leave the rest of whatever state you're in, whatever community you're in, and you officially step onto the sand. You might go through yeah. a door that has a code on it. You might have a, a sensor. It may be a public beach, so you just park. But there's You're there, there. And, and what it Sandy Trail. Yeah, and what it seems to me, and, and I can't really explain it, and we've talked about this before, is like if, ju- if I just altered this situation by just a few feet, okay, say I was in one of the restaurants that you can see the water, and I worked to, and, and, and somebody came in and they showed all of us their bare rear end. It would oh, be wow. inappropriate. <laughs> we we would just say yeah. that. What are you doing now? We're really close to the beach, but for some reason, the minute if I were to go step onto the sand, I'm now allowed to show my bottom <laughs> uh, to to everyone, and uh, it's not. Funny? And now it's no longer inappropriate. Mm. I, this is one of the weirdest phenomenon that I've seen, especially during the times of the hashtag Me Too movement. Is I don't. There is no reason. None. No reason whatsoever that 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 every, that you are you you feel like well the reason why I'm showing my rear end to everyone is it I'd like to have it tan is, is that is that one of the reasons <laughs> and what I love if I put a piece of material right at the top of my crack I'm not really naked yeah. now <laughs> I got you news for to hold, now plumbers you, can show you, the top you mean crack. to hold the dental floss in right. place yeah. I have, <laughs> ladies I have news for you if both cheeks are out here for all the children to see, every man to see, every woman to see. If both cheeks, I mean, we got both of them, and all we have is at how the many? To- both. both of them, and at the top, all we have is just one little piece of material that might be of various colors. That's just at the small of your back, right at the top of the like cracker you're mini, in, like a mini yeah. tea. I don't. Yeah. Somehow that's not mooning us. But if, if you just move that one piece up, now I'm mooning. Yeah, and, 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 oh. and, and here's what I don't get. You wouldn't, you would never allow somebody today. It's really at the office today, that old crude guy that makes the inappropriate jokes in the break room that you can't stand. He makes you feel bad. You wonder if you should turn him in. He, you really wish he would be quiet. <laughs> You really need to go in the break room and say, "Now, if you'll come to the beach, I'll show you my rear end." No. But, but, but I mean, now I won't in here. No. Okay, I will not come in here. But if you'll just come to the beach and get your chair set up, I'll walk by several times and show it to you. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I, I, I don't. This is one of the weirdest. I, I mean, and I'm not talking about bathing suits. No, I know you know, they're, they're already, you know, yeah. questionable. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm yeah. talking about here is my rear end for the whole world to see, yeah. and by golly. If we if we walk up those steps and get up on the top, no more butt. I mean, yeah. up, up up there, we will not show it. Nope. There. Come to the beach. Sand. Come to the beach. I'll show you. Go up there. I won't. Toes in the sand. Yeah. Right. And don't ask me to show it. Just let me show it on my own. And uh, I I don't I just don't. And hey, don't make a sound when I come by three or four times. Uh, and if I and, and if and I Rick, and, I and if I drop something, look at your feet. <laughs> And Rick, I might throw a little water on there too. Uh, yeah, oh, uh, I may be glistening hey, with water. Wait till I go out there and get in the water and come out. <laughs> you, you, really, try to sit next to you while I'm doing that. I mean, you know, and then finally, Sherry will always say, Well, I just don't understand this at all. I'm like, What are you talking about? I always feel like I'm not. Huh? You know what I mean? Wait, who? Yeah, what, what, huh? Well, what, hey, man. Well, there's, oh, there's, I, I mean, the, 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 there's this woman that keeps showing all of us our, she her butt. She pointed that out to Does me. Does she really? Yeah, hey, well, that's who, ridiculous. Who's showing their butt, honey? Where? <laughs> you know, I haven't noticed that. Heterosexual man sitting here, totally satisfied with his wife. I haven't noticed any of this. I found. I got the picture to work, by the way. It might be bad timing, but there you go. <laughs> yeah, there. there we you go. see where I'm going uphill? That's the hotel to my left. Uh, and and so I mean that's how you have to leave going up that way, right? Yeah, but see it's over now, so now you're relieved. Yeah, yeah now I'm going to my favorite restaurant in the whole place that, that <laughs> Sherry says I can't mention. Yeah. And and I didn't want to wear these shoes, but Sherry said it was okay. Yeah, hey, blues way. <laughs> we had a great time. Thanks a lot, all of you. We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. 
kind. And Isn't that a sad story? Yeah, right as the kickoff hour was wrapping up, that kind of started coming along. And on, if you have a news app or whatever, it just it came across the phone there. And I'm like, well, there he was, the guy that, what was it, his $40 million deal he was about he, to sign? He had a $40 million dollar contract uh, on the table when he was removed from society due to murdering somebody. Um, I just, you know, I know – he he probably in his mind had a good reason for that, but I just don't think that that's just a I mean a terrible decision, and now it has led to his ultimate demise. And uh, uh, what, is, what what is it saying underneath there? Her, Hernandez was acquitted. That was of the second. Charge. Yeah, yeah, the of the second, second one. one. Okay, yeah. That, yeah, that that was the second charge. Okay. Here's what's fun. Well, yeah, there's so many of them. Here's right. what's ironic. Right. Because I was looking back, I can't remember it. He got convicted of killing a guy's actually a friend of his. Because he thought that guy was was going to, or was in the process of telling on him for this other murder, right? That he eventually got acquitted of. So I guess doing away with that witness worked, but the bad part is you got caught killing that witness. If it wasn't for that, you'd be out. Well, you and, see what I'm saying. And an important note: if you're going to kill a witness, um, you know the the problem is if that helps you get acquitted of the murder, but then if they catch you yeah. for killing the witness, you still end up where you were going. You anyway. Still got so one they got murder it, rap. Yeah, they got yeah. a little out of order. They got him for killing the. You know, the witness, right. and that's why he's serving life without parole. And then last week he was acquitted of the other murder, which was like a – according to, you know, the what they – I think the witness was going to testify, the guy, like, dumped a drink on him in the bar, and then he saw him later out in their yeah. car, and he shot in the car. Well, I mean, it was something it, ridiculous. Wildly, I mean, Aaron. I know. Well, it goes buddy, back to another you, thing. You're at the top of your game. You're playing for the best franchise in the NFL. You, you've just signed a $40 million deal. Why do you have to be a – I mean, what are you doing? Well, well it, you can't use you can't use the, oh, you don't understand my life, you don't understand all mm-hmm. this, because uh, because th- this country had allotted you every possible way to live a different life and to have the best life you could possibly try to have. So at the end of the day, the money was not the problem and your opportunity was not the problem. You were just – you, you, you had character issues. Well, mm-hmm. and like you said, that was going to be his new contract. He he had millions and millions of dollars from his previous. Sure. But it goes back to this thing, and I keep hearing this in society today, and I know you guys too, that it seems like the highest offense some people think is to be disrespected. Well, I have it. to go back to sticks and stones. Uh, yeah, really. You, you're, you're, you, Aaron Hernandez, was absolutely living the American dream. He was blessed physically. He he went and played for a great, you know, uh, Florida program. He he had, you know, just loved everywhere. He was on championship teams. He goes to the to the Patriots. I mean, he he is the pinnacle of the NFL. I mean, and and everybody, he's a household name, more money than you could ever spend in a lifetime. And you have to go out and shoot somebody and then murder a witness. Well, don't forget, you know, he had a few little issues at Florida. He'd overcome those. The Patriots says, we'll take Oh, yeah, a- he'd had chances and, yeah. and, we'll, and been given second chance. We'll take a chance on you. Some people thought he wasn't big enough to be, yeah. you know, an NFL tight end. And he had he had done all the things you had to do. He'd proven everything and yep. got the deal. You know, he got it. Don't get me wrong. He was paid pretty well, again, but nothing yeah. like he was about to be paid. Right. He had earned – and proven he could play at that level, be a contributor to the best franchise in the league, $40 million contract. And as Greg said uh, perfectly, when you're in the NFL, we don't even ask you to be a great person. Just don't kill people. Yeah. yeah. You can, you can even There's hit. a lot of things you can do and still play. Yeah. Just don't kill people. We'll rehab you, let you come back. We'll give you many chances, except murdering people. Now, murdering people, you're pretty much done after that. So, facing what he thought. Uh, was a no-hope situation. Apparently, the reports are he killed himself in jail. Once again, there there, there we were. I was involved in a, a practice yesterday afternoon. Here come the headlines. Oh, I know. I, I mean, know. and you're like, here we go again. Uh, more more crazy shooters. Now, once again, uh, we will – I don't know why we, we do what we do with this not wanting to declare that this could have some sort of terrorist tie-in. I will tell you this: I'm I'm not an investigator, but I think um, uh, the um, the name Corey Ali Muhammad. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's that age we always thirty nine, thirty nine. Yep. And Shaling, that Allah Akbar, or what is it? Ali 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 Allah Akbar. Ali 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 Akbar, whatever that is, they they shout. Uh, and says uh, we do we do have someone saying who's investigating it, Jerry Dyer, the Fresno police chief. Now, Jerry, I love you, buddy. I, I'm sure you're a fine guy, but you're saying that a man named Corey Ali Muhammad, 39, screaming Ali Akbar. And he wants to kill 
as many white people as he possibly can. Now, the chief of police in Fresno tells us this has nothing to do with terrorism. Uh, hey, you know, I, I'm sure. Hey, Chief, I'm sure the Chief's a great investigator. <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not doubting uh, his. I don't, I don't know investigative Chiefy. abilities, but <laughs> I don't know Big Jer. Uh, I, I'm, I, I think he may be so close to the the forest he can't see the trees maybe, on this one. Maybe that is uh, the definition of terrorism is people with the name Corey Ali Muhammad 39 mm-hmm. hollering that saying out as he's killing and wanting and says, "I want to kill more white people." Yeah. That's uh, I think that falls under terrorism, hate crime, murder, and about eight other things. I will also say that the headdress he chose to wo- chose to wear tends to lend itself over to a terrorism world. Uh, uh, it, yeah, he, I mean, let's I see that picture again. Uh, this is uh, either that or he's going to be, uh, uh, you know, I, I just he's got his shirt on that says yeah. pro black with the power sign. Now I understand that it may be that we can't decide what what he's more of a racist or a terrorist, but it's all, right. all it's all kind of yeah it, he's, it's you, all in yeah, there you know and this this may be more nation of Islam I got you but it is six minutes past the hour from the no name studio out here on the bleeding edge of technology. Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, Eddie Van Adler, and Rick and Bubba intern, Blazing Silverman, all ready to go. And welcome back after a slight hiatus. There's Bill Bubba Bussy back in the mix again. Rick, glad to be here and thank all of you for being part of the Rick and Bubba experience. Everybody don't look, Bubba's missing a golf ball. Uh, so the, there we go. If you see it, tell it to phone home. That's right. So now we, we have three gallbladders gone and who, three who that remain. They? You, me, me, me you, and Hams. Hams. Now, Greg's still got his. Speedy's still got his. Got Adler still has his. I don't know about Blazing Silverman. Do you have a you have a gallbladder, son? Come. <laughs> he, uh-huh. he does. <laughs> well, hey, enjoy it. Uh-huh. Enjoy it while you got it. And appendixes, so you. I'm out. Okay. I have an appendix. Still got one. Mm-hmm. Okay. So just I think I do. Hmm? Have you got your appendix? Yeah. Am I the only one that lost the appendix? Mm-hmm. Up to this Adam, point. you got an appendix? I do. Yeah. Why? Well, how about that? Yeah, you got that. an appendix? You know, we oh, yeah. we had a chart. I got all my parts. You know, we had a chart here one time of medical issues, remember? And we had everybody. We yes. had categories. Mm, it's like a spreadsheet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Had well, it checked off. Yeah. But now you've had hernia surgery. Correct. You've had hernia surgery. No. You have I just had appendix. You didn't get the screen wire. It was just no. Screen. It was no. just okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Speedy, you have to watch it. He'll slam on you when you walk through. Sometimes you nah. hold him. Well, that's funny. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, I don't have any more organs that I can give up. <laughs> I don't. All the rest of them count. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty he, important. Yep. You've used all your temporary. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so, Bubba, we do start this our little political update. Is little life? political update. Too much. Forgiving of student loans. Now, everybody is making it clear. Nothing but a political play, hoping to have something to run on during the midterms that really this forgiving of your student loan, the president does not have the power to do that. And we know that because Democrats have told us that, right. not, not just Republicans. But it's still being played, uh, and that means that uh, old Peter Ducey, uh, he gets to have a good time, uh, old Steve's boy. <laughs> and uh, gets to have, so, so now we have, um, is this the, the Biden education uh, secretary? Um, and the question that keeps throwing these politicians a curve is what about people who've been responsible and people who either saved money for college or people who got a loan and then paid it back? Or is, or is it just too bad, so sad uh, for them? Uh, and so uh, here is Ducey uh, asking a similar question. But just to, the final one on this, sure. the people that already paid their student loans, right. they don't get anything out of this deal. Right. That's right. Okay. 
<laughs> <laughs> they get nothing. No, well, uh, he, here, here's you, the problem with this. We know human nature. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's just say this actually happens, which it's not. The president can't do it. Congress will have to do it. We've seen this recently with the payroll protection loans. Mm-hmm. Congress had to do that. The president couldn't do it. And the the problem is, though, from a mentality standpoint, once you do this for student loans, those same people are going to turn around and go, but what about paying off my car? Oh, yeah. Uh, what about paying off my first home? That That's the American dream. Why that's, can't we that, have that's it? That's quite a burden. Why can't we do this? Why can't we do it? Why, why am I even paying for a home? Well, I should just be able to have one. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and we know human nature. We know how this will work. It'll spin out of control. <laughs> and let me tell you the people who are being punished in this, and that is the people who took out a loan and paid it off. The way yeah. you're supposed to. Just the question so, was just asked. Yeah. So I, I think you go back to the Constitution on this, and I don't remember the amendment. Somebody help me here, maybe 14th or somewhere in there, where it mm-hmm. says everyone has to be treated the same under the law. You can't treat one group different from the other without a, a legitimate cause in this. And the only cause in this is Biden trying to buy votes for the midterm. That's all it is. So if we, if we, if we're, uh, you know, Uncle Joe, Santa Claus during this midterm. What are we gonna What are we gonna roll out for free next time? Yeah, I wondered if you were. You may have been catching the show when you were recovering then, but you know we played the old Elizabeth Elizabeth Warren clip when the guy confronted her and he was talking about right. the, the friend of his that was gonna get his student loan paid off by the government versus he who saved money for his kids. And while I was sacrificing and not going to the right. theme park, he was going. Right. While I wasn't being reckless with my income, he was. Right. Now you're going to punish me for being responsible and reward him for being irresponsible. Yeah. So, you, you know, what What are we supposed to take from that? One, the government ought to not be in the business of punishing and rewarding. No. See, they're they're trying to get you to do something then. That's no. not freedom. No. Um, so that, I think we could make the argument the government doesn't need to be in a lot of these things. Uh, get on the side, let it work out, and and do that. But it, it's just, I mean, from day one, first time, you know, that when we were a new country and somebody wanted to vote money for uh, a group. French refugees. I think French refugee, refugees, because it was the right thing to do. Mm-hmm. It was a good thing. They said, look, if we become the big handout here, yep. it, there'll be no end to it. And well, we and have it, seen that James already. James Madison said the government mm. is not in the business of benevolence. That's the job of the private p- the people here or the church. Yeah. If the church wants to help French refugees, let the church help them. Right. That's their role. The government doesn't get into that. Yeah, the government should not have that job. That's not mm-hmm. their deal. And they should stand up and say it ain't our deal, that the private sector, the churches, or whatever, have to take care of that. It's just ridiculous. I mean, it's just ridiculous where we're going to get to on this. And if the loans are so bad, why are we not doing something about that? Right. Well, Somebody's yeah, taking out the same loan today. Yeah. Well, okay. I, I let me think tell you, so. If, that, let me if tell you that's, a, if that's yeah. a huge yeah. Great deal, point. Great point. shut it down. Yeah. 1B really touches base on that. I think, Rick, that's a clip from I'm Turning also here in USA this. in yeah. 2019 where she basically says, the private sector hasn't been able to get in this because these are federal. Well, and I'm also hearing this from Democrats. Well, there's another mistake. The Democrats are going, well, y'all were okay with it with businesses and corporations when we bailed y'all out years ago. First of all, I wasn't, and I don't know many Republicans that were okay no, with that. Okay we with didn't that. want bail out, so stop. First of all, it's our apples and oranges that you're trying to compare. And two, no, we weren't for that, yeah. so don't act like we were. Here's yeah, the- I, listen, and we're in the same boat with the payroll protection yeah. But but in all fairness on that one, the government calls these businesses into bankruptcy. Right. Again, the government is involved <laughs> yeah. in something they got no uh-huh. business in. They force people into bankruptcy. Yep. Yep. So is it their is it their problem to clean it up? To some degree, I would say yes, even though I don't like them doing it. But to this, the other they they've given people an opportunity. To go to school. Here's really where the rubber meets the road. Well, I'm not if even Joe, talking about the right, pandemic right, stuff. I'm right. talking about prior to that right. with I banks and I all these you. other yeah. things. Yeah, well, we, we certainly can Car, make that argument. Yeah. Car yeah. industry. Cars. Yeah. If, if the president really wants to fix the student loan problem, he needs to fix the cost of college. Correct. Yeah. But, but Tell the instructors how much they can make. Tell the institution yeah. how much they can charge. You fix it. Yeah. That's the fix. Not this. 
You're just buying votes. Come That's on. That's it. Let's That's all you're doing. Well, come you on, You can't Joe. even legally do it. Joe, sure. come on. You don't have the power to do it. You know you don't. He's just going to use it as a campaign issue. Yeah. Here. I mean, look, why don't we do this? Why don't we say we're Republicans or for everybody getting a free car? <clears throat> Well, we can't do that either, but no. we could run on the campaign. Oh, we yeah. tried sure. to, we and the old Democrats wouldn't let you have one. On the free call. I mean, Electric come on, one. people. Wake up. Don't be a stooge out there. Don't be one. I'm begging you. Don't be a stooge. <laughs> Welcome back, buddy. Um, Thank you. <laughs> Turning Point USA 2019, exactly what you're talking about. Remember, the colleges get paid by these government loans, so they couldn't care less. And then the government hounds you about paying it back, and they and like I said, they could fix the way that operates, yeah. and they run in the price of of college up to Bubba's point. And here's Turning Point USA in 2019 when Obama was nationalizing student loans, and and they told us exactly what was going to happen. Yeah, this was for this. Why do you feel that college tuition has increased in? so much in such a short period of time. Yeah, so we see college tuition right now is increasing eight times that of wages. I mean, we're seeing exponential growth in college tuition at a time where everything else is be pretty much becoming cheaper. Uh, the reason for this is because we have federally subsidized student loans. So in 2010, President Obama virtually nationalized the student loan program. Right now, about 90% of all loans out there do come from the federal government. So the private market isn't able to compete and offer competitive interest rates on their loans. Um, and schools know that's, that uh, students have access to this virtually blank check that they're getting from Washington. And so schools have no incentive to offer reasonable prices or to keep their prices uh, in check for students who are going because they know the students aren't being price sensitive, that they know that they're going to be getting that check from Washington. And year after year, you know, Washington policies makes that more easy for students to get these loans. And so if we want college prices to go back down, we need to reinstate the private lending market into the system so that private lenders can sit down with students and say, okay, we're going to offer you this interest rate for studying this, so that conversation doesn't happen at the federal level. And unfortunately, it's pouring tons of money into our universities on the back of American taxpayers. Yeah, I mean, that's that's it. Mm-hmm. You, you, universities you want, don't care because the government's yeah. paying them. If you want to just absolutely tear up a steel ball, let the government get involved. Okay. Yeah. Everything they touch, they ruin. They won't do what they actually have the authority to do, but they want to tamper with everything else. It's amazing. We'll be back. 866, we be big. More Rick and Bubba coming up right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. At the end of the day, someone who is Islamic with a name change that is a name change that represents being in some form of Islam, shouting, shouting Ali Akbar and killing white people, I'm just going to tell you, I don't think that anybody's going to be upset if we tend to at least entertain the idea that it was somewhat of a terrorist act. I think it probably terrorized everybody. Yeah. Are we? Yeah. If you're white in Fresno, would this terrorize you? It, it, I think it would me. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, I'm, just, I'm yeah. just saying. What well, do you see the, the people that were killed in this? You had, uh, uh, you had a utility uh, worker who was sitting in a truck. He worked for Pacific Gas and Electric. He was sitting in the passenger side. He just simply walked up and shot him. Without warning. Sure. Uh, the driver, who happened to be Latino, sped off to the police department for help, but the worker, 34-year-old uh, white male, died anyway. Then he shot at another person and missed. He aimed for a third, killing the 37-year-old on the sidewalk as he walked with a bag of groceries. Mm-mm-mm. The final victim, 58, was gunned down in the parking lot of a charity building. Uh, he said that, uh, when the police arrived, uh, he told them, I'm the guy you're looking for. I did it. I shot them. Along the way, he spared the lives of two Latina women who were in a car with a child. Well, thank you. I'm glad he was big hearted there. Yeah. Well, now I don't know what is getting more bizarre here. Now I'm looking at his, his rap record and back in 2005, we got cocaine possession with the intent to distribute. So he's got a little bit of a, you know, a, a touchy past. I don't know what's more bizarre today, and I heard both of these yesterday, by the way. Fresno Police Chief Jerry Dyer saying this is not a terrorist act or the mom of the Facebook killer that says her son was a good Christian man. Now, I heard really? both, I heard, I've heard both of those things in the wow. last 24 hours, and I'm going to have to take issue with both of these people. And, <laughs> I, 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 and, and, and I'm, not, I'm not taking issue out of my opinion. I'm taking issue out of their actions. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that's yeah. that's yeah. All, really all we can judge. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that 
Yes, you know the old the old scriptures are pretty clear that that the way people live is is actually an indicator on whether uh, you know I I be housed in them or not. And and I'm and I'm paraphrasing. Obviously, that's not the correct English translation. But but I it, it's it's very close. But um, so th- yeah, we're just we just say outlandish things. I don't know what is so difficult for us to just look at a situation and call it what it is. You know that it's just it's just evil people doing evil things for evil reasons. And I mean, you know, you're gonna go out there and and, and gun down a guy carrying his groceries and, and shoot down, you know, people, you know, just because they're sitting in their car. I mean, this goes back to you remember the great Richard Pryor comment about yeah. going to the penitentiary. Yeah. You know, why yeah. why did you kill everybody? And he said because they were home. Right. You know, and 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 Richard said thank thank goodness for the penitentiaries. Yes. You know, I, yes. I, I thought I had an issue with it till I went in there, and I mm-hmm. boy, thank the Lord for these cages. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, but. Um, uh, how can we not call this a terrorist act? Uh, not, well, not, because we treat things differently right, right, right. In, in the media and society. Right. Depending on who, mm-hmm. who, uh, who I guess, executed the crime, mm-hmm. right. who it was targeting, and, and then the media will treat things differently. So we do know this, and this is, this is I think, anyone who would disagree with this, I think you're just delusional. Okay? Most definitely. If... If a white man with John three sixteen on on his t shirt, okay, repent or perish, Luke thirteen also, you maybe has the word repent on it. Right. And he went into the streets and he said, I'm killing all evil black people. And he was screaming, Praise the Lord, mm-hmm. the Lord of Lord, the King of Kings, as he's shooting everybody. Now, do you believe that the coverage of this person would reflect Anything like what we're seeing right now. All the well, excuse making, look, the, we, we got to understand. Let's, let's uh, look at you know, an example. Let's, let's we, be careful not to say he's doing something in the name of Christianity. Let's be careful not to call him a racist. We're not even sure it's, well, a, hate, we're not even sure it's a hate crime. We've had that not too long ago, Rick. So we would look at him. We would look at what kind of jeans he's wearing, what kind of shirt he's got on. Mm-hmm. We would declare that those manufacturers are racist. Right. Uh, any wallpaper behind him, those patterns Everything's would have to racist. be stripped His out car's of the racist. Uh, the company it, it they, would it would totally be be spun in a different way. He, he must have bought a truck again, it's from bizarre, them because they're racist, or he wouldn't have bought yeah, it. Yeah, let, right. let me ask you this: uh, suing. I got an email from here from a young lady. She said, "When I heard about the Fresno shooting on the news, they were saying that he was yelling God is great' in Arabic, not Ali Ali Akbar.' That's or what that means. That's, 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 that's that is it, right? Pass the gravy, please." Twenty-two minutes now past the hour of the Rick and Bubba show, eight six six. We be big now, Bubba. This is what I'm talking about. How kind people are. You're not going to believe this, but Miss K out of Alabama has called us All right. to, to wish you well. Well, that is great. Yeah, and uh, hadn't heard from her. You know, and she's uh, well. She, I think she speaks uh, as she normally does for the people of Alabama with great clarity. Yeah, with great clarity and. Uh, and so, uh, uh, Miss Kay is on the hey, line. Hey, Miss Kay, uh, right now. Good morning, Richard. Good morning, Bill. Mr. Speedy, Mr. Hems, and Mr. Atlas, Mr. Greg. How's everybody doing today? We're fine, Miss yeah. Kay. Yeah, I'm glad we, to be we here. We hope you are well. Oh, Bill, Bill, I just, I, I just sympathize with you. I've had my gallbladder out, and um, I know it's just not a fun procedure, uh, but um, I hope you're feeling better. I am. Thank you very much for checking on me. By the way, look at this call screen in room, the face. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm uh, well, listening. Uh, but, Bill, I just wanted to give you a little piece of advice. Um, you know, after I had my gallbladder out, I was just so hungry. And so I ended up going over to, to Bojangles, and they got me a biscuit and gravy. I, and I'm going to just tell you, once it hit my stomach, I was like running to the bathroom like a greyhound busting out of the gate after one of those bunny rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got to watch what he eats. Content. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, something about the fat content. You've got to be a little more uh, a little more proactive about what you eat now. you got to be better about it. Well, and us Southerners, Miss Kay, I mean, our whole menu is banned by, by what they suggest. Well, bless their hearts and bless us too. If that's the situation, I got to have me a little, a little grace in there. No, you well, got, it's, yeah, it's a lot like computer programming: junk in, junk out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
But that is so true. That is so true. <laughs> hey, Richard, I wanted to tell you about your beach trip on the yes, ma'am. Riding your bicycle and everything. You're talking about riding up a hill. If you got your bicycle, have a motorized little motor in there. It was hit. Nobody would know. I know. I saw uh, those those half now? electric, half Isn't pedal, crazy? and I wanted to go to one. And Sherry, she's like, "No, uh, uh-uh. that's nah. settling out. Then, then, that then you won't get anything benefit from these trips. This yeah. is exercise. No, too. you would. You'd enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> she, she's holding your feet to the fire. She's making you work it out, isn't she? She is. <laughs> you know how she oh, my is. Goodness. And I heard about all those little teeny bikinis down there at the beach, and I tell you, some of about the, the size of a small cocktail nap. Napkin. Yeah. <laughs> well, they, they are. Yeah. And, uh, and you, oh, it's been coming from you. That means a lot. That's right. <laughs> yes, Funny. it does. I would know. Well, listen, um, I've got to run. I've got things to do, but I just wanted to check on your bill, and I just, I'll be praying for you that you get better. I know that after that kind of surgery, your tummy is real tender, and you got to wear some elastic, and that's about half my wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Kay, that's so Thank nice. You, Ms. Thank Kay. you, Miss so Kay. So sweet of you to check on me. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, now you have steppers. Take care of that. Oh, we oh, will. Yeah, yeah. No outstepping us. Uh-huh. Look at Thanks that, Miss Kay. How sweet. Okay, now. There she goes. There she goes. Wasn't that sweet of Miss Kay? that kind? Yeah. On behalf of the state she of Alabama, yeah, you are. There you, there right. you go. How you is? <laughs> We're all good. Now, be careful with Bojangles gravy biscuits. Yeah, bitch. right. Yeah. You didn't have to tell me that one. Uh, also, why? Why? When? When did this happen? This thing of Tom Brady. Telling everybody he misses eleven days uh, wow. with the Buccaneers, and basically said we got family issues going on. He uses another word, uh, and he said I'm 45, and there's a lot of this stuff going on, and you got to tend to it. And I'm back, and he's trying to move on. Anybody, what do y'all, what do y'all read into I, that? I'm not sure what that is. I, I think when he came out of retirement, mm-hmm. you know, they were probably begging him to to stay around, and he said, "Look, I got things I need to do." And they said, "Well, I'll take you a day or two when you need it. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about it." Yeah. Do we have him? Can we play it? his Does clip? He, say, he says a word that yeah, we, we that we wouldn't air. Yeah, uh, especially he eats that weird food, but he looks thinner than normal. Yeah, he did. I thought so too. Uh, would can we even air this without that him saying that word? Well, he does say that word in the in the clip that's playing right now. But yeah, play people, it. People Bubba are, started it. People are saying he looks weird. He, he looks look different. Weird. Something he looks yeah. off. Yeah, uh, he's not. He looks he, way thinner than I've seen. His cheeks are like shrunk in. I thought it was Kevin Bacon when I looked. It's at like it. he's had a little work done. Did mm-hmm. he just take time off to get work done? It looks like he's had a little work done. Do, do you think he went away to something get plastic looks surgery? Weird. I don't uh, know. I'm 45. He, he he quotes something about his age. Yeah, he said everyone has different situations they're dealing with. We all have unique challenges in our lives. He said. Uh, he said, I'm 45 years old, years old. I've got some stuff going on. I'm editing there. So you just have to try and figure out life the best you can. You know, it's a continuous process. Yeah. But to notice me, I he can't looks, get his mouth to move right. Yeah, like a something. skeleton in the face. Here's what it looks like. Let's he's lost some weight. It's like he's, he's talking just like yeah, this right like Do you want to hear him? He's, like he's, like he's, he's finally he's starting to age, it looks yeah, like. Yeah, it's like he's he's, 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 he's I'm past the point where he says the cuss word, if y'all want to hear him. No, I want to hear the cuss word. He kind of talks kind of weird. So. You know, you just got to try to figure out life the best you can. And, what's, what's wrong with um, it? You know, it's a, uh, yeah, something's a up. continuous process. So. Not moving his upper lip like it Something ain't right. What's, she doing? Yeah, what's going y'all, on? Y'all did Tom Brady okay, what's decide going on to have here? a little work done, and I mean, it required brought, more recovery than he thought it would. He brought something. the butt cut back. Looks like it got he some, did. Got some veneers. By the way, I'd also <laughs> like to report <laughs> the mullet, Greg, Greg, Greg from, so being, from being out again. <laughs> the mullet is back. Do y'all realize this? It's officially back. back. But no, and, it's, and for some reason, little kids are really, it, really overdoing it. I yeah. saw more mullets from all over the country, mainly from Texas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I got a little flow going on. <laughs> he's in his, but, but he's I, in his <laughs> mode. I know. You know. Once again, Speedy sounds just like Tom Brady. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was. <laughs> I, I know. I had to, oh, I had look, to look, look up. Look, look, look. I, I thought Adler's playing video look, Here it comes. Here it comes. Look. He used here. to have a much wider mm, smile. Something. He's Something's different. Mm. It's like. Ooh. I predict a bad Ooh. year. I yeah, predict a bad I year. I think he's played one too many. Yeah. Oh, I think no. it's going to be when he stay too long. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. His oh. his nose got thinner. I will say that. But did you notice how right in here he's talking like he can't get his mouth to me? A lot of little white. And that's after 11 days off. You think he'd be all chipper. Yeah. Fattened up a little bit. What if he pulls a Bruce General? 
Rick. I'm telling you, don't think it's out. It's, I mean, what are you? I'm just saying. Well, Rick, Rick, Rick anything's Rick, gonna take Rick, out Anything gonna surprise us anymore? <laughs> take that back. If anything? the world's greatest athlete can do that, so can the world's it's greatest not that biggest, quarterback. Not that big a reach. Rick, I'm telling you, take that back. <laughs> take it back. <laughs> <laughs> take it back, Rick. Take it back. Take it back. Phone calls next on anything you want to talk about. More Rick and Bubba coming up right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Yeah, that's that, what it means. That's yeah. what that means. Now we not, may not be. She pro- said the media is already spinning it. How about this? We may not be pronouncing that right, but, but that, yeah, is, that what, is what it means. That's yeah. is what God it means. Is God is great. Yeah, that's that's their thing. So. I just I don't know. Easy. I've got to shoot up the place while I'm yelling that. I don't know. Well, it seems now, a little now, out of now, sync. Now, if this is Allah you're talking about, and 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 the Prophet Muhammad, then you you may be thinking you are in line with what you're supposed to be doing. I mean, I hate to be that guy again, but I mean. In other news, if you saw me out on the street saying mm-hmm. "repent or perish," you got to come to know Jesus Christ, and I want you to know what He did for you. And then somebody said, "Well, why is He doing that?" And you'd say, "Well, that's because what the Scriptures told me to do." Now I wouldn't be shooting people. I'd, no, but, you but might I, be handing out a tract. Did Jesus tell us to go or out? And, did Jesus tell us to go out and teach people to obey His commands yes. and baptize them? Yes, spread the news. Right. So if we're doing the that, good news, or if we're doing that, are we following Scripture? Yes. Are, are we making up a version of Christianity that's not real? That would be following. Okay, I just want to make sure. All right. Did you uh, see who else is in the news? Who? Richard Simmons. Yes. Well, I was the story about, won't go away. Won't go away. By the way, I guess y'all didn't hear me when the Facebook yeah. killer's mama said he was a good Christian. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah I oh, that. I heard. Yeah, that makes I sense. Just, I just ignored it. Okay. I couldn't. I, have I to couldn't di- process it. I have it. to disagree with that. No, not, not a very good one. <laughs> not lately. Uh, we'll, we'll be back. I watched that Richard Simmons video on the Extreme Club. I'm sorry, but I'm so sorry. Wow. (laughs) Now, which one? The one where he was trying to distract Rick. Uh Okay, Uh I got you. When he got up, when he got up, when he got up on the console. Yes. Oh boy. Yeah. When those shorts on. By the way, sadly, sadly, (laughs) sadly, you would think when somebody wearing shorts like that 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 underpants would be an absolute must. You would. You would think that. Uh, after he did that, did he happen to say to you, "Don't be mad with me"? <laughs> hey, that guy has the best. One. He, he does. does. Yeah, he does. Does. It's working. He, he brings us in. Too. It's got a tone to it. It just flows. It's so <laughs> good. I love it. It's the best one. Be mad with me, Jennifer. Hello, welcome to the program. Hope things are well in Hartsville today. Oh, they're doing good. good. Um, I wanted to talk about. Uh, Richard Simmons, and when I was a kid, my mom would watch his show. I think it was probably like the early 80s. Yes. And he's been in the public eye for so long with that fake, happy, uh, always up high, ah, craziness. Nobody can do that for that many years. And well now he's, said. He's 68, and he's starting to become that grumpy old man age, you know. Yeah, he, he didn't so. want people to see him that way. Hmm. Right, right. You must have so, had the same experience of you, the person. You think he's tired of being happy? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'd like or to hear him happy. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to hear him cut loose and just dog cuss somebody. You know, Greg, I mean, just mad because I've never, you know, he's always in that that old. Well, if he's so happy, no, if, if he think, gets a hold of you, Greg, you may get that wish. <laughs> well, as long as you don't lick my eye, I'm good. Yeah. Right, but let's go back I to this. It. We have been able to produce just about. So many Casey Kasem, the most famous, yeah. right? And then yes, you got you got those. your Chris Bermans and all that, where people have caught these celebrities on mic, but Bill not on Clinton. but not on air, yeah. on mic, really, really laying into somebody and letting them out. The Casey Kasem thing, the first time I heard that, so good, it, it was shocking. But anyway, but no one's ever caught Richard being mean to anybody. I know. It. It, well, I'd like well to is is there a Dylan Mill? You know, like producer. Well, is there Dilla Mill outtakes? Yeah, that, that's what you want. Where he's just really. <laughs> I'll tell you if I, that's it. Uh, I'm lucky with that. Instead of dogging you, what he does is just try to get close to you, and it annoys you. Yeah. You know, that's what you do. You would do with Letterman. He tries to sit in his lap or something. You know what? He has his own version. You know how Greg and I yeah. will rough shot somebody. Oh, yeah. That's it. He has his own version of rough shot, and you, yeah. he, he, he just tries gets to up sit on you or kiss you. That's yeah. why he got in my lap. I think now that I think about it, you, you remember it you remember Letterman <laughs> got the fire extinguisher after him. Right. It won't I, let I him wish get I'd close have had one him. in arm's length. Speedy, I'm gonna. I've, I've been saying this now. I bet. I bet going on probably ten years. Mm-hmm. 
when we bring up this thing with Richard Simmons, it's, the best thing for you is to never say one word. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Don't make comments. Well, Greg, don't don't Greg don't got reflect tongue back. and eye within twenty seconds. Yeah, but you just well, be quiet. Every Nobody tied. I just gotta to you, take though. it. Well, because you you say things like this because you really were thinking about. Well, I guess that's why he sat in my lap. Right. Well, see, a lot of people never knew he sat in your lap. Right. right. Now with those shorts. Yeah, right. He. Greg well, what did in my it. office? It was I in front of y'all. I just said that Richard Simmons was running around in little thin shorts with no underwear on, followed by you saying, "I guess that's why he sat in my lap." And then lick my eye. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You're better to say nothing. You know, you Greg just, didn't even tie the eye thing to you when he made his comment. He didn't. So Speed, they could have thought like it was It's like slipping on a step versus falling down a flight. Okay. Neither one of them are good. Is. Or if we can go James Spann, it means take cover, the storm will pass. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. will say this. We've talked get your about helmet on, get in the bathtub, and just wait for it to go through. And get your air horn. Right. We've <laughs> talked about how anything. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Pass the gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. 35 minutes past the hour, the Rick and Bubba Show. 866-WE-BE-BIG is our number. Largest number of people, shortest amount of time. Fire up, fire up, fire up. Let's chat with you. What is on your mind today? At 866-WE-BE-BIG, as you're rolling in here in Blazing Silverman, it's taking your phone calls. I want to point you to simplysafebubba.com. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. You're thinking about safety. You think about the safety of your loved ones and yourself. And, you, and I mean, that's the safety we think about the most. Just be honest. And uh, so simplysafebubba.com says, well, let's get those two things protected. Uh, the, with the advanced security technology to help you sleep at night peacefully, they'll put the safety of you and those who matter most uh, first, uh, with 24-7 professional monitoring, their agents will call you. The moment that there's any kind of threat detected, they'll dispatch police and first responders in an emergency, God forbid, but if it were to happen. Once you're a customer, you'll find out firsthand their agents really do care about your well-being, and they're highly trained to keep you calm and safe during any kind of stressful situation. Uh, Customer-first policies make sure your family and yourself are taken care of the prices are affordable, starting at less than a dollar a day. And, uh, you know, feeling safe at home or at your small business should not break the bank. Customize the perfect system to fit your needs today at simplysafebubba.com and claim a free indoor security camera. Plus, stay with me, 20% off the interactive monitoring. Monitoring. Tough word for me for some reason. Simplysafebubba.com. Also a link. You'll find that too at rickandbubba.com. All right, to the phones we go. Uh, Bubba, do you want to see this mascot run of the kids before we go to the phone? Oh, I after? do. I do. Yeah. I saw this. This is incredible. Yeah, this is the Good official stuff. mascot of the yeah. Braves. Uh, and uh, and I didn't know they had this football game that they play. Uh, is this football? I saw football where a bunch of a lot, it's like a, a little league team plays the mascots, and and, <laughs> yeah. and the mascots like run all over them. And and yeah. I mean, and <laughs> this is definitely football. But one time they hurt the Ravens mascot. Have you seen that? Oh, <laughs> He held off the field with his head still on. Oh, no. All right, so no, anyway, head's still but here's the one I think we're all talking about. Is this the stiff arm one? Thought about you when I yeah. saw this, Rick. Watch Here's him turn. Yeah, did you know this happens? It's the this game. Yeah. Watch, watch him turn the corner right here. Look at him down. Uh-huh. Take that. I tell you, he's hard to bring down. He's throwing kids everywhere. <laughs> that. Well, watch his stiff arm on this Right here. Hey, like, yeah. It was like Derrick Henry. Yeah. He, you know, he's got pretty good speed. That's the Bra- Is that the Braves? Yes, the Braves yeah. mascot, because, you know, that? we can't use Indians anymore. Right. Uh, what so, is it? Yeah, all right, here, here we go. Not, I not, played what a, is it, a Brave ball. Bear. Well, yeah. <laughs> Golly, good I would, night, I would love every minute of that. Yeah. That I love the crowd's blast. reaction. They don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, he's going. He, uh, oh. <laughs> we know, like, he's he's, he's hard to dice. bring down. In your face. One. In your face. In your face. In your face. Oh, is this, got pads do, do, on. You think, do you think he's in trouble? Does this make you proud? That is so oh, yeah. Could have hurt the kid. Uh, somebody uh, probably called scored. him in and said, uh, did you see that? <laughs> right. See how you were running? <laughs> yeah, that's so Maybe good. you didn't have to run like your life I, depended on it. Yeah. I, I, I mean, see, you don't have to be Earl Campbell. Yeah. You know I, mean? I see no issue. These kids need to toughen up a little bit. <laughs> I agree. Uh, all right. To the foes we go. Uh, let's start uh, with Russell and Chelsea. Uh, Russell. Russell. You got 30 oh, seconds, buddy. Go right ahead. Yes, sir. I just wanted to talk to Bubba for a second. Praise God you didn't get down in Cape Canaveral in your bladder 
uh, your uh, golf ladder go out. Oh, me, me and my ex-wife went to Houston, Texas, and hers went out. And I drove 90 miles an hour back to Mobile to try to get her back to her doctor. So I hope you're doing good, buddy. Oh, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, we talked about that. It's, uh, you know, sometimes you, you have to count the little blessings of unanswered oh, prayer. Yeah. Today was one of them, for sure. Lindy and Sims. Lindy, go ahead. 30 seconds. Hey, uh, it's Wendy, but I thought since you had an extra Friday this month, you could do like Hollywood. They plant uh, people they're going to call on in the audience, put some friends and family in the golden ticket seats, and maybe you can work out any kinks before the wild crazy. Oh, you're talking about soft opening. You're talking about a soft opening. Yeah. Like like the restaurants do when they're training everybody. Uh Friends and family. Not a bad idea. (laughs) Gary and Hayden. Gary, go ahead. 30 seconds. How are you? Good, how are y'all? We're great. We're good. I just want to say Tom Brady called this morning and said, don't be mad at me. <laughs> got it wrong. But that's that's okay. okay. Tried. Tried. It's don't be mad with me, <laughs> but that's fine. Played the original Friday on the best of requested <laughs> oh. stuff. The, the fact that we're misquoting it is funny to me, too. I mean, <laughs> well, it just adds you know, the overall enjoyment of it. You remember they had a list of things that are misquoted. This right. just falls right in them. Yeah. But, oh, but, yeah. but I want you to listen to this. This It's never been done better than this. Don't be mad with me. That, no, that's I mean, as good as it gets. Yeah. That, that's better than the original. Yeah, it is. Is. Oh, yeah. And, I, and all of you who call in, that's where you got to be. Mm-hmm. I mean, you got to you got to learn this. <laughs> don't time. be mad with me. That's we, that's that's the standard. Yeah, we don't give the shotgun sound enough. No, Mr. Allen. <laughs> I Mr. like Allen, the, no. I like the rickety door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you go. What was that? <laughs> Jesse in <and> Florence, <laughs> W L A Y. Jesse, go ahead. Hey, calling from Florence. Uh, just want to tell Helmsy that. Uh, his info on the Manti Teo uh, got us to watch the documentary, and I felt like him and Speedy, and I was kind of hating on the guy at first, and by the time I was done watching it, uh, me and my wife felt so bad for him. Uh, we feel like uh, even though he forgave him at the end, I think that the guy that imitated Linnea Kaku or however you say her name. Mm. Uh, what, what's what, what's the guy's name that, that was pretending to be the girl? Ronaya. Renea. Yeah, yeah. Renaya. Here, this is what he at the yeah. end he says this. Don't be mad <laughs> with me. <laughs> kind of did. Yeah. Well, he did. Yeah. Uh, looking sharp. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look like the quarterback they showed when it first started. <laughs> oh, no, he did not. <laughs> I like how the fact like his fat no, sister. No, no, I tell you something that's hilarious. Yeah. Just it's pick so up good. on the little subtle things in the documentary. Now, Bubba, you haven't seen it yet. <laughs> so they're going to let you know the guy who did all this at one time was a quarterback. But the first highlight they show is him getting sacked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how, many times, how many times have you ever done that? It's my quarterback sack. <laughs> Rick, we should have known then. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was hot. I was yeah. like, that's your first highlight? That's your highlight? <laughs> you put that together? Yeah. Uh, you got to see that. Re- All your time down. Rebecca in Shelby County. Rebecca, go ahead. Rick, yes. you know what uh, to expect when you go bike riding with Sherry, so you've got to get ahead of this. My husband used to say to me, if you'll slow down, I'll walk with you. And that kind of alerted me to what I needed to do. So when you see Sherry begin to hustle on the bike, you just need to tell her, hey, slow down so I can ride with you. Oh, I have. Oh, I've tried that. Yeah. Rebecca, I tried that. She doesn't really respond no, to that. No, she, she has no interest in that. Yeah. <laughs> I, no, we, I, I've literally said that, Rebecca. I was like, let's just stroll. Well, let's just stroll. But you go, slow had down. no effect. Yeah. Slow down. Okay. She's like, I, I, like to, I like to go fast. I like, I said, yeah, I got that. Yeah. I got that. She's one of these people that I think they made like her with special lungs. You know, these people, I think, have special lungs. She's one of these people, like, she won't run for six months. And she go, well, I'm going to go run. To, how much do you run? Five miles? What? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's, it's yeah. what, what? So you're saying she has special lungs? Yeah, I guess. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't you have to have special lungs? It's like she's mm-hmm. never to the point. I mean, she can say I couldn't run as far as I normally do today, but, like, minimum is, is like, three miles. That's mm-hmm. minimum. Wow. You know, and, and, I mean, and I mean, that's her just kind of saying, well, I did a little warm-up. I mean, I, I, people like that, I don't understand. How do they do that? I don't run 5Ks for a warm-up. Well, how about distance running for me is not even on the table. It's I just too much. It's it's like somebody taking a sledgehammer and trying to crush my feet. <laughs> Ray in Alabama. Ray, go ahead. Ray. Uh, yeah, I've got an idea about these student loans. Okay. You can't do much about the old ones, but uh, for the new ones, let's have the educational institutions guarantee the loans, which means if the borrower defaults, then the institution has to pay it back. 
Yeah. Well, yeah, right now the, it, the, 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 the colleges are making out like bandits. That's why they're raising all the tuition. Yeah, they know they're yeah. going to get it. Here's the problem, though. You get a student that's that's not doing good in class. They just go to the teacher and say, look, I'm going to drop out unless I pass. Mm-hmm. And then the, the teacher's going to be under pressure. We're going to lose money if they drop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, that's that's getting a little, the circle a little too close. Greg. Yeah. But I understand what you're saying in your cinema yeah. for that. Well, I kind of like what the, the the woman said with Turning Point. But let's get the private lenders back in it. Yeah, and so get there's the fe- competition. And, and get the federal government out of it. Right. Let the competition take care of it. it it's, it's just. Greg, go ahead. Welcome to the Rick and Bubba Show. 30 seconds. Go on. Yes, sir. How you guys doing this morning? We're, We're good. good. We're good. Great. Yes, sir. It's Wish Bubba the best. I'm sitting here right now this year uh, going through the same gallbladder issue. And no, I didn't watch Skinwalker Ranch. By no way, I didn't watch it. Uh, <laughs> started, started in December, and I'm going through it just still trying to get it out of here. But I feel for you. And the prayers are real, and they do work, like you said this morning. Uh, I saw Rick the other week in Crestview. Thank you for that. Yeah, man. My pleasure. Uh, I pray I pray that Man's Eye Tail has... Didn't see that person. No, I, no, I, no, I, I, I jumped in there. Thank you, though, sir, for your hey, heart. Did he say he's just struggling? His he hadn't had yeah. that yet since December. That's been a minute. Yes. Uh, no, let's they go. don't. Sometimes they don't take them out of me. They didn't want to take mine out. They yeah. wanted, and I was like, I'm not going through this again. My doctor looked at me because I didn't want it out immediately. And said, Have you lost your mind? You're about to end up in the hospital in bad shape. Yeah, you're still yeah. got what you you're trying to schedule it for when you have time. And I was like, Well, I, yeah. He goes, No, we're not at that place. <laughs> uh, JT in Huntsville, get on in here. 100.3 The River. JT, go ahead. Uh, yes. Good morning. Hope everyone's having a good day today. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Yeah, just a few comments about the failed Artemis launch, and uh, at least, Bubba, you have a chance to perhaps see it again. But temperatures is one of the biggest things that affects these things. you got oxygen at almost 300 degrees below zero, and the hydrogen at over 420 degrees below zero. So expansion, contraction, leaks and stuff happen uh, oh, yeah. uh, uh, just Mm, to me, yeah, they, they that a, sounds like a conversation I was in just yesterday. They had a uh, they had a problem when they had their last wet test before this, and they have a leak. And I saw one report that says it's the same place, so they may have an engineering issue with that spot. But we'll see. We'll know more about it. Ha, we'll be back. Eight six six. We be big is our number. More of the Rick and Bubba show coming up right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. You do with the Richard Simmons. People just can't quit talking about it. But you, I mean, every time it comes to this thing, you can always say, well, you know what? He licked me in the eye. See? No, but I don't, there's nobody, I not don't know many people anybody can else that. that can claim that. Right. Anytime a Richard Simmons story, let him finish and go, you think that's fine? I can how, get, about, how about can Richard say, lick can, me in the eye? Can we say on and not in? Mm-mm. Because it wasn't that's in no the better. eye. Well, I closed it. It was on. But it was that's in worse. your eye socket. It's worse. Yeah. Really, it's really worse. I'm going to go back. In your ear. I'm going to go back to this. I can give you an email uh, An email today. <laughs> probably, I can give you six, seven emails of people that just gave the story the woman just gave. A couple of texts about Dilla Mill. My mom used to watch it. Sweating to he, the old He got on my nerves. I do not have one email or one right. text of right. anyone who says, well, you know, he licked my eye, too. No. Not one. Not one. So you, you stand alone on that. You're in a very small group. Y'all are still talking about it. Wouldn't what? be if you just if you rode the storm out. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna bring it up every I'm sorry. time. Sorry, somebody had said about him getting on top of Letterman and, and messing oh with gosh. him. See, he can't you, talk. That's what you had said, right? Can't I said he tried to get close to him. He tried to sit on him, and then he tried to kiss him. Right. The world. And Letterman <laughs> fought him off with a fire extinguisher. That's all you can do. Now Richard was wearing a uh, turkey costume at the time. I hate to say it. It may be one some of the funniest TV oh, I've ever seen. I hate to say it. Richard Simmons like has a little bit of that deal. When he gets in a room, it's like when you're around people whose dogs, and they finally say, look, just just let it pass. Yeah. Just, just let him get right. it out of his system. Right. Just, you know what I mean? He'll, he'll I think they quote him on eventually. Christmas vacation. Then. He'll wind down if you'll yeah. just just let it. You, you yeah. Just weather the storm, right. and it'll be done. Kevin. That's what Speedy did. Kevin, go ahead. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Hey. hey. Fine. Hey, hey, man, check this out, dude. To, to tell you how bad Richard Simmons has gotten, the state of Alabama is using him as forms of torture. But I was in in uh in some classes at the JECCO uh, for uh, driving offenses to get them off of my record, and they made us uh, I guess it was 
part of the torture. The, the, they made us every morning get up and and go in there and sweat to the oldies. And this was everybody in there was in their 20s or 30s. <laughs> and we had to go in there and line dance to Richard Simmons' VHS tape. And, and there was probably 20 of us in the class. And, and I, I'm just glad that there was no cameras well, <laughs> in this Let me tell you something. Class. Well, you're it's once always again. good to hear from Bobcat Goldberg. <laughs> <It is. laughs> well, one, yeah, it is. Hey, I well, think I would have just kept the charges on my record. Well, Greg, yeah. once again, we find out behavior has consequences. Yes, it does. All right. Obviously, there's meat there. That's the name, stockyards.com, the finest cuts of meat the, the world has ever enjoyed. Also, Dreamland's got some BBQ. I uh, got some ribs and some stuff there that you'll enjoy on the wheel. Mo- Moultrie's dropped in, uh, a Moultrie package uh, also on the wheel. Some Rick and Bubba prizes are there. I will let us all know if you w- land on the uh, the one that n- the formerly was uh, this, uh, whatever that flashlight thing is. How do you say it, the, uh The Rick, well, let me read it. You said you want to keep that for the, the yeah, museum, the right? Yeah, the Rick and Bubba positive action response emergency hammer. Yeah, if it lands on that today, you get a Rick and Bubba spatula. Uh, because well, that's, that's a nice prize. It is. A, it's an upgrade, actually. But we don't. We forgot to put a picture of it up there, so we still have the picture of the old thing. But the old. That's the only one left of that, and right. Bubba's, Bubba's keeping that for you know the museum. Right. Uh, so anyway, so that that's some Our options. Now there, there's pitfalls on on the board. I mean, if you land on Pippet, you're eating by jaws. Uh, if you land on Bankrupt, <laughs> you don't you don't win anything. Henry the horse. If you land on that, we don't know what might happen. Uh, so let's begin in Hattiesburg. Uh, where Ben is standing by. Ben, how are you getting the show in Hattiesburg now? Oh, I'm listening to it on the uh, the TuneIn app on my computer. TuneIn app. I'll actually be there in Ellisville coming up next weekend, by the way. Look it up coming yeah, events. Yeah, right? I, saw, I saw that. My mom actually worked at the hospital. I think we're getting some, some discounted tickets. Oh, so good. That's good, good. I'm looking forward to you being there and seeing me at a discounted price. <laughs> all, right, all right, Ben, Ben, what do you say? Wow, what a will. Come on, baby. Uh, Helmsy spins it with a giant finger. Yeah, yes. well, <laughs> I, I've been trying to get on the wheel of meat for a long well, time. Well, today's the day, Benny. All right, let's see what happens. Meat. All right, let's see. Uh-oh. 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 Yeah, Meat, 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 meat. You did it, Benny. You did it. Stockyards.com has a $50 gift card for you, my friend. And uh, yes, yes, yes. the world's finest steak and chop since 1893. Nobody does it better than <laughs> Stockyards.com. So a $50 gift card for you. And uh, we'll put Thank you on hold you and get that get that to you. You enjoy that. And, Ben, I'll see you next weekend, buddy. Yes, sir. Get ready to see you. Yeah. It is eight minutes to the top of the hour of the Rick and Bubba show. Uh, thanks for being with us. Hey. All right, a couple of things Adler's got we need to look at and listen to before we wrap up this hour today. Uh, Golden Ticket Seats, there's four Fridays we're going to look at in, in September. We won't do September 2nd, but uh, the rest of them will do. And those will, Maybe. those will go live at some point today. So, uh, and then you can join us to be the first group ever to sit in the golden ticket seats at the No Name Studio, and you too can sit on the bleeding edge of technology. Um, all right, so a couple of videos and with some audio we got to get to. Did you know that Jamie Foxx does a great Donald Trump impression? No, I did, did not. Did you, you have any idea? I've not seen this. Well, we have it, and then we've got a. He does a good Ray Charles. We've also like got an that. Andy Reid impersonator, yeah. and then we've Speeding. got and then we've got some uh, comments from Aaron Rodgers, if time allows. So here, here is Jamie Foxx uh, doing his Donald Trump. Mm-hmm. So here we go. It's a lot of great yeah. people on both sides. <laughs> Lots of great people on both sides. I know Harry. O. He's a great person. He couldn't vote for me at the time. Now he can vote for me once he gets out. I love Snoop Deal, Double G, great person. So do you love Death Row Records? I love People Death Row. I love Death Row. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Fake news. God, that's incredible. Wow. That's pretty good. He could Brilliant. play him. That's, uh, it doesn't look right coming out of Jamie Foxx's <laughs> face. It shouldn't be that good. Uh, <laughs> Let's don't ignore our own talent we have here. Speedy, give it a shot. Speedy? It's because it's not real. <laughs> 
What is that? Uh, he watches his lips. He's not really talking like me. <laughs> that's, so that's, that's not that's even. So well, the <laughs> thing, Give me a fake news. Now, the thing that gets you with Speedy, fake news. when he tries to do, so it's bad. like far, Fire Marshal Bill. <laughs> yeah. It's like he drifts, he drifts that way on just about anything he does. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> Quit hating on my Rick. had <laughs> <laughs> Charles Barkley in it. <laughs> So, uh, oh, Speedy! By the way, Ryan Greenwood said that he his new thing that he loves is Speedy Man of a Thousand Voices. Oh, yeah. I do too. Because it's the same. How can you not? How can you not? Uh, All right, next. Oh. Uh, and Bubba, this is a gig I thought you could have got. Uh, Andy mm. Reid impersonator. Oh boy! Uh, so let's. <laughs> right, wait, wait a minute. Y'all aren't ready for this. Okay. Straight up, there's two of them now. That's not, oh, wow. Andy, that's not Andy Reid. Oh, my. oh wow. Guys, that's wow. unbelievable. <laughs> How's that possible? <laughs> Look at that. He actually looks more like Andy Reid than Andy <laughs> Reid does. Yeah, love, if they love, say pick the look, fake one. Let me tell you, but look on the other side of him. There's another, another one that looks yeah. just like him. That's right. That's a good point, Bubba. Yeah. Wow. yeah, that guy not as good because he's too no, skinny. But, nah. but this in here. But the fact that everybody tries to do it. And if you put gum, that guy next to Andy Reid, I would have picked him. For, I would have picked too. the fake yeah. one. That's wow. just good stuff right there. That's he even has, like, wow. when he's like when he wobbles back and forth with <laughs> yeah. his hips. I wish he still had that face shield he was wearing. When they I want to know where he got those Bose headphones. Yeah, I, that's true. You How about buy the, those. What about, when you're, them off. what about when you're sitting there and you go as far as put the headset on? <laughs> <laughs> you're in the and like, you're chewing the gum, too, because you know how he chews the gum. You to watch the game. I love he's got his play sheet. It's like he's coaching in the stands. That's so good. Rick, back to what you're saying. He's holding his call sheet. He had to enter the stadium with that. So somebody took his ticket and said, thank you. Look, he had, Here he comes walking in. I mean, I didn't know there was that much. I'm going to dress like the coat. I didn't know he got him. Because like, there's another guy trying to do it over next to him. Like, well, <laughs> but he didn't, have, he didn't have the main <laughs> look. He a little too thin. All right. Well, um, the, you know that that uh, all the stuff that uh, that Aaron Rodgers got involved in. And by the way, I I, I laughed pretty hard. Babylon B, what's the guy that's so good at tennis? They're keeping out of tennis because of COVID. Novak. Did, no, you, like Djokovic. Djokovic. did you see uh Djokovic. Bab- did you see Babylon Beast uh bid on that? Yeah. Uh the one that has today, the stands, not there. The stands <laughs> full of people. No, no, look at her. I can't pronounce the name they use, but it says little known tennis player Novakio something takes US over by storm and it's got Novak uh, disguising himself with a big black mustache and playing. That's good. But you know <laughs> you know, Aaron Rodgers caught flack because he wouldn't take uh, he wouldn't take the, the Vax. And uh, so he's being asked about this. And they he lied. Well he, he didn't really yeah. lie, he just worded it. Well he's on with Joe Rogan, but but there's there's things that I guess it frustrates me just a little bit. Look, I'm okay with you know you don't we don't always get things right, but what I don't like is when somebody won't admit they didn't get things right. right. I, I hate that. What's wrong with just admitting? You can't even give me a reason why you didn't get it right. right. Well, we only knew so much. Okay, you're right. Hey, we were in a panic. We didn't know what we were dealing with. I've heard you say that, Bubba. That's okay. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to say Make that mistake. But um, here's Aaron Rodgers, and he's talking to Joe Rogan on on what it was like to, uh, in the NFL when all this vaccine mandate stuff w- was going on. So. Um, here it is. Yeah, and then we're going to virtue signal to say, look how righteous our league is. We have 95% compliance yes. with the vaccine. Compliance. And if you don't, we're going to send a, sto- a stooge to your team to show you graphs of your vaccination percentage of your team compared to the rest of the league, which actually happened. Really? Yeah. What was the stooge like? Oh, I mopped the floor with him. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. See, again, that's why people are like, no one knew your vaccination status. You lied to your teammates. No, no, no. Day three of training camp, they sent this stooge in, <laughs> and, and he showed these slides about what your vaccination percentage was in your team, where you compare to the rest of the league. And I started asking him questions about liability. Oh, I'm not a lawyer. Okay, cool. But you're in here talking about all these different things, and you don't talk about anybody's personal health issues there's zero exemptions. You took out religious exemptions. You took you took out uh, PEG exemptions. You took out anybody's ability to have uh, an opinion. Uh, I don't want to do this. Yeah. Well, it's not only going to affect your uh, day-to-day status on the team, but your ability to get a job, your ability to keep a job, your ability to get a tryout if you get cut from this team. 
Because you want to put a percentage above 90% of your team where you guys can have some sort of like special virtue. Like, look how amazing we are. We're above the 90% threshold here. And then they, and then they, take- and then they, they scared teams. They said, if you had an outbreak caused by a non-vaccinated player, you'd not only forfeit that game if you had enough players out, but you wouldn't get paid for that week. And here I am showing up to training camp, Joe, the first day, and we got five people who work for the organization out with COVID all fully vaxxed. <laughs> and I got COVID from a fully vaxxed individual who only got vaxxed to keep his potential of being a part of the NFL. So there you go. And, and the point is, everything they were telling us, it didn't even stop people from getting it or passing it. So it was all, I mean, and they just want to come back and say, yeah, we were wrong about yeah. that. Uh, top of the hour. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Hey, thanks for watching Rick and Bubba live on YouTube. We're here live at 5 with a kickoff hour bright and early Monday through Friday. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for notifications on our YouTube channel. And catch a commercial-free best of hour on Blaze TV every day. Rick and Bubba, it's must-see TV. Or radio. Well, yeah.